Right, back to it then. I've actually been pretty giddy about getting back to RimWorld, even though we left it in a bit of a mess. So last time, things were looking good. Things were looking obviously too good. I believe I said something along the lines of Randy's lost his touch. And then, it wasn't so much Randy as my own greed, but the gentleman's respite had a lot of very bad things happen to it. A large man-hunting pack, a summoned load of mechanoids, and they torched and shot and burnt and destroyed the gentleman's respite. The entire team absolutely slaughtered, including our glorious pivotal central character, Professor Layton. So where's a run meant to go from here? Well, the answer is intense mental gymnastics. You see, I have a funny feeling it wasn't really Professor Layton dying out there. What? He's in here. Then where's the real professor? In preparation for our landing, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Thank you. So your plane was on time, your luggage arrived, your rental car was waiting, everything went without a hitch? Yep, and according to Kyler's directions, I'm within two kilometers of Castle Malloy. Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Are you driving? Yes, Ned, I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me, and have fun. Without you? Yeah, right. Take care, Nancy. <laughs> oh, no! What was that? It's almost unbelievable, but really, it was Don Paolo all along. He made us think that the Professor had died in combat out there, but of course, there's no way it could have been the real Professor Layton. He would not resort to senseless violence. So the Professor's been kidnapped by Don Paolo. He is out there in the rim somewhere, and our glorious Nancy Drew is gonna go out there and find him. And that's why we've got same world, new tile, new characters, and uh, we are going to finish what the Gentleman Respite started. So we're still gonna destroy one of each of the factions, we're going to build a rocket and beat the game. We're still playing with the same difficulty we had before. You can find it. I think I have it. We've still got Randy, we've still got 500 Threat, Zero Death Undowned, Child Enemies, of course. And was there anything else I need to care about? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, right, the world. So the Gentleman Respite was up here. The roads and factions got re-randomized when I generated the world, which is a bit of a shame. But we've still got the old guys here. We still have the garbage crew and the broken empire. But uh, all the progress from that one has been reset. We still have the same old ideology as well. The one thing I added was faster research so we can get back up to speed with where we were. A touch faster. Although we are still landing with very little. Our biome this time is Cold Bog. It's pretty nasty to build on, but a bit richer than Boreal. And it's also probably not a pleasant place to be naked, but neither was Boreal because we're starting in winter. Don't see the point in starting in a cold biome naked only for it to be nice and warm. So, who do we have kicking us off? Well, let's have them land first, shall we? There we go. Right, there's a lot for you folks to do, I think. So we've got Nancy Drew herself, the detective. She's got a great memory, apparently, and she's quite nimble. I don't know where nimble comes into it, but she has a few incapabilities. Brilliant social, stands to reason. She's always talking to people all the time. And although she has a mild passion for intellect, well, it's not quite there. Not like Master of Intellect Ninja out there. Otherwise, uh, she's got a passion for cooking. She does a lot of cooking minigames. Yeah, the music does that, doesn't it, uh, Zingus? It just goes up and down. I can't bring it too much up without bringing it too much down as well. 
Yeah, I don't think there is a kleptomaniac trait, so too bad for that. What else was it? Yeah, she does plenty of cooking in the game. Crafting? What does is, what is Nancy do crafted in previous games? Not much coming to mind, but yeah, she doesn't have that many competences despite all the stuff she gets up to in her adventures. Right, we also have Rested Pandy on the team. They're also nimble, but they're a Night Owl, that's going to be a pain at the very start, and a Body Modder. Also going to be a pain at the very start. So, a good shot, for a while we have no guns. Uh, good at mining, passion for construction but not great at it. Fashion and crummy at intellectual, yeah. And we've got Treebleard Trebelard. Don't know what I meant to say for that. But they are neurotic, bloodlusting, and super immune. That could be good because bogs are full of diseases. There'll be our melee guy. Hopefully at some point they'll be great with plants. And hey, we actually start with a medic. No great artist, nobody great with animals or crafting, and nobody truly great with plants to start us off. But we need to take care of our immediate priorities once again. <laughs> Master of Intellect with a minor clause that there better not be any minesweeper or fox and geese. Yeah, yeah, you tell us, Ninjin. Right, so what's the world we got? It's hard to see with this kind of view, given that it's... Uh, is it covered in snow? Yeah, it is covered in snow. That's going to make it very slow to move around slowy mud and slowy marsh. But this gives us an idea of where we can and cannot build on. I believe if it's orange, it can only take medium structures. If it's red, it can only take light. Mm, I might be wrong about that. But if it's blue, it needs to be bridged over. Basically, a lot of this is swamp and mud, and you need to use moisture pumps to make the land uh, buildable and arable. And that requires energy and research and parts. And, you know, a lot of things that three completely naked people don't really have to hand. But maybe someday they will. What's a bit more impressive is the soil. One thing that cold bogs do have is plenty of rich soil, although as you can see a lot of it is rather awkwardly shaped, so it would be hard to build around and defend adequately, especially since if you want to put a, um, a perimeter on it, the aforementioned rough soil isn't going to be helping you out much with that. It's not just soil, though it's mud in that. So what are we going to do? Well, we are immediately going to take shelter and warm up because, let's see, it is currently negative 21 degrees and we are comfortable at positive 16. Hypothermia is going to hit us and it's going to hit us hard and fast. So Pandy and Trebleard, Trebleard, man, I should have asked them how to pronounce that. Uh, Pandy and Trebleard are going to hack down some trees with their eh, capable plant work. Whilst Nancy actually has no skills that are of any use to us at the very start. So, so, so. I already sorted out work priorities. I'm already wondering if that's really what I want to do. Yeah, not entirely sure. Right, tell you what. We need some wood to begin with. So I'm going to cut down some big trees that are fully ready to go. I want the maximum amount of wood for all the work I'm going to have to do here. That maple tree is going to have to go as well because it's on the inside. Um, and let's just force what they're going to do here. Prioritize cutting that and that. Actually, other way around. I want the inside cut down first, otherwise it's going to get in the way of the other stuff. You take care of those two. And Nancy, I think I'll have you clear the space. So let's deconstruct a lot of the junk in here. These won't yield any resources, but at least they'll give us the space that we need on the inside. The diagonals count for bingo, they do, but it's got to be a full diagonal. I'm only counting kills and captures. So if your pawn appears on screen, you might need to convince me to take care of them. Alright, get to work. Nancy chatted deeply about the relationship between ethnicity and the fate of the universe. Yeah, I if I were stranded out naked in minus 21, I might be getting a bit philosophical as well. So this is going to be our temporary base, but there's nothing more... Nothing more persistent than a temporary solution. I can't actually see many better places to start up. The wildlife that we have around here tends to be a bit hardier here, I think. Boars, squirrels, rats, raccoons... Oh, raccoons. PTSD from those things. 
Right, so unfortunately it takes a fair bit of time to chop one of these down, but I want to get these done before hyper well, hypothermia's already kicked in, but before it gets too serious, because that's when manipulation starts really feeling the burn. Nancy, clear the path. We've got a very obvious ancient danger here. If you see walls built into the um, the mountains like this, it's almost certainly an ancient danger. Worth noting that we're actually playing on a flat ground this time. Uh, so there, we won't have mountainous choke points to help us out, but it's also a lot faster to move around here. Uh, well, I say that, movement difficulty is still rather high. Ah, yes. It's really cold and wintry, so it stands to reason that it takes a long time to move around here. But it's grazable. Even the desert here is grazable. And we have a lot of the factions within spitting distance here. Uh, League of E10 less so, because they are behind impassable mountains. Getting there, yeah, it's really not feasible to get there. You'd have to go all the way around. No, oh, even then, water blocks you. Is this completely cut off? Huh, I think it is. These dark mountains are completely impassable. You have to fly over to get there. Cool. I wish this game had more interaction on the world map stuff at the moment. You know, you could make do with a world map this size. A lot of it is uh, superfluous. Anyway, I do spy something rather useful here, and it's a steel table. Uh, since Nancy is pretty useless, I think I'm going to have her bring that steel table over here. So once you finish deconstructing those, please deliver the table. Because that isn't going to really rely on your ability to do things. Right. I also want the last of that stuff chopped away. There we go. It doesn't give much wood, but at least it gives it quickly. And... Shivering already, huh? Yeah, that does kind of suck. I'm not going to claim all of this. We should probably just claim everything here, but then they might waste time fixing it, and that's the last thing I want them to do. Right, yeah, get that uh, get that tree cut down. And uh, who's my constructor, anyway? Pandy is five, Tribbleard is five as well. Okay, then. Once you're done... Oh, Pandy courted Nancy by joking about bitter foods. James, we haven't been here for two hours, and you're already putting the moves on the naked Nancy Drew. I suppose we're all naked here, aren't we? Being stranded with Jake sounds like a ticket to never-ending work in the mines. I don't tend to do that much mining in uh, in RimWorld. It's means to an end. I'm not big on mountain bases. It's a good thing boars aren't deadly. I think they'll eat just about anything, kind of like pigs. But domesticated, they're not so hot. They're really just there to be hunted. And hunt we may. Uh, we do have a reasonable amount of bushes. Although I'm not spying a lot of berries. You? No? You? Yes. Okay, so a fair few berry bushes around here, so we should be able to make it through at least a couple of days on nature's bounty. Right, Pandy, this hypothermia is getting gritty grimbo. So I want you to... Oi, don't you dare. Keep chopping that wood. Get rid of all of that. Okay, that should be enough to get us a... Hmm, I think I want the fireplace first because it's harder to build than the walls. So, so, so. Temperature, campfire, bada bing, bada boom. Work on it, please, and don't muck that up. Hey, didn't muck it up, sweet. Okay, if I can just get this place walled in, that fire is gonna start helping us out. So, wooden wall. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten is going to require 50 wood. We don't have 50 wood, but we will once Triple Eared finishes off that tree, so get to work, Pandy. I want this done before Hypothermia really starts killing their manipulation, because I believe that's going to make them fail to build quite frequently. Triple Eared, don't you, don't you do that. There is work to be done on the building front. Okay, that scared the bejesus out of me, but you always get this warning if you approach an ancient danger. I, I was thinking, really, Randy, it's been two hours and you're sending me something? No. So you are you do get cautioned on the ancient danger. And go figure, it's Nancy Rue's detective senses telling there's something going on behind these walls. Well, let's not touch that with a 50-foot barge pole. Let's, in fact, let's consider that an emergency counter-raid it takes a bit, but she will get that. 
treble yard, please. Wait, you're not consigned, consigned to construction? I thought you weren't too shabby at construction. I think construction should be a low tier thing for just about anyone. Any, but please build that, then that, uh, then that. And he will take care of the. Ah, oh, he's botching them. Okay, that's pretty bad. We need these not to be botched. Because it. Oh, because I'm just keeping the freaking door open. It's kind of important that that doesn't happen, you know? Okay, they are botching construction of very simple wooden walls left and right. Come on, come on, we need these, uh, we need these operational right freaking now. Oh my god, please stop. Right, here's an idea. Pick up all that wood and bring it over here so we're not dancing around all the time. Pandy, you continue on harvesting that tree. Trebliard can fail miserably at this task. Thank you, Nancy. Now, I am going to... Okay, home area is not automatically turned on. Good. This is going to be our home for now. I'll make it indoors so that everybody only stays indoors when I need them to desperately warm up shortly. And I also want this to be a roofed area. Since roofing is fast regardless who you are, I think I'll have Nancy do that. Now, oh, we want to have some pillars here already. That's kind of handy for beauty. Although this room is... Is it going to tell me where the room is? Well, it's probably terrible. Don't haul that wood. Build the roof area, Nancy. Trebly yard. Drop that wood right there and get to bleeding work on these walls, please. And they get... Oh my god, stop! It's just a wooden wall! No, no, triple yard. The wall. Okay, one last bit of wall and we're good to go. Uh, Nancy appears to be trying to fix things, which I'd rather she did not. Right, alright. Uh, at this point, I want repair not done by anybody, because getting the wall and the... Well, the wall is done now, but getting the roof up is paramount. Okay. It's just as cold in there as it is outside right now, but we're working on that. That's what we're talking about. Get those roofs up. Handy, bring that wood inside. Yeah, you know what? Finish off the stump. I don't like leaving stumps. I don't like the fact that the game even leaves stumps like that. Right, Pandy, pick up all of that wood and bring it inside, please. And we're going to have ourselves probably a little stockpile zone over here for stuff. And we'll have a dumping stockpile zone out here for other stuff. The stuff will become more advanced in time. For now, I want any chunks that we have in here. Good, there's chunks. We're probably going to end up with blocks shortly, so let's also keep blocks outside. Since they are rather ugly. Uh, do we keep blocks here? We do. Well, let's not. I'm pretty sure these things don't take chunks by default. Good. Uh, now, it's relatively important to me to make this place not terrible so that my troopers here don't break on the first freaking day. Alright, great pandy. Now get inside because that hypothermia is really kicking in and the last thing I want is immediate frost. But oh my days! Trebly R tried to attract Nancy by comparing her to a charming star. Nancy responded, well, James, I don't often have people shacking up this early. I really hope Nancy does not become pregnant because of this. Nancy is 20, Trebly R is 21, which means they are at the prime age for mating. And that's a problem. Mm, I might need to cast Fetus Deletus on Nancy if she gets up to no good. 
Well, actually, I don't think people in a barracks get up to Lovin, so that we might be alright in that front. But if nothing else, this is a good opportunity to get these people some beds, although... Yeah, people just need to warm up, then I gather food, and then hopefully I have a place for them to go. Oh, they haven't finished making the freaking roofs get to work on that one, please. Minus 10 in here, Jinx is making me think that I might want a, a second campfire just to warm this up better. Right, once you're in here and the roof is all built, what do we do? Beds, I think. I'm gonna get some nasty mood penalties for slept on floor if I don't do this. So, maybe I could make the double bed and just have Pandy sleep on the floor like a scrub. Get rid of quality builder, we don't have quality builders around here. Pandy, you make that bed, please, and don't mess it up. Actually, with manipulation dying to that minor hypothermia, you may well mess it up. But even so, please don't. Uh, please do build it, though. We're almost roofed now. We are roofed now. It should start properly warming up. It's now minus 8 inside and minus 13 outside. Although one of the problematic things is that I do still want some more wood and I'm punching it all into this bed. So what I think I will do is we will spend our time warming up by removing the floor. The floor is somewhat paradoxically going to make this place worse, because it's going to seem like a nasty place. Because um, floors can get dirty, but dirt cannot get dirty. I'm also going to add a cleaning area, which is just going to be inside here. So we'll keep our brand new home spick and spam. I'll set cleaning area to cleaning. And then hopefully, I don't know, someone useless at, uh... What are you doing wandering around? There's work to be done. Get on with it. Nancy chatted about pipes with Panda. Whoa. Steady now. Already, already talking to another man like that, Nancy. Please don't screw up Pandy. Please don't screw up Pandy. Hey, We got a really crappy wooden bed for Nancy and Trebliard. Opinion of my lover Nancy is making me happy. Oh, isn't that cute? Right, well, let's rightfully assign this one to... No, not Pandy. You made the bed. You don't get to sleep in the bed. Nancy and... What do you mean ideologian forbids? Pretty sure I don't have anything against that. Did I mess up something with this ideologian? Oh, crikey, I don't recall having this on spouse only. Sharing beds outside a marriage is a no-go. I'm pretty sure I didn't have that on. Huh. wonder if I can change that. Is that always like that? Hmm, you could change that in the fly with dev mode. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not meant to have that there. I changed that version, isn't it? Okay, right, well, fortunately that's easily fixed. Avert your eyes. All oh, right, maybe I should say before uh, potentially messing this up. Nancy crew 01. Save. And fortunately, if you make mistakes, yeah, it can be a bit chunky to sort out. Thankfully, there is a dev kit for this. This is meant to be free. The whole point of our ideologian is not to be, uh, not to really dominate the run. There we go. Hopefully that gets that out of the way. There we go. Go and get at it then. Although, do remember that you're sharing a room with Pandy. <laughs> Actually, Pandy doesn't have a bed yet. He's got nothing to make a bed out of. Uh, I don't think I want to make it out of granite blocks. It's going to take a very long time to make if I do. Not to mention it's going to cost 45 of these things. Well, once our people warm up in here, and they are very slowly... Well, actually, they're still getting hypothermic right now. Hmm. Well, I'm hoping that it is warming up in here. Still minus four. Come on, minus three. You can do better than that. Just clear up all this floor. Human leather bed roll after the first ray. Oh, it could be done. Sadly, beds don't have any kind of warmth. They only have comfort. 
And this is a pretty uncomfortable bed. Oh god, 0.66. To be fair, sleeping on a bed just made out of, what is it, three chopped down trees? Can't be that great. Alright, it's finally positive degrees in here. There are some things I'd like to get rid of. These sarcophagi, for example, I should claim and deconstruct. They're not that beautiful, and they have some valuable steel on them. Ugh, Nancy, you are the last person I want deconstructing that. You're so slow at it. Handy, you take care of it, please. Uh, it takes a, it takes a while, but who would have thought a steel sarcophagus would be difficult to tear apart with one's bare hands? Okay, I am being warned that the hypothermia is getting dangerous. It might be too cold even for one campfire. This is apparently some serious hypothermia. Maybe I should make a second one, but I don't really have the wherewithal to be... Oh, hang on, I still have dev mode on, don't I? Away you go. No, it is still warming up. It's now 6 degrees. I do wish it were warmer, though. Because we do have to get out there and grab some very important things. Some food, for example. Okay, now it's 7. Now it's 8. Alright, we are now at the point where hypothermia should stop developing, but look at that manipulation. Hypothermia is terrible for that, and everybody is seriously hypothermic. Okay, well, Nancy, maybe it is a good idea to relax a bit, get that recreation bonus up. Fortunately, we're doing jobs here that cannot fail to crappy uh, abilities. Okay, I suppose I can put repair job back on. That way Nancy could fix things like our table and our walls. I'll probably also want these walls deconstructed, same with that one. Yeah, I, I don't think I want my, uh, my people making more furniture when they're this hypothermic. Okay, sweet, it's 13 degrees in here, it's now comfortably warm. Somewhat, we're comfortable at 16, we'll be, we'll be fine shortly. Just don't want to accidentally open it to the outside because then it's suddenly going to be freezing cold once again. And I might have Pandy make a bed out of steel. I'll tell you what we could also do with is a little stool. Man, I, I want I want wood. <laughs> I really do want some wood. Fine for Nancy to relax a bit. Maybe I should actually do the, my scheduling. I like evening recreation. Keep our people happy. Last thing I want them doing is going off the deep end at the very start of all of this. I can remove all these uh, corner pieces of wall, that's fine. Room is quite big. Eh, well, I suppose it is. Well, one thing that I really do <clears throat> also want to do is create a growing zone for some day lilies. Then we'll make this room considerably nicer. It just gives our people something to do whilst they're warming up as well, that's kind of important. Okay, hypothermia only being minor is fine. And Nancy is... yeah, good. Remove that floor, it's getting in the way. And Pandy, I think I do want that bed. Yeah, do I want the bed? Is there anything else more pressing? Well, what I really want is some wood. But I don't want to set outside, uh, set foot outside until we've gotten rid of our freezing coldness. So maybe, maybe just working on this is for the better. Tell you what, Nancy's kind of useless for a bit. So once Nancy's finished removing all the floor, I'm going to have Nancy drag all these wooden blocks outside because they're really ugly. And I think moving along them slows us down a bit, although I'm not 100% sure on that. Still some walls at the door. Yeah, you're right about that. If we could get rid of these, no problem. Again, deconstructing can't fail, so it's a nice thing to deal with. Ooh, Pandy's not happy. Why? Hideous environment. You don't like being uh, active during the day, and you're hungry, right? Well, we do need to deal with the hunger part soon. Yeah, I guess it is rather hideous here, isn't it? Um, I wonder if I could just send Pandy to sleep, then. I have an idea. How about we unassign these and give it to Pandy and we're going to reverse Pandy's schedule immediately. Since Pandy is a night owl, having him... you know what Pandy, you're getting between these two, you're, you're going over there. Um, 
Does that move him on the schedule list? It does. Now, let me double check how Night Owl works. Does not like being active between 11 and 18. So, 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 you should definitely sleep from 11 to 18. And get your recreational juices done before that. And then the rest of that you get to work. So if I do that, Pandy will now go to sleep. He'll build up some comfort, although not a lot of it. <laughs> uh, and he'll just warm the bed for our lovers. Right, Nancy, continue to remove that floor from underneath Pandy's own double bed. And then if you could please haul these blocks out of here. Move it over to there. I think that steel is ugly as well. Maybe I can keep the steel outside. Now I want that steel to um, to build with. Pandy's going to get a lot of disturbed sleep here, but ah, there's worse fates in life. Trebler, are you sure there's not other better things you could be doing? Once that hypothermia is largely gone, well, shivering is gone enough, isn't it? Uh, I've got more berries here than I thought. Right. I think it's just going to be raw berries for the first day, but Triple Yard, once you've finished planting that singular daylily, it's getting a bit hot in here. Uh, tell you what, I'm going to hold this door open and see if that equalizes the temperature a bit better, because it can get up to plus 30 with this thing, and plus 30 is too hot for sleeping in, which will give our people yet another mood debuff. Now, I want you to harvest all of these berries with your lackluster... Uh, plant skill. Uh, if the animals are hungry, they're going to dash over and eat them too, so I might need to be defensive about that. I really want to cut some more wood, but you know, there's always a lot of things you want to do in this kind of situation. Thank you, Nance. Now please keep dragging all that stuff away. Clean up our room if you could, please. Trebliard, your plant skill is... Yeah. You give Pandy morning recreation so he re recreates with his peers. Nah, funnily enough, social recreation is something you can do alone. Right, I definitely want the berries kept over here, but they are set to be kept over there. Just don't botch that, please. The bedroom is awful. <laughs> I wonder if you'll at least not get a debuff for... Uh, for what? What am I trying to say? Ooh, it's not staying very warm in there. I don't think 14 degrees is that great. All right, don't hold that open. It's not doing us any favors, it seems. Temperature's going down, not up. And, okay, you're going to haul the last of that stuff. That's fine. Nancy is very not useful at the start. She can't build. She can't do plants. There's just so much that she cannot do. Actually, I want you to help out with uh, harvesting this stuff, Pandy. We will eat shortly. Maybe for now I should say that you guys are not allowed to eat. I'll tell you when to eat. No drugs, no food, and I should get this again. Four oh right, drums, I should edit one of the ones that I have. Ah, oh, damn. What was this one called? Was it anything? I definitely want to rejig up my outfits. Tell you what, I should just change anything to forced only, and then just, no, you wear nothing. They will only wear what I tell them to wear, as God decided. In this context, God is me. Right, Nance, you are still moving stuff around. Which I suppose is fine, but after this I think I'll have you repair some of the junk in the room. Since these two haul all the berries back, at least everyone gets some food. Telling them not to eat is going to stop- you're eating my berries, aren't you? Right. Haul these berries, Trebliard, do not let that- no, 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 don't- don't you let that Ebrex ram tell you what you can and cannot do. Get away from those. Ah, oh, damn. They've got a weird way of working, don't they? Right, pick up all these freaking berries. What's Trebliard doing? There's 
going back and sewing or something. Anyway, that should be enough berries for now. One can hope. I could turn them into meals, actually. I might I might do that. Nancy, are you out? Yeah, okay, that's not a bad idea. All right, Nancy, that gives you something to do. Also, while we're there, Nancy, stay inside. It's way too cold. Also, it can increase the cleaning zone here. Bonk, bonk, ba bonk. <laughs> poor, poor doe really wants my food. Oh, it's not a doe, it's a ram. Okay, that's enough for six meals, I think. Seven meals, counting that one. Uh, Nancy, yeah, pray if you want. You think that'll help you? I don't recall Nancy doing any praying in the games. I do want some more wood, though. Do we have any fully ready-to-go cypress trees? Yeah, we got you. And Trebliard is only shivering, so once you've planted that singular day lily, I want you to go and harvest that tree. And then harvest that tree. Okay, it's a balmy 14 degrees inside. That's not great. But it's better than better than truly nothing. Right, ditch those berries. And we're going to cook four simple meals. And by we, I mean Nancy. Nancy is going to cook four simple meals. Get a little bit of wood, and then hopefully I'll get the bed for Pandy done at some point. He's going to be really, really tired, isn't he? Well, not as tired as people are hungry. How dirty is this room? Actually, I don't think it's dirty enough to cause food poisoning. Nancy's cooking skill could cause food poisoning, but the berries themselves already have an inherent food poisoning chance. And the more frequently you eat meals, the more chances you get, so I'd rather just have one nice filling meal, and it's, I don't know, 1% food poisoning chance for everyone. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how trebly hard would feel about being renamed Ned Nickerson. Right. At the very least, I want a really crappy wooden stool so that people can have their breakers. Uh, I guess Pandy will do that. Not yet, not yet. Get the meals going first. Everyone's really, really hungry. Yeah, ditch those berries, panders. What are you doing with that wood? All oh, right. I'd rather you weren't doing that right now. Could you just? All oh, right. Now we need the. Right. Tell you what. Haul the wood first, so we're not going back and bleeding forth all the time. Don't eat that food until we have a, a chair to eat from, please. There we go, just dump that stuff there, and build that. And soon you're going to need to build, build yourself another bed, Pandy. I don't want you to sleep on the floor. Uh, right, consume that meal, Pandy, now that you have a barely held together table and a stool on which to do so. You've got to keep that mood above uh, critical. If these people start going around in a psychotic daze, they're going to freeze to death. Hey, Jake, how goes Nancy's new mystery? Has she stolen any organs yet? Yeah, not quite. How bad is this stool, by the way? It's good. Couldn't we have had a good bed? You don't care about the quality of a of a stool, really. Right, do we want one more of these? Actually, I might. I might, I might, I might. Harvest, 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 and then haul the wood. And it continues trying to make our bedroom not awful. I wonder if Nancy, once you're done with this, you could... Wait, Nancy never does cleaning either? What good are you? Nancy was a cleaning maid in... Uh, uh, blah, 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 which one? Wolf. Icicle Creek. No, 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 not, not Pandy and Tripliard. Nancy and Tripliard get there. There's a crappy spot for you, Pandy. Just so no one gets any funny ideas. <laughs> Nancy, no! Sleeping alone. I should be sleeping with a lover or spouse. Now go, go to your proper bed, please. Tribliard, once you drop all that off, you should consume a meal. Don't want to get malnourished after all. That way everyone is fed, everyone is warm-ish. It's only 14 degrees in here, so that... Yeah, uncomfortably cold. I could build a second fireplace, but then I think people would just get uncomfortably hot. So, well, the barracks is still awful, but 
least Pandy is happy to be working at night time. I assume. Hey Pandy, you'd be a whole lot happier if you had a bed that didn't suck. So, let's make a wooden bed for you, shall we? We don't do quality building, as we know. Trickney mentioned that you can set the pregnancy chance in the social tab. Well, there's romance. Pregnancy chance 100%. Yeah, please, please try to avoid making babies. But that might lower their amount of lovin', wouldn't it? And lovin's a good mood boost. That said, we're really not in a good position to be managing a baby. <laughs> An awful bed! <laughs> well, that is terrible, Pandy. You're gonna hate sleeping in that thing, but at least it's a bed. For now, try and make this barracks not god-awful, and then we'll figure out where we go from here. I can still make enough meals for people, although... What we need to worry about at this point is some basic weaponry. How are we at fighting, anyway? Terrible. Good melee. Good shot. Mm, good shot or not, I still don't think I really want to use a bow that much. Although I'll probably want to hunt things that don't hurt me back, so I'll probably make Nancy... I'll probably have Nancy make us a bow. And fortunately, we have a crafting spot available like so. Also, I believe there's still some floor to be removed. Yeah, I think that floor was underneath some wall. If you're building wall, you absolutely do not need a floor. How is it still so awful in here? It's poor, spacious, ugly, dirty. The game's just really laying it on me, isn't it? Hey, Pandy, do you do cleaning? Yeah, I don't know why we have machine bits around here, but if you could kindly clean the place up. Oh, there we go. Oh, man, that was having a big effect on how nice our place is. You just keep a keen eye on Nancy in terms of... You just watch them while you're planting. That works as well. Boy, it really does not get very warm in here. Yeah, slept in the cold is gonna is gonna hit us if I don't add another campfire, or at least a torch or two. How much for a torch again? A torch lamp is twenty wood. Uh, I don't really have twenty wood to spare right now. Of course, on the other hand, what do I have to spare? Yeah, I guess it couldn't hurt to have. Could it? Get rid of that cold malice. There's still machine bits here, Pandy. You think you could clean those up? Slept on flower bed plus ten to mood. It's actually a nice flower bed to look at. Want another stool over here as well? Actually, I might use this as a workbench if I claim and reinstall you over there or something. There we go. We'll see what that does for the heat. Do not automatically refuel it. Oh, there's a thing. It gives us ten days worth of. Uh, with a fire quite ooh, that's an ugly looking icon, isn't it? Right. I want another stool here. You say there's not enough wood. Oh god, they're going at it. Please no. Nancy say no to teen pregnancy. Actually, Nancy is 20, no longer a teenager. Can't say that. I think her age is quite nebulous in all the games, isn't it? And then again, she's being voiced by a geriatric. Right, I know you want to sleep, Pandy, but come on, this is your time. You're a night owl at night. Go and get us some more wood, since we need some more wood. Always need more wood, though. Please don't get pregnant. I wonder how old a, a child has to be before you can harvest its organs in this game. Huh. I am sure some sort of gestation sensation has already been considered by me. Is this how Jake gets his first one? <laughs> there it is. Listen, I'm always just thinking about capital. Also, hopefully you guys get a bonus for sleeping in a not too... Yeah, there we go. I got to sleep in a pretty nice barracks. I didn't like sharing a room with others specifically candy. Uh, I got a lot of flack in Gentleman's Respite for not giving my people bedrooms. I will give my people bedrooms this time. 
your complaints have been heard. Of course, obviously not right now. It's the first night. Honestly, for a first day, this is going pretty well. Takes so long to harvest trees. Takes so long to plant trees as well. This is why you really want things like the planting hand. Hold on, is Triple Yard a better cook than Nancy? Yes, you are, and you have bloodlust. That's actually a nice combo. I should be able to do some horrible things to human corpses with you. I swear it's getting colder inside now. It's only 12 degrees. Maybe I should get a second campfire, but... Uh... Jake, they need to be three years... Okay, yeah, but you set how old they grow in infancy in the game settings. What's the default? Uh, okay, so they would age by three years in about... Well, a little under one year. Swell. They're going at it again? Crikey. I suppose <laughs> now that Tandy's out naked in the bollocking cold, they get a bit of peace and quiet, don't they? Should give them a mood boost. There we go, got some love and nothing like a tumble between the sheets to lift the mood, plus eight to both. But ah oh, man, I don't think Nancy's going to be happy if I have to terminate her pregnancy, and I will. Right, what are you doing, Nance? Okay, that's kind of a f rubbish job for you to do, I'd rather you did pretty much anything. I'm going to have you haul this wood once Tandy is done with it, and then get to work on making us a short bow. Just wait. Trebliard is a better crafter than Nance. Jesus, Nancy is terrible. I might have Nancy do it anyway, since Trebliard doesn't have the passion for it. Nancy does. Uh, it could be that Nancy ends up being our warden slash. Oh, I don't know. That's pretty crappy crafting. No, Trebliard should do this. So what is Nancy going to do then? Because there's always trees to cut that. No, Nancy's going to do it. It might end up being a worse bow, but at least it'll be a bow. I'm pretty sure you can't mess up making something. Uh, okay, Pandy is not having the time of his life out there. He needs to get back inside. I wanted to finish cutting that tree first. Oh, crikey. Mistakes have been made. Please finish that tree. Okay, right, he's going to bed. Do you think it would be too much for you to haul that wood on the way in? Go. Get in and get to bed, Pandy. Who's our medic? Trebly Ard will take care of you, don't you worry, Panders. Ah. Pandy called Nancy a crook! <laughs> ah, that's quite funny to me. Right. Nance, get to... Mm, no, you shouldn't make that, because you're, you're not in a good place right now. Would you mind tending to Pandy? And Nancy, would you mind... Nancy's not, a, not set to crafting. I mean, you can't like it. You should be at least a little bit of one. Okay. Hopefully this doesn't scar. It's only four damage. Trebliard's doing this with no medicine, but it's lit and it's... Uh, 34% mended. Can't go wrong with that, right? You're still not assigned to crafting. I must have given you the wrong job there. There it is, crafting. Get to work, Nance. I need a bow so I can start shooting things and have them bleed out. Alright, there we go. Frozen tissue caused by exposure to cold. Frostbite is very painful. Frostbitten parts are often lost. Not for you. You're keeping your thumbs today, Pandy. Now, Trebliard, uh, we still lack 
food. So I'm going to have you go out and harvest, 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 harvest. Wait, Tribliard still has minor hypothermia? Jeez, it really is too cold in here. We need another campfire. This cold is getting too much for us to bear. I'll set one up over here then. Trebliard, would you mind? That's probably why I, uh, oh my god, you immediately failed at it. So that's what five construction does to someone. How do you fail to make a campfire? To the point where you lose that much. Maybe at this point I will keep the door open then, because I think it's going to get pretty damn hot. Uh, minor hypothermia is still 21, though. Uh, Triple would you mind... Okay, maybe a bit of relaxation is in order, but... I want you to sew. And I want you to equip some wood. There we go, now you look like you mean business. You're hungry, you're hungry, you're hungry, everybody's hungry. Don't be terribly hard. You can, uh, once you're done with that, you can eat a meal. And then you can finish making this. Well, it's a tonking 20 degrees in there now. Is it still naked brutality? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty naked and it and hopefully looks at least a bit brutal. Ooh, you made a normal quality short bow, Nancy. It's rather impressive, actually. Just wish you could do, you know, a lot of incredibly useful early game work. Mm. I still don't really have much wood to be doing anything with, is there at least stuff you could haul? Ah, you are not allowed out. Go and haul that wood, please. Probably hard to get that other... Oh, God. How do they fail? Right, what will I have you do then? Because you're still shiveringly cold. Yeah, plant the area, but Nancy will bring the wood in. Yeah, look at that. It's a slightly impressive barrel. It's not too shabby. See, daylilies are absolutely free, and they uh, they really perk a place up. Okay, I think keeping the door open is keeping us at a very balmy 20 degrees. That's how I like my home to be. Sadly, it's very rare to be at that, uh, that warmth in Hungary. I suppose I shouldn't complain, should I? I mean, I will, but I shouldn't. And he's just sleeping off that hideously uh, maimed frostbite. Alright, not bad, not bad, that's... Why are you building the stool? Oh, I didn't take you off of construction. I absolutely do not want you to construct. Question is, what, if anything, should Nance do? Oh, repair. Right. Well, pray, sure, but also repair. For God's sake, make that stop messing it up. That's more like it. Now, Trebliard, secure us the food so that Nancy can cook us the food, please. Even though you're the better cook. Nancy's probably going to end up being my... Uh, my mystery meat package cook. And once Pandy wakes up... He hates being awake 11 to 18, right? He's doing all right. Animals know when there's food and they just beeline for it. That's, that raccoon is already eyeing it up, isn't it? Yes, it is, right. Sadly, you have to pick these things up as you go. Bit of micro, but saves me losing a whole lot of berries to these menaces. Nancy, could you not, like, repair anything? Well, that's probably why I did not home area this. Still wandering. Ah, well that is exactly the problem right there. I did not say that I own this stuff. Do I want to, though? I suppose it couldn't hurt. Claim it all. Alright, Nancy, what do you think of it now? Now she's going to very slowly repair that. Uh, please pick up those berries and harvest that bush. Oh no, 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 beating up raccoons didn't work so well for us before. Pick up the berries. And harvest that bush. How many berries do you got? 
You're going to have uh, four meals worth of berries out of this. I want a little bit more than that. How cold are you? As long as it's not serious, it's not a big deal. It's only minus 12 right now. But the more berry bushes, I might grab these three as well. And then when Nance, uh, when Candy wakes up, those two names are going to throw me all the time. They both have A, N, and Y. And C is part of a D. And N is kind of close to P in the alphabet. It's just, it's too related. Right. Harvest. Yeah, I know, I know. It's a bit of a pain, all this micro, but... I need that food, and I need to maximize the value of my people being out of the base. Wow, the being a couple has made uh, Triple Yard and Nancy rather happy. Pandy, on the other hand, <laughs> I like how he sleeps with his back to them. He wants nothing to do with it. Maybe he does. You did see him eyeing them up when he was... Uh, When he was sowing the day lilies. Alright, that's pretty good in the food triple yard. Thank you. Get back and unload. Uh, you think you could harvest that while we're at it? You could always do a little bit of medicine available. You never know when we're in a dire strait. Fan bloody testic. Now, all this stuff. And back we go, go. Handy there with his frostbitten thumbs, listening to those two go on every night. Night and morning? They're insatiable. Right, I need um, a bunch of meals made, please, Nancy. Get to the cooking. Trebly hard, get to the sewing so that you warm up, and then I'm going to have you go and cut down some trees. Oh yeah, it's worth noting that if you have Pandy, Tribbliard, and Nancy on your bingo sheets, you get them for free. Kills and captures. Ca Whoa, what the hell? Oh damn, the open door is going to allow pestilence in here. Tribbliard, put an end to that rat. Oh god, it fights back. And it's better at fighting than you! Okay, hmm. Turn on self-tend. Let's not have anybody use any of our precious medicine. Oh, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? They're going to come for our food. I mean, in a way, they bring me extra food by doing that. But maybe what I should do is get myself a butchering table already. It's going to be slower doing butchering outside, but at least it's not going to filth up my home. Wait, didn't I say I didn't want you there? Let me shove you over there. Wow, rat teeth do quite a lot of damage. You could nibble off some digits with that. But I want the door open because of the temperature regulation. Oh man, this is a pain. What's a man to do in a situation like this? They're going to eat my food. Wow, that was some awful tending quality. Yeah, they all want my food. They're going to eat the meals and things. Ugh, that blows. Um, tell you what, I could have that closed, and instead, I could have a vent. I don't know how powerful a vent would work. It would also cost a fair bit of steel, wouldn't it? You could also open some roof instead of door. Yeah, that would probably work better. Just want to temperature regulate. You know how it is. Right, that rat wants our food, and it's not allowed our food. There we go. Let's close that door, enough of that nonsense. By the way, how filthy is that thing? Probably very. Yeah, so much meat do you get up around? 19. It's going to be further reduced by a bunch of factors, but that's not too terrible. I think the dead rats are making this place look ugly, though. Oh, the, the, uh, the blood certainly is. 
and he should be nice and happy when you wake up. That ravenous hunger will be taken care of. Check the door's still open. I could have sworn it told that thing to close. Are you feeling trebly hard? Uh, it's gonna hurt your manipulation a bit, but you'll sleep it off. It's no big deal. Right. Plant the last of those daylilies so I don't need to think about them anymore. You told it twice. Ah, uh, sounds like me. Can't even blame the mouse for that. I would know if it double clicked. Okay, Trebler, please clean this place up. It's pretty important that we make this place not filthy. And that's your blood, not the rats. Hey, Nancy's leveling up in the cooking world. Uh, oh, we got another one. Say no to rats. Oh, God, not again. Oh, nice. You're meant to be nimble. Oh, you're not nimble. Nancy's nimble. Alright, well, I'll get to it. Let's close this door then. Nancy's going to move the uh, move the stool away. Uh, you know what? Let's not have dead thing. Let's not have dead corpses out there. Let's have dead corpses over here. Do I want to do this inside or outside? It's a difficult question. I don't think you produce blood when butchering, actually. But the thing itself is kind of ugly. On the other hand, it will elevate the value of the room, so it might not be too bad. So let's say that all corpses are okay here, except not human corpses. Animal corpses are fine. At least Nancy does actually fall. And then let's bring on the butcher table using wood that we don't have. Okay, well that's not good. Well, Pandy can get it built up, but there we go. Our food should be secure now. But it's going to get boiling hot in here. So, how much roof do people think we need to remove for this? I take care of six of it. It's too cold. Alright, we've got another couple of ready to harvests here. Chop, 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 please, triple yard. And Pandy is up! And cleaning that blood, good. It's kind of getting in the way, you know. If house cats taught me anything, it's that the correct place for a dead rat is in your bed. Never had the cats bring the corpses to the bed before, but they certainly do like to bring them out, usually on the front front door. That's how they like to do it. Oh, I should have cleared everything other than nasty corpses, but not human corpses. Right, Pandy, you are unbelievably hungry, so you get to eat a meal, and so are you, Nance. You also get to eat a meal. My generosity knows no end. <laughs> it knows no start, either. Nancy derided Pandy's son's clothing choice. You have a son? Some kind of hypothetical son, perhaps. Yeah, you two just do not get on, do you? I think Nancy is just uh, getting mad because she really wants to have her own little Nancy, and uh, her and Trubbly are not trying for one at this present stage. Right, we're going to get this so we can butcher up some rats. They're not really going to give us any leather to speak of. But Pandy is going to equip a bow and start shooting things. And then hopefully I'll get enough leather to actually make stuff. Pigskin is awful. Do we have any better wildlife? Mm, not really. I am not trying my hand at a bear. Well, pigskin beats no skin, so I guess I'm going to hunt myself a few boars. Right, Pandy, now is not the time for doing that. Now is the time for Mondo killing. Actually, now is really the time for making this... Uh, this table. Butcher table, that is. How are you feeling, Trebly Hard? Yeah, I know it's cold. Standing naked at minus ten as the sun goes down isn't good for most people. Has the bear killed anything? Could be free leather. We have a way of checking that, actually. 
Corpses. Animal corpses. Nope, just my three dead rats. We took care of that one. Hey, how about we get a dead raccoon? Raccoons have plain leather, right? Light leather. What about rats? Light leather. Yeah, I mean, dead animals are dead animals. And it's small, so it should should die quite easily. All right, Pandy, go and go and seek vengeance. By the way, who's my who's my chopper, so to speak? When it comes to butchering, Nancy does the job. All right, get rid of these ugly, ugly things here, please. Butcher creature forever within a very limited radius, and everything other than humans are okay and. Again, triple art is better, but Nancy has the passion. So Nancy, you get to it. It's night time, so these shots are not likely to do well. Not likely to do well. Even so, Pandy, you're meant to be level 9 shot. Pandy considers himself to be a solid professional at shooting. Good with high-tech and low-tech weapons. I think I gave myself... I made myself a character. Tried to make it as close to me as possible. I'm not very good with a bow. Uh, no, I'm not very good with a gun, but I'm quite nice with a bow. So I based it off of that. Alright, bring that raccoon back before the boars start. Oh, the boars are going for it. They see corpse. They want to nibble at corpse. No, sir. No, Pandy. You... Oh, my God. Pick it up. Before it gets eaten. Oh, man, its head got bitten off. Right, well, tell you what, secure yourself some sweet revenge. There we go, and that thing is now going to die, and how about you? Point blank with a bow, Pandy, you can't miss, although apparently you can. That one's not going to die from that anytime soon, but it might still actually die. Alright, they scatter, but that's alright. This is a uh, kind of light automation in the end. The ones that I shot should bleed out and die. Let's add you to the pile, shall we? Lendiferous. It says no immediate danger, but I'd be surprised if it can sleep off a bleed, uh, bleed attack that hefty. Alright, that's quite enough, Pandy. Bring it back. Drop the dead raccoon. Check the damage. It lost a leg and its head. There's still meat on those bones. Bring it back. Oh, maybe it does cause blood. I trebly are. Do you mind cleaning up the blood? <laughs> Don't worry. Once you've cleaned up the blood, I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you eat. That's how nice I am. Cruelest of hunting methods, slowly bleeding them out. Whoa, 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 we don't we don't stand for that level of bigotry around here, Orlean. Alright then, uh Pandy. It's only fair that you get some time to relax. Although I do think we could also do a little game around here. How about we play a game of horseshoes? If I set up the horseshoe peg right here. Multiple people can play. Be so fun. You're only shivering. You're fine for making it. And there we go. Those marks are going away in no time. Um, still want more wood. Then again, I usually do. Andy, if you could be so kind to chop, 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 and then hobble. You weren't going to eat the head anyway. I have to wonder how one handles head meat. I always imagine the cheeks of an animal would be nice and tender and meaty. But I could be dead wrong about that. I mean, the jaw gets quite the workout. Well, saying I often think about it might overplay the amount that I think. Maybe once a month or so. 
Mmm, beef and pork cheeks are great. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of tongue though. I remember uh, the first time I saw beef tongue, I was like, oh, this, there's no way this can be bad. So I got it, I ate it, and it was just, ooh. Kind of like beef jelly, but not as nice as that itself might sound. Well, gotta hand it to people. We are surviving. We haven't made any traps, although I really probably should. You know, just, just a few traps to lay out here, but the thing is you need a lot of wood. And that becomes a problem when we don't have the materials to make anything. Where is the leather? I haven't all the leather. Why in the world are you carrying all the leather? Well, what little leather there is, at least. Nancy, could you finish killing that raccoon, please? It's kind of pronouncing my style. So yeah, the big trick in the game, in my opinion, is that dirt does not get dirty. If you know that, you can go far. Oh, also, it's staying 24 degrees in here, which is a very comfortable temperature. In fact, Nancy is unbelievably happy, despite having been insulted by Pandy. What is your problem, Pandy? Well, we know what the problem is, right? But uh, why you, why you gotta be, why you gotta be like this? says you don't clean, but what about that blood on the ground? Would you mind cleaning it? That is blood, right? For whatever reason, you can't clean that. <laughs> Very loudly doing construction work next to Nancy and Trebly Yard so they don't get any ideas through the night. That's one way to do it. Right, what else can reasonably be done at this point? It's not quite enough to make ourselves a bow. 92 wood, on the other hand. It might not be the worst idea to make ourselves a tailor bench. That way we could get some clothes made, although I'll probably just... Well, yeah, what I really want Pandy to be doing is hunting animals and gathering wood. And I suppose building with said wood. How are those poor animals getting on? It's going to suck for me if they actually heal themselves, and you might actually get healed up. That's only minor blood loss for now. This one on the other hand... Oh no, they, I think they will be fine, actually. Mm, you probably won't. That's a lot of blood, and that, that is not healing up at all, is it? One of those things dead is actually going to bag me a, bag me a decent amount of meat and leather. Rebuffed by Nancy. So, just getting started and all the men are taking a pass at Nancy. Very true to Cat. Well, one of them succeeded pretty fast, I might add. Slept in the heat times three. Look, it's not that hot anymore. It's only 24 degrees. Quit your moaning. These campfires are going to be a little heavy on my wood for a wee while, aren't they? I don't think repairing these walls is a great use of anybody's time, Pandy. No, always better to have more wood. I don't like the fact that when you drag for chopping wood, it takes all the trees that can be chopped for wood, and not just ones that are truly ready to go. So, Pandy, you're not that cold, so please go and deal with this. And those meals will keep for a wee bit, so that's okay. A meal made of just berries. What does Nancy even do with them that takes so much time? Stew them, perhaps? Do you know any tricks to get ancient gears easily from ancient danger? Yeah. Uh, what you can do is you can build a door here and then mine out the wall beneath it. And then the guys inside won't know what to do. And then you can then you can uh, have some other people deal with them. Or you can just set up traps to uh, to your liking. Uh, for, that, for that matter, you can put a door here and then make a corridor here full of traps and then mine this out and then they're going to go through the traps and die. But that's a little too kill boxy for my liking so I probably wouldn't do that. Generally if it involves narrow corridors and uh, and traps or heat damage I don't like to do it because it's too kill boxy in this game. Well, so there's, there's one way to suck the fun out of combat, it's turning it into kill boxes. It can be fun once or twice when you have an entire raid in a corridor that's just getting uh, melted alive, but no thanks. There's a mod that adds an order to only chop mature trees. 
there was a YouTube comment that, uh, how did it go again? It's like, oh, you say the base of RimWorld is great, but then you have about 50 mods. Uh, well, yeah, the game is great, but just about every mod I use is a quality of life mod. Doesn't change the core gameplay in any way, just removes a lot of annoyances. One such mod is this one. Let's say you have this area, and I want to just use this amazing fertile land. Well, normally you'd have to make your zone, and you're like, oh, there's an awkward bit here, so we're going to expand it out here, here, okay. Already annoying. What you can just do is say, by terrain, bang, it grabs the fertile soil. Much easier. But it's not growing season, and it won't be for a wee while, so not of concern right now. More harvest designators as chop mature, harvest only, cut blighted only. That does sound good because the cutting of blighted ones often catches me off guard. Frequently having to do it manually. Could you clear that blood feed at least, I know you're trying to sleep, but come on. You're sleeping in the arms of a beautiful woman? I don't, know, I don't think Nancy's appearance is uh, talked about much in the games. Maybe it is talked about a bit more in the... Uh, in the novels. Yeah, eternally young. She's been late teens, early twenties since the 1930s, right? Okay, okay, forget it, Pandy. You've been in this situation before. You don't need to keep proving that you're hardcore by getting hypothermic out there. Go and warm up for a change. You can harvest that. And for what it's worth, that and that. There we go. You, you lose hypothermia really fast in a warm place, even if you're naked. Mm, we're running out of space from stuff, though. In that case, I really should get to work on... Yeah, you know what? I do think I want a tailor bench. If you could make that, and maybe another stool for it. And maybe a bed that isn't terrible. I mean, I'm going to need more beds at some point. Might as well get cracking on that, so to speak. I really want... Oh, I don't really care about that. Get it out of the way. There we go, Pandy. Work for you to do. Okay, relaxation is an important thing to do. But you're my constructor, right? You're my best constructor. Wouldn't you be happier contributing to the colony like that? He'd probably also be happier getting some actual food in his belly. Well, a campfire is easy to control, eh, Licious? Sure, we got this all taken care of. Boy, chopping these trees is hard work. I suppose none of us are that great at plants, are we? Six is not a high skill. Although, hey, soon you'll be at seven. Do these cooking of meals. At the right now, I should use meat. Meat goes off faster. Uh, now, if you could please work on the stool. And hey, good job hauling that stuff, Trebly Art. Excellent call. I love it when people just haul stuff back of their own volition. And there we go. That's why we set up the horseshoes. He's actually getting to work on it. Please work on these beds. I swear I will give you the best bed, Pandy. This awful one's probably just going to be a prison bed at some point. Right, did any of those animals feel the need to die? Hey, wild boar is down. Sweet. In that case, Pandy, if you're not too cold, which he is. Uh, oh, okay. A local squirrel has gone mad. We are naked and poor enough that that could considerably be a problem. Oh my god, another poor bit. Please, Pandy. You're my constructor. And you're terrible at it. Oh, there we go. Good bed. There we go, Penendi. There's your good bed. Huge boost in comfort. 0.84 up from 0.57. The double bed is still 6.6, six, but wood, um, double beds cost a lot of wood, so I'm not 
not rearing at the opportunity to uh, to piece together more of those. And that food's still good for a wee while. Right, Nance, you can consume. Pandy, you can also consume. You can also consume. Treble yard, not yet. Ah, look how slightly impressive this place is. Pandy's slaving away while his asshole tosses horseshoes at him. What a hard life. Right, Pandy, I want you to go out and hunt that boar. Not rescue, hunt. I don't think I put anyone on hunting, right? It's not something I tend to do. I like to just... Uh, yeah, there we go. Everyone can do it in a pinch. Go and hunt that wild boar. And where's that mad squirrel? Oh, it's mad as a hatter. We're going to have to club it to death. Tell you what's just going to go for Pandy otherwise, so the two of you get out here. Nancy's going to scream because she's nimble. There we go. See? Not a problem. While we're at it, would you mind clubbing this other squirrel to death? We, we could do with meat, right? This malnourished squirrel. How much meat are we talking? Not a lot, but... Is it light leather? It is light leather. The reason that's good for us is that it'll stack. Go, Nance, go! Splat it. There we go. Easily done. I'll bring that back. Pandy brings back the whole hog. And suddenly we're looking like we're going to be able to actually get some clothes. That'd be a nice touch. Nancy, would you mind butchering instead, please? There's plenty to be butchered. And he's just happy to warm up a touch. Mm, this should get me the light leather, but... I think these boars aren't going to be so kind as to die for me. You might if that wound doesn't heal up. Are there any more animals around here? I swear I saw a boar close by. But I sure don't see it now. Man, the cougar would be a nice catch, but a little too big for us. Anyone with... Oh, that! That's probably the one I was looking at. Right, Pandy, your job is not yet done. Please go and grab that. I don't know how much pigskin's on one of these, but probably not enough for a single... Oh my god, it's only 27. And that gets reduced by a bunch of other things. The difficulty, the fact that it's injured... Actually, I think the injury is already taken into account. Oh, nice shot! Yeah, shattered its hoof. Unfortunately, that's not making it bleed, but it is making it slower. It is making it slower, Pandy, making it a terrifically easy shot. Yeah, he knows what he's about. Yeah, one last shot that misses, but that thing is already dead. That shouldn't be a problem. We'll catch it when it's bleeding out for us. Maybe go out and shoot another few of these. I do want the leathers and such. Right, tribal wear. We're in dire need for it. It costs 60 of something, and it should be done by... It uh, should really be done by Trebliard. He's our best crafter, after all. No passion, though. Yeah. It's, it's a difficult question, right? You send in the one with the pa uh, passion, who's definitely going to get better at it, or the one without the passion. difficult question. The thing is, most of Nancy's time is probably going to be spent doing intellectual stuff, with the occasional cooking. If we had crafting on top of that, then again, Treble Art does plants, and I almost always have work for people with plant skill. Cutting trees, sowing, harvesting. Yeah, Nancy. Even if the tribal wear is awful, at least, at least we'll be wearing something. Go to that. Sorry, Trebs. I'm gonna lower your priority in all of this. And I'm gonna heighten Nancy's priority. I'd rather you re bring research down a touch. 
there's the bleeding boar. Now for Pandy, maybe you could just point blank one of them. How, how, how do you miss that shot? You're meant to be great at this. You can't even blame the quality of the bow. It's actually a pretty good bow. This hunter-gatherers had it rough. They didn't even have me yelling at them. To be fair, that's, that's a pretty long and difficult shot. Oh, well. Phew. Far be it for me to say such things. Yeah, bring that, bring that bad boy back. And go to bed, because you don't like being operational at this time, do you? He's doing his best when he should do someone else's best. Yeah, that was a lucky shot through the heart, and you're going to grab it before all these other boars want a piece of it. Pandy is not happy, though. Pandy wants sleep. It's okay, though. Pandy wants recreation as well. There's a lot of things Pandy wants. We'll deal with that, Pandy. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, girly. Once Trebly Art is up, I've got a lot more trees here to harvest. I'm getting a little worried about my lack of defenses, though. It's already day three or four or something. Oh, also, I got uh, too much roof going, I think. Could we just remove a touch more roof, please? Yeah, just do this noisy roof removal job when Pandy is around. Pretty sure what he really needs is a parka. Yeah, but parkas... Parkas don't cover everything. Parkas cost more materials. Yeah, 80 compared to 60. Plus, you can wear a parka over tribal stuff. And again, you wear a tribal under the parka, can't you? I don't know, I've just never been a huge fan of the parkas in the game. All oh, right. Anyway, Nancy, you you made it. You get to wear it. Let's see what this does for your temperature range. Not a lot. Not a lot at all. Are you hungry? I mean, I can always feed hungry people. No, you're not. Trebliard is. In fact, what's Trebliard doing asleep at this hour? Get up. Get your life together. If you remove the roof, can't you also sow some plants for food? Uh, I could, but I don't really want to. We're not exactly short on food right now with all this meat, and we've got more coming in. On top of that, I'm going to have to cook these, uh, these meats into meals at some point. I don't want to rest so much. Get out there and make me some, get me some trees and stuff. Which trees are ready to rock and or roll? You are, you are, you are. And that should be fine for one triple yard. Now, thinking about it, Trebliard should have been the one to get the clothes, since he's the one that's working outside so much. But, eh, it sounds like if I keep going with this boar nonsense, I'll have enough pigskin to make a parka for Trebliard. <laughs> and he cannot be happy about this arrangement. Right, could you just make this out of the raccoon and squirrel meat before it goes off, please? So, uh, well, meat is meat, I guess, but it just strikes me as a little disgusting. I need to get rid of that hunting thing or else it's going to keep bothering me that Hunter lacks ranged weapon. And yeah, game is also telling me I need defenses. Well, I mean, I'd love to. It's going to be Nancy with that nimble skill up front. Don't know why Tan uh, Pandy gave himself nimble when he's a shooter. But to each their own. But yeah, good point. I should get some defenses up even though they're quite expensive. Once Pandy is up and on the go at night time, I'll have him... Oh, man. Why you gotta do that to me, game? Two thrombos. Mm. Mm. Thrombos are uh, so good, but without a way to take them out, they're just, uh, just there to taunt me. Right, Nance. Did you really do all that cooking? I mean, surely you could make some more 
rat and squirrel meat. I neglected rat. No, we don't have anyone that's good with animals, so taming them is out of the question. Skill 2, skill 4, and skill 6. Pandy's actually giving himself reasonable stats here. He's just not a thinker. Yeah, I know. We saw I can get somewhere with those bleeding plants. And I hate stumps, so please get rid of them. All that wood back, and then casually remind me that I am really low on space. Can I make you a low place for storing wood? And then maybe make this a no place for storing wood? Yeah. Space is uh, at a bit of a premium right now. Will a starving cougar attract a th uh, attack a thrombo? I don't think any animal would fight a thrombo. It would just be assisted suicide. Right, once Pandy is operational, he's making traps for us. Why did Trebliar just grab some pork? Oh, he's dropping the wood and then he's consolidating the pork. That makes a bit of sense. The food is made. No one is starving. Nancy is kind of out of a job. Continuing to gather wood, which I suppose is fine. What I really want is Trebliar to keep getting me the wood. Again, preferably from fully grown or just about fully grown trees. And preferably when you're keeping yourself relatively warm. Really shouldn't be keeping steel in here either, should I? Only minus eight trebly art, you can get that done. Nancy being useless, what else is new? She'll be slightly more useful once we actually put down a place for her to do some research. I should uninstall these relatively crummy beds and put in a research bench here so she can actually do research when nothing else is happening. In fact, that's not a terrible idea. The only downside is that that uses a whole load of our wood, and I really... Oh, it's also larger than I remembered. Now that also can be fixed with a slight bit of wooden walling. Yeah, then I can set it up here. I could even move the stool over there so it can double as eating and researching stool. Brilliant thinking, Jake. Dead of the art. Of course, Nancy won't actually construct that. Nancy will just doss around. Moving things around. This is definitely not where furniture should be kept. Store that crap outside. On that note, I'll need a bigger zone. Daily is kind of eating up the space in here, and annoyingly, I'm going to re need to re-sew them before long. There we go. It's keeping 24 degrees inside, thanks to our open roof. Thank you for whoever mentioned that. Otherwise, I was going to do the far more high-tech solution of building a vent, which could have backfired big time if it sucked in cold air too fast. Bliard is probably not happy with this situation. Yeah, game, I know I've got low medicine. What do you want me to do about it? Probably harvest some medicine. Right, we got one downed boar. Unfortunately, it decided to run away to the freaking corner of the map. Uh, even so, that's worth our time. Pandy, go and hunt that boar, please. When you come back, you can have some delicious food. Ribbliard, I think you've done enough. Once you finish with that, you can harvest these stumps. Yeah, I know I could farm under the open roof, but I will not. We're not that far away from a better time of day, a uh, better sowing period. I mean, when is our sowing period? Uh, apparently the 6th of 8th of May. That's still a month away, but at least during that time we can make use of the gratuitous amount of good, um, good sowing land. 
Heck, if I'm really greedy, I might be able to get some Devil Strand out of it. I don't know what plants level you need to be at for Devil Strand, but Trebliard could surely get there in time. Even if it's 8 or 10. Pandy's just so unhappy. I know, Pandy just grabbed that. Oh my god, that is a ways to go, isn't it? And now he's shivering. Might have sent him out a death march, actually. Especially if he snaps out there. That would suck for him. The others are getting their recreation going, which they really should. No, Nancy, don't do that from outside. God, it's a shame that that hog went so far away. This is actually pretty bad for you, Pandy. That's a long, long way to go when you're very, very cold. Oh, wait, what? You just suddenly decided you don't want to? Hunt that thing and bring it back. There we go. Now get back before you freeze to death. Yeah, well, Nancy is happy to freeze out there. I suppose she's not freezing that badly. She's got the clothes. The only clothes. Uh, Trebliard, please put that wall in and then remove this wall. And that's fine with the roof. And then, and then, and then, actually, the research bench is going to be a bit of a problem because of you. Put the research bench here, that there. Where would you go? I don't really want this thing here, so I can get rid of you. Rate you over here. Rate you over there. Come on, you can do it, Pandy. Get back. Think of all the warmth. Let's dream about a day when we have simple research going. Well, maybe that simple research bench could actually have a proper seat. God, Nancy, this is definitely not your kind of job. Could you instead perhaps bring all the stuff to that, um, that research bench? Absolutely freezing. My teeth are chattering. I can barely speak. My toes are numb. I need to get warm. Actually, that's a problem when he goes to even colder hypothermia because then his movement is going to slow down as well. But believe that he can make it. This is Pandy we're talking about. He's not known for breaking under pressure. thinking about it. Maybe this thing should be turned around so that the uh, the seat that I put on it can double as a seat for this. Actually, that's a great idea. It's okay, no resources were wasted. It wasn't even started. And even if it were, that wouldn't count. There we go. Pandy's going to make it fine. Unless he snaps right there, in which case he will not. Get in, get warm, get relaxed, do whatever. You should be happy, you're a night owl, and it's night time. Now go and eat your simple meal. And go and watch Nancy and Trebliard get it on. There we go, see, that's, doesn't that make you much happier? It does, doesn't it? So will a game of horseshoes. Get rid of that recreationally starved. Ah, much better. I believe are bathing in the afterglow of happiness here. And yet I don't get an inspiration. Right, Pandy, once you're done with that, I have a very important job for you, and that is building me a fat lot of defense. Spike trap. There. 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 Uh, there, I guess. And we'll shift them outside. Now, since we don't have mountains to act as choke points, we could be attacked from anywhere. But all of our valuable stuff is around here, so if I just make like a box of traps around here, then, you know, raiders aren't going to enter here, or rather, you know, what am I trying to say? I can go to the other side of the traps, wherever they come from. They'll stumble into them and die. Should get us through any early attacks. 
boxer traps legally distinct from kill box <laughs> ah he's a funny freaking guy some kind of murder hypercube is in order I think I'll leave that thing alone for now I won't butcher it until it's uh, start to go off because you can get three bursts of freshness on something. You can take a corpse and leave it until it's on the cusp of rotting, and then butcher it, and then you get its meat. And that meat will also be good for about two days, I think. And then when that food, when that meat is just about to turn, then you can cook it into a meal. And then the meal gets another burst of not going to go rotten on you for four days for a simple meal. Forever for a package survival meal. Good times. Now, we also need a, another one of these, if you don't mind, Pandy. Again, there is no quality in my quality building. Then Nancy can actually not be quite so useless. Ah. Make a non-heated room as a freezer. Also an option, but no, I do actually want to... Uh, I can't waste too much time moving around, especially in the deathly cold. Right, they're going at it again. It's two in the morning, and you just did it. Okay, this is good. Pandy's actually getting somewhere in construction skill. Fewer botches. I think once you hit level ten, you no longer botch anything. You know, Nancy, it's going to be quite some time before I research fertility procedures. I don't. What do you need to make an IUD anyway? It's called an IUD, right? Uh, research fertility procedures. IUD requires medicine. Ooh, cool. That's all we need. Hey, you know, it might just do that for you. There's a small chance of leaving the per patient permanently sterile. Uh -huh. The surgery terminates pregnancy. Oh, great, we don't have to also do an abortion. Splendid. Maybe I should actually clear these out of the way. They are kind of in the way. Oh, but you're such a little baby tree. What are you doing up to the yard anyway? Is it really up time for you? Maybe go and eat yourself a nice meal first. You could not give them a double bed and live with the mood debuff. Nah. Nah, if pregnancy happens, it happens. Yeah, there's, there's the stories that never get told in Nancy Drew, right? For a guy that's only 21, he's rocking a kind of 68-year-old look. Then again, in uh, in the early 20s, people that could rock big facial hair, oh, they would. I mean, I, I get almost no facial hair, so I don't have a leg to stand on there. Any leg I do stand on would sound bitter and false. Right. I think we want a few more simple meals, actually, made out of that rat meat before it goes to waste. Again, this is a Nancy job. She wakes up. It's time for Betty Bye Bye's for Candy, sadly, and he also is going to want some recreation time. One of the bothersome things in the game is that people will hit on people that already have lovers, and that's just bad for both. Turning people down can actually make people unhappy. Right, so what are we going to do here? I reckon I'll just keep these outside. Like so. And then... I think I do want to give them the old concrete floor. Hmm, but what if, they, what if they follow along the walls here? I think what might be more clever is putting it there and there and there and there can't go wrong with a little bit of concrete flooring just to 
entice people over that way. Let's say they're coming this way. We could go shoot, 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 run away, or run in here, and then they're going to eat these traps. Maybe Nancy and Trebly Hard know they're doomed to getting the kicks in while they can. Well, it's possible. I can't want to sure. Whoa, why is it so cold inside? I guess I need my roof area back again. That, that changed pretty swiftly. Trebly Hard, would you mind building the roofing area first? I don't want Nancy to be sleeping in the cold. I mean, too late, but. Why is it so cold? Maybe all the opening of the door kept sucking the, the air out. The wild uh, boars, which I neglected earlier, they are being chewed on. However, hauling them back sounds like a Nancy job. Oh, there's just one out there, but it is being chewed on. And it does still sound like a Nancy job. Nancy, I want you to consume your simpleton meal and then go and haul that, uh, haul that boar, please. I doubt it was a torch. Torch doesn't give up that much heat. Nancy is malnourished. Well, not anymore. You just had a delicious meal of rat meat. Uh, I believe I mentioned you... Gathering that boar. Oh, right, of course, they don't do it because for some reason animals take priority. Well, it's not the end of the world. Well, it kind of is. I really do want that meat. Tell you what, finish making that one crummy meal, Nancy, and I'm going to force you out there to take care of it. And then we'll have the research going. Now, what are we even going to research? I didn't really think about this, did I? Hmm. Hmm. Guns, Jake, guns. Now, I prefer to get guns off of raiders. It would be nice to be able to get some beers going. Um, beer is a great way to deal with bad moods. In fact, since this since the sewing season is far away, getting beer brewing and maybe not trees, but devil strand and beer. If I can get these two things in the ground, then we should be able to make some half decent clothes and beers afterwards. So I might actually start with devil strand. Yeah, big weakness of the last colony. A couple of fights. You are ranged weak. Yep. But consider what is needed to go into guns. Right, what would we what would we need for some gunsmithing? We'd need machining, which also needs smithing. So get smithing, then get machining, then we can get gunning. Combined total of what's that? Two thousand two hundred, and then we can make some very very basic guns. But to make those guns, we also would need, I believe, a machining table and a bunch of steel. Don't know if they need any components either. It's just. Too, too resource heavy for a bunch of naked people living like this. Uh, ah, crumbs. Pandy's going to gather it. I, I was planning on sending Nance, but oh well. Did Leighton and crew meet a puzzle that confounded them? In a manner of speaking, yes. Lore-wise, Professor Leighton is still alive. We want to find him. Oh, Pandy. Always smell opportunity with both nostrils. Oh my god, please, please just hit the freaking thing. Hit it better than that. Uh, a lot better. Oh well, can't win them all. In this case, you can't win that one at all. There's an idea of just cornering it with Nancy and Trebliard uh, Trebli and clubbing it to death. I am giving it some real consideration. I was thinking about that actually. Missing and taking the Thrombo would be one dead pandy. I wouldn't even bother trying to save him. Thrombos are incredibly powerful. And their horns are really tough. 
It's fine, I don't mind Pandy taking a bit to relax. His relaxation's not been too great lately. It's good to see Nancy having a job that she can do as well. It's not so great seeing you just bleed out all over the place, though. Oh, female wargs. I won't be getting wargs until I can get them in a much safer environment, but uh, they're still very tantalizing things. I would like to have my warg army. Right, we're getting to the point where I can actually allow my people to eat, so... Food restriction, food restriction. We're going to take the first one and call it... Nothing. Hopefully it allows an exclamation mark. It does not. That way, anyone who comes in here defaults to nothing. And then I'm going to take uh, a lot of the other ones and just get rid of them. Fine, simple, uh, raw, the other nothing. Oh, because it's used, right. Vegetarian, carnivore, cannibal. And so just get rid of all of them, right? For now, it's just nothing or paste, and someday I will have paste. Uh, why does paste allow things that aren't paste? I do not know. Anyway, nutrient paste. And then I want to be able to uh, make my ones manually. So this will be simple meals. And all it allows is simple meals. Berries, no nothing. Just simple meals and that's your lot. This will be changed to paste as soon as I have paste operational. I just... I, I cannot... I cannot believe in a world that doesn't allow paste. It's just, I don't like cooking in the game. And I love paste. So much utility. It's good to see Pandy actually having a bit of a relaxation now, though. He's been through a hard time. He was the only one that got frostbite, although he's still naked. I don't know why Nancy gets the clothes. I feel like we've had Pandy die in quite a few of our runs. Not Pandy compared Nancy's father to a donkey. Don't say that about Carson Drew. He'll come and get you. He's a lawyer. Right, I think despite the nasty things that you just said, Nancy is still going to make you a parka. Even if it's crappy quality, it'll be a whole lot warmer than what they're having right now. All this meat is really going to go to waste. If I kept it outside, I would just uh, I would just lose it. What I could conceivably do is wall off a little cold area. I'm thinking about it, because otherwise all this meat's going to spoil. Yeah, it's probably a pretty good idea. All I really need is a tiny little area. Keep 3x3 three three attached to the base and keep all the meat in there. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Just wondering if I should door it. A bunch of things, to be honest. I don't know if animals can eat through corn. It's also thinking about just shoving it over here. It's a bit of a trek, but for making four meals, it's not too shabby. Top left corner would be good. Yeah, but I also do really want to expand this out in the not-too-distant future. So I think what I'm just going to do is... Something like... Well, not something like I'm going to do exactly this. There we go, this will just be where we keep our meat. Shouldn't need too much of it. Probably are there better things to do. Make that wall and door, please. Because I'm not going to build over here. Main reason being is that it's stony soil here. And uh, stony soil can get dirty, whereas dirt cannot get dirty. Until I'm at the point where I can have a nicely floored base, our floor will be dirt and daylilies. It can, however, get bloody. God, I wish Nancy could clean. Pigskin parka. Oh, what a grim proposition. Well, Tribbly Art knows how to clean, at least. 
Rebel, are you going to build that stuff? You are set to construction. Maybe I should set you a little higher on construction. Uh, right now, I can't really be that picky. Yes, I will actually be making bedrooms. Right now, we're making do with the barracks out of uh, sheer necessity. But people obviously had a big problem with the whole uh, bedroom fiasco. This time, I will give them one. There we go. And this area is purely for meat. I don't care about corpses. I just want meat in here. Corpses will stay fine. They get butchered fast enough. But meat is a different story. And there we go. This place is going to stay real cold. Truth be told, I don't need to roof it. But stuff still does degrade a bit when it's unroofed. And who knows how long I'm going to be keeping them out here. Well, until until the weather thaws, that much is a given. All right, thank you, Tribbliard. Now, if you could kindly haul all that pork and whatnot. Who knows, we might have a warm bit of park for you soon. Yeah, bedrooms are nice. I wasn't doing it because bedrooms are... They, they add a lot of wealth to you, and they don't really do much that a barracks, a nice barracks, doesn't do. I mean, look at this. We've got minus two from slightly impressive barracks. Currently, if we gave everyone a bedroom, we'd probably have like minus two or three from, oh, I have a bedroom, but it sucks. Not to mention I'd have to spend the time and the wealth of actually building them a bedroom. And the bedrooms would be cold, so they get minus four slept in the cold, whereas in the barracks they don't get that, because I keep the barracks warm. We have two warm now, that's freaking 28 degrees in here. Oh, fickle keeping the roofing situation under wraps. I'm going to remove those two bits, please, Triple Yard. I swear, if, I'm, if you are Triple Yard out there and I'm getting your name wrong, please tell me I'm meant to say it, because it's ambiguous at best. What are your thoughts on Rin World? I've had this on my Steam wishlist for a while. Always hesitant to buy it. The only reason you should be hesitant on getting Rin World is if you think that your time is far too precious. It gobbles up spare time. It doesn't care about uh, your wants and needs in the world. Your time will just disappear playing this game. Yeah, still a decent chance this boar is going to die. Die in a convenient location for me. The meaty meals are still looking good. Nancy, who said you could stop working. Okay, you're hungry, fair enough. And now they keep a meal in their inventory. Fun fact is that if you keep a meal in your inventory, it will never spoil. Unfortunately, colonists will never take a nutrient paste meal into their inventory. It's treble ard. Treble ard. What have I been saying? Tree bleared? Oh god, no, it's treble ard. Let's keep that in mind. Yeah, pick up an old mandatory. I cannot believe that's not been put into the base game yet. Right, that's a lot of chop. Uh, that's a lot of repairing things and not a lot of chopping down wood. I need wood. I also need more, more skin for parkas. I mean, pigskin is very poor at insulation, but we make do. I'll give it to Pandy. The thing is, Pandy is always the one doing stuff at night time. So it's colder. Stands to reason he should get the uh, the warmest stuff I can. On the other hand, Nancy usually works indoors, so it doesn't make a lot of sense giving her the clothes. But Nancy made it. Nancy can have it. Yeah, I got the mod that lets nutrient paste stuff depend, uh, dispense it. You can do it manually, so I don't have a problem with putting in a mod that just lets me do it. Such is the guiding mantra of quality of life modding. Whoa, slow down there, Pandy. We got clothes for you right here and right now. It's your very own pigskin parka with quality normal. Well, I'm actually very impressed with that. Oh, look at that. He can survive in minus eight now. Even though pigskin is a god-awful thing to make a park out of. 
Let's have a look at it, shall we? Tide, uh, dried, tanned, escaped, uh, scraped. We need a drink before saying that. Tanned, dried, scraped pig skin. That is a real tongue twister, actually. A decent leather, it neither protects nor insulates particularly well. So, what part of it is decent, game? It's pretty awful at all of this. 12 and 12 at insulation? Ugh. I think 120 heat armor is surprisingly good. I mean, if we looked at light leather... Oh no, it's also 150. Maybe I'm dead wrong. Anyway, poor, poor choice of, uh, of leather, but it's all we had. And our Tribliard is the only one who is naked. We'll get him a parka soon enough. Those thrombos, they taunt me with their very existence, how I would love to have them. Pandy, once you're done with that, go and hunt that boar. It's just asking to die at this point. Nancy, figure out how to make Devil Strand, and then beer. Costs a bit of steel and a bit of wood to get the beer brewing operational, but I think it's well worth it for the mood boost. Drinking a beer gives you a pretty hefty mood boost with very, very, well, non-existent risk of alcoholism. Oh my god, stop running away from Pandy. He wants the best for you. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing here? Looking like a free meal is what you're looking like. Bring that back, panders. And maybe while you're there, shoot an Abex, because those things never revenge. In an early time playing RimWorld, I assumed that revenge was also applied to Malay, but no, any animal will... Wow. Immediately shot through the brain by Pandy. You are a real trooper. You want to do another one? Huh. Yeah, I suppose if I was bleeding profusely out of the neck, I too would die soon. Right, bring back the one that's got no missing body parts first. See, so he's he's now unpleasant. It's unpleasantly cold out here, but not to the point where he's dying, which is nice. And different. Triply hard. Resting as they should. Yeah, there, there are ways to get these thrombos, but I wouldn't, wouldn't want them. I mean, you could uh, completely build around them and burn them to death. You could just shoot them and keep dancing between doors. They're not smart. They will, uh, they'll they'll go to one door and then you'll be at the other one. They'll go to that. You get a shot and run away. But no, I'm just accepting the fact that there are these delicious walking piles of wealth that I cannot have. Speaking of piles of wealth, our wealth started at 6,200. It's now at 8,700. Wealth management will still be important here. You have... Plain leather. Damn. It's better than light leather, but the fact that I'm getting different kinds of leather is bothersome. Because you can't combine them unless you make it into patchwork leather, which is terrible. I think it's the worst leather in the game. Can't say for certain, though. I'm not that familiar. Uh, right. At least stump. Why do we even leave stumps? Right. Harvest. 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 Haul. And then haul. The veer, huh? Not sure if that thing's going to make it or not. See, when animals sleep on the ground like that, they just naturally do some healing, and some animals are really good at healing themselves. I have a colonist that's been in and out of the bioregen for something like 10 in-game years because she's just so scarred and broken. I don't like bioregening because it takes so long. If you're not transhumanist, I think it takes about two in-game months to heal you. Now granted, it does do quite a lot. It's going to... Uh, going to take care of scars and missing fingers and toes and eyes, but I mean, why do that when you could just make some bionics? Won't take anywhere near, or just buy or steal some bionics. Just such a better solution, in my opinion. Uh, whilst you're there, Pandy, you think you could? I knew you could. Anyway, uh, haul the Ebex first, please. Another shot through the heart? He's a master of his craft. 
Bionic Brain replacements are a bit hard to find. Luciferium or Healer Serum, preferably Luciferum. But yeah, I, I get it, that's not a great solution most of the time. Wow, I put unlimited radius on you. Let's actually try to rein you in a bit, please. So uh, Nancy wakes up, she's got some- Whoa, Pandy, I know you like doing that, but how about we haul these things back before other predators nibble away at them? Hey, sometimes you get lucky and someone that takes a brain injury gets trauma savant. Then they become really good at manipulation, although they never speak again. <laughs> that could be nice if your pawns like to insult. I think that stops them from starting a social fight, so it could be good for someone with, say, bloodlust or psychopath. I don't know, psychopath effects. Um... Oh man, the, the moment the door is closed, Nancy and Trebly are to get into it. I might need those fertility procedures sooner than I thought. Stumps die away naturally, but I just don't like leaving them around. I sort of like leaving this junk around. Let's try and clean up the base a bit, shall we? Nancy, please tell me it didn't say that. Oh, whew, scaring me there. Lucy's only worth it if you're absurdly wealthy and high tech. I don't think so. You need far, far less Lucy than you think. One per six or six and a half days per colonist. Just one or two people you can make do a good long time. And Lucy is sold in loads of settlements and isn't that rare on traders either, so I believe in Lucy. I'm just, you know, at this point in the game I certainly wouldn't be getting Lucy. Let's get rid of these bits of junk, please, Pandy. They are obs Oh, they're not nice to look at. If you get ideology, you can make a ritual to summon Lucifer and bugs. That sounds like a mod. That a hundred percent sounds like a mod. Rise and shine, Nancy. It's at five in the morning. Although, to be fair, you are sleeping in a very uncomfortable bed, and I would actually like Pandy to make you a better one, since that's two people getting a very nasty discomfort. Malice. Oh, I certainly don't find it's a regular thing to find on um, on raiders. I don't like all this repair work. It's not a good use of your time, lads. Of course, if it doesn't get done, you're just always going to be coming back and doing it. I tell you what, could we not just like replace this with a bit of wooden wall? Wouldn't that be a lot better, Pandy? It would certainly be faster. Sure, it'd be a lot more flammable, but I'd get the steel. I wouldn't have to do this repair job. Seems like a pretty big win to me. There we go. Still very cold inside. Surprised you didn't get slept in the cold there, Nancy. Okay, okay, it is a mod, yeah, there we go. That's no big issues here. As for the simple meals, I would like those made out of any meat, and I want you to do it until there are... Do it until there are eight, and then when you're satisfied, do it when there are zero, when we're starving. Or do it when there's four? Yeah, yeah. I worry that she's going to bring uh, meat bit by bit, so some of this and some of other meat. There's a mod that makes the um, makes all the meat the same type, so it all stacks, but that's that's beyond quality of life. Uh, these daylilies they grow just with a small amount of light. Most plants need more than fifty percent. And the only source of light that gives more than 50% is the sun itself and sun lamps. And I'm not invested. Pandy, do you do anything other than insult people? You don't actually have traits that make you this abrasive, but you just keep laying into them. A backhanded compliment about Nancy's aunt's hopes and dreams. Did Nancy ever 
allude to her aunt in any of the games? Oh, Pandy isn't even that tired. I should find something for you to do. Tell you what, could you actually make us some double beds that don't suck? If I can get some... Uh, if I can get a mood buff for Nancy and Trebliard from... From Comfort, that's going to be a big boon for me. Whilst Trebliard is wondering what in the world he could be doing, well, there's always a need for more wood and wooden traps at that, for that matter. At this point, over 80% is game. You bought me! Oh my god, Fanti, please. You are, in your own words, a capable amateur. Pretty sure I could construct a wooden bed with that much wood at hand. It's still poor. I don't want poor. Oh, this is burning through my wood, but it would be a... Well, I, to be fair, I'm investing in a mood bonus first. people that truly, truly do not need it. They are very happy with each other as it is right now. Just, just not poor, okay? Okay, normal will do. Deconstruct both of these, and then move that thing over. Probably are still bleeding cold though, but... Not a lot of wildlife left on the map. One of the thrombos is gone. Wow, quite a few corpses. Oh, right, these are my corpses. However, that Ebex Ram is not. You got hunted by a me, actually. Hmm, nice. And there was another one. Dead boar. It's lost its head, its legs. Not a lot of leather left on you. Hmm. And that Ebex Ram is a mile away, so I won't bother with that. But this one, absolutely. So once Nancy is done cooking the meals, I want her to slaughter. Go get that reinstalled here. Now I might actually put down a dresser just to link up with these two. It's a, uh, a not insignificant bonus. To the comfort. Should you really still be cooking? I've got plenty of meals. Why are you still cooking simple meals? It should be paused. Go and butcher instead. about my low medicine, right? Eyes peeled for heal root. I want that heal root, that heal root, that heal root, that heal root. That's five medicine. Six medicine, seven medicine, eight medicine, nine medicine, and that should do me fine. That's handy. Come. Be a chief and get that thing built. You could just control F, right? Yeah, I certainly could. I could go, what's it called again? Heel, wild heel root and go bleh. Show me whether, wow. I did not need Psycho Sooth, but I'll take it. Shows us where they all are, but I wanted ones that are grown and close to the base. If it's not 66% grown, then it's not good enough for me. All right, there we go. And now even Pandy's getting up to 0.9 comfort. And the couple's getting up to 0 0.8, which is not too shabby. And you are botching that. That is not good. You're also... Well, this is why you're botching it. You're freezing bloody cold. How about you go and haul that ra... I think it's already hauled, is it? Well, Nancy, you've got a bunch of plain leather. Okay, it looks like you're going to be here for a while. Pandy thinks you should give your faction name. I don't know about the faction name. I'll take anything from chat. But this settlement... There's only one place that makes sense, and that's Castle Malloy. Is it spelt with two L's? 
I'm going to have to check that. Nancy, Drew, and the Haunting of Castle Malloy, two L's, yeah. But what do we call our group? I'm thinking Nancy Drew. Oh, <laughs> yeah, great. Sassy Detectives is great because there's a high chance Nancy's going to die at some point. So we got to learn from her. Good job, Baron. So we're the Sassy Detectives currently investigating Castle Malloy. If it ever comes to pass that we have to make other settlements, we will use other settlements from the Nancy games, of course. It's the right thing to do. While you're there, just drop that and that and stuff like that. One annoying thing is your units go back and forth just dossing about with items. But you can micro it like that and save yourself a bit of grief. Case in point. Uh, right. I only have 44 pigskin, but I have more than 80 plain... Ah, crap, it's plain and light. I need another parka. I need another plain-skinned animal. That Ebex ram might be a little tempting. It's actually quite tempting, but it's also aeons away. Truly aeons away. Is there any other animal hit there that's going to give me some... Plain leather. Hello, here's a wee rammy friend. Not very far. Pansy, I know you're sleeping. Get up and get me that. I need a I need a parka for Trouble Yard. God, horrible thing. You you hate operating in the daytime, you get rocked out of bed and told to hunt in the freezing cold. Not gonna be fun for many involved. Trouble Yard, should you really be out eating like that? Pick that up. Don't eat up. You are really giving me grief like this, aren't you? Yeah, he really wants to eat that. Hey, well, harvest that and then harvest that and then ball everything. Otherwise, you're just asking for eight without table malice. Eight without tables are pretty cool. Oh, crumbs. This is pretty bad. Right. The harvest job is cancelled. Get yourself back inside before you also freeze to death. Is that a hit? That is absolutely a hit. Right in the head. Splendid. Oh god, Triple Yard's going to be real slow. Get back to base and don't get yourself frozen off. that a hit? That looked like quite the hit. Now oh, I want that thing not to just run away on me. You can do it, Trebly Yard. Get inside. It's so warm in there. Hey, you're handling hypothermia a lot better than Pandy did. There we go. You'll be fine. It's a staggering 23 degrees indoors. Right, one last shot, Pandy, if you can't make it, which you can't, then just get back. There we go. All that to avoid eight without table and triple yard. Maybe, maybe don't step outside. <laughs> it's okay, those campfires do need to be taken care of, don't they? Not too terrible, but I really need to think about where we're going from here. Get another parka, one for Trebly Yard. And then I think I need to invest some time in making some proper traps. But you must have nothing to do if you're just uh, consolidating like that. It's going to be good for you to be nice and comfy like that. Normal, normal, good, poor. Even, yeah, these stools have pretty terrible comfort, but it's not uncomfortable, at least. Plus, Nancy gets to look at this gorgeous environment. Except that blood. Could we get rid of that blood? It's kind of kind of ruining the whole place. I would like to expand the base quite a bit. 
And these day lilies are gonna die soon. Once they grow, once they grow, they just die. Very tragic. Mm -hmm. Still a month away from harvesting season, though. With our passion for solving mysteries, Nancy can actually solve the mystery of how to plant Devil Strand eventually. Although I should have checked what level is needed to grow these things. Oh, ten. Could be a problem for my plant skill seven guy. But it's a pretty quick and easy thing to it's a pretty quick and easy skill to grow whilst doing lots of planting. And he will have a lot of planting to do. Hmm. Nancy Crew was a genius idea. You were robbed. I believe Nancy Crew was used for the team when we played Motorsport Manager. But I just preferred Sassy to Texas. I, don't, I didn't want to nail Nancy to the team too hard. Because that would bite me in the bum if and when Nancy dies. And it's very likely. Right? You, your life as a colonist in 500% threat mode ain't great. Come on, Ebex Ram. Keel over and die. Preferably close to my base. I need your plain leather. Ugh. Wish there was a way to just disable these bloody things, but yeah, the, the Garland pod, it's a way of you getting yourself your little hippie slaves. No thank you. Max, sure, although it's still expensive, but nah. That and the anima tree can go and, uh, well, go away. Ebex Ram, please stop drifting further away from my base and just keel over. Oh, it did keel over. Swell. Hey, Nance, do you think you could, uh... No, she's not a hunter, but Andy is. Andy, get your hunting groove on. Nancy never dies. She just reloads at the last save point. Now she has a bad end. She has a good news, bad news moment. Right, when Nancy wakes up, she'll take care of this. As for you, Pandy, if there's one thing I would love for you to do, it's create a whole load more traps for me. One, two, three, and four. I want it done inside so you're not too cold doing it. Plus, it, I like people working where it's so beautiful. All these day lilies do actually look nice, although why is this steel column so ugly? Apparently it's got dirt on it. How can there be dirt on dirt? Hmm, it's unusual, isn't it? When you're done that, please, uh... Please clean up this dirt. Not like anything getting in the way of my otherwise rather impressive barracks. Is there no Iron Man for Nancy Drew? No. It's not exactly a game made for hardcore gamers. Alright, Trebly Ard can help you out with the building, which is fine, although I, I always want more wood. Nice thing about Bog is that it is dripping with natural resources from the ground. Grass to eat, berries to pick, trees to chop down. Contrary to its name, Boreal Forest doesn't actually have much greenery to it. Oh no, no, I, uh, I spent my load early on this one. It, was, it just came to me last night at about 9pm, so I should have an opening video for uh, for this whole run. And then I quickly went out and grabbed footage from Leighton and Nancy and slapped it together. Of course, there's a good chance that there are people that missed it, and I do need to take a quick water break. So why don't we just play it again for the people that weren't here at the very start. Be quiet, RimWorld, and come back to me, my opening. What? <sighs> 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 Don Paolo? If he's in here... Then where's the real professor? In preparation for our landing, please make sure your seatbelt is securely fastened. Thank you. So your plane was on time, your luggage arrived, your rental car was waiting? Everything went without a hitch? Yep, and according to Kyler's directions, I'm within two kilometers of Castle Malloy. 
Now stop worrying about me and get over to the Dunhills. What time is it there? Around two. The party just started. It's gonna go all day, so I've got plenty of time. Are you driving? Yes, Ned, I'm talking on my cell phone while I'm driving, but it's okay. There's absolutely no traffic. And I think I see the gates. I gotta go. Say hi to the Dunhills for me and have fun. Without you? Can't write. Take care, Nancy. <gasps> oh, no! Production standards, who would imagine it? Right, that did make me completely forget what I was doing though. Ah yes, traps. He's right there in my bingo, says Krell. Well, you can cross off Nancy, Pandy, and Tribliard if they're on your bingo. I suppose getting Nancy was always going to be a free one. I should have made her the, um, the one in the middle, the free space. Why is Tribliard cooking? I guess anyone can do it, and you're not bad, but there are better things for you to do with your time. Let's get these things reinstalled out here, shall we? Kills and captures are good for the bingo card. Otherwise, you're you're fat out of luck if I see someone and actually want them. I assume most uh, most that do get crossed off will be killed, but don't worry, I'll be keeping track of them. So if you ever uh, if you ever have to go, don't worry. Actually, I should set, set up a sheet that others can help me keep track of them, because it is a bit of work. And Nancy just constantly insulted by. Pandy, why are you doing this? You crash together. I guess it's the lack of romancing, right? Pandy just cannot handle rejection. Which is sad. Okay, well, you're in a great mood. And I'm not surprised. Things will be going surprisingly well for us. Let's continue generating that wood, because by God, I love having lots of wood to hand. There's just no shortage of what you can do with it. There we go, Pandy. Rethink your options. And then I might spend some time expanding the base. I'll start with the wall. But I might actually bring the wall all the way out to here. I could bring it out to where the uh, the good soil starts, for example. Da -da 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 -da. And I have a not quite so hideous looking base here. That also gives me more space to plant daylilies and make a nicer internal area. That'd be worth something. Maybe columns don't quite count as dirt. Did you notice here? It's not showing that as somewhere that has soil anymore, so maybe columns overwrite what the floor is meant to be. Trebly hard, careful now, you don't have your good clothes on. Nancy, for the love of God, get up and get to work. Simple meals on top of the shoe pin. That's... Is that kind of like beer pong then? Nancy, good. Gets the last of that plain leather. More animal corpses that I truly care about. And one more park, please, Nance. Not quite unlimited, but a very large radius for grabbing the goodies. There we go, get to it. Mm -mm -mm. Two parkas and a tribal wear. And since Nancy doesn't spend long outside, that's fine. In fact, mm, I wonder if that's going to be a problem for her. Spending too long inside is uh, not great for people's mental fortitude. <clears throat> Triple yards on my card, says Brute. Well, there you go, you got a freebie. These stumps are really fast, plus they look ugly. And it's not good if a non plant person has to work on a stump. Cabin fever is an easy fix. Draft them, stand outside, then release. 
Yeah, but my thinking is that I really don't want to waste any more time than I have to. So I like to use my people's time quite productively. Right, expanding the base. Let's get to it. Now, I've learned my lesson. We're not going to smack top Randy just for not sending a load of raids my way. Last time I did that, I paid for it rather dearly. Right, we're going to expand the base out like so. Which does mean that we need a specific cut order. Just cut all the plants in this area. Even the berry bush. Yeah, I'm gonna miss it too. I don't really cut any daylilies either. The more boxy design should help with defense. Uh, I don't particularly like this. The columns are already in a good place. Thanks to the columns, I don't need to worry about the roof collapsing in on us. And they're made of steel, so they're a bit more capable than just wooden ones. Oh, they're finally, finally they're just having a chat. Nancy and Pandy talking about life's annoyances. At this rate, I'm pretty sure that's each other. Right, these are going to have to get out of the way. Well, the way I see it for Nancy is... Um... Ooh, yeah, Triple Art, we need you inside. What can I even have you do inside? I don't really know, but you need to be inside right now, man. Mm. Maybe I could make something in here. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Don't work on that. I just need you in a bit till we can get your parka on. I've actually gotten reasonably far without having parkas for all so far. For the love of God. This. There we go. Just warm up a touch. It's amazing how quickly this stuff fixes itself when you're warm, but the lack of manipulation is really bad for, for building. Oh, crikey, even you're cold out there. You're good in minus 8, not minus 16, I suppose. Whilst Nancy gets to enjoy all the heat. How much do we need for tribal wear again? Is it 45 or 60? Six day, okay. I thought about making maybe making use of the pig skin. But the initial wildlife bonanza has really died away. Pig skin's no longer on the menu. Tail caps, Jake, twenty apiece. Don't even have to worry about tail caps, we can make toques. Uh, toques give quite a bit of warmth if I can find it. There's took. Oh, only twenty. We can make two pigskin toques and one out of plain leather. Oh, hey, that's a good idea. All right, toques are well on the menu then. And this is a good trebly art can spend some time warming up and uh, planting daylilies. Especially getting that planting skill of his up, I really want it up. Pandy's going to take a while to get there, but he will be our secondary planter for a while. And tease out for the count because it's daytime. True Night Owl never works a day in the daytime if he can avoid it. Tooks are cloth, tail caps are the same, but leather. Uh, oh yeah, it's only it's only wools in that. I did not know that, but now I do. Alright, well I guess we're making tail caps then. Tail cap. Tail yeah, there it is. Exactly the same, huh? 16,438. Versus... Not 16,4,2,38. Hmm. Well, whatever. A hat's a hat. And we need some hats right now. Liard, I know, I know it's cold. I'm well aware of the situation. Same for the temperature, but not the rest. I see, I see. Oh, hey, there you go, Triple Yard. Once you eat that, there's your crappy parka to wear. Oh, so Nancy makes everybody else some good clothes, but, well, normal clothes, but for her lover, 
He just gets the crappy park. At least it's not made of pig skin, so. Hey, wow. Damn, that is so much better than wearing pig skin. Even if it is poor, plain leather just beats that to hell and back. Insulation cold, 24. Insulation cold, 28. Jeez, Trebly Yard, you lucked out. Oh, hold off there, though. I think I got another thing for you to wear. Come on, Nance, finish it off. Don't need to fluff everything. Why are we switching from RimWorld to Nancy Drew, then back to RimWorld, says Shen. Clearly asking too many questions here. I can't puzzle it all out. This is in cold bog climate, Sir Babel. The, uh, the land is awful. A lot of it cannot be built on, not without spending a lot of time and resources on moisture pumps, which we will probably have to get around to at some point. Oh yeah, look at there we go. Hypothermic risk is a thing of the past with that tail cap on. I'm gonna not have that just lying around there, Nancy. Good one. Could you do the hauling and you go and wear that candy? There we go. Isn't it good to see some ankle work getting done around here? It's good and it's unusual. Not going for roses instead of daylilies for the growth. They have something to do in this harsh winter. Uh, daylilies are more beautiful than roses, but they don't last as long. I also think making roses is a bit more work. Although I can't see the work time involved. Anyway, uh, daylilies are just more beautiful, so I go with them. Simple as. We're really gonna want some more doors in this thing so we can get around easier. Um, I should have planned that before doing everything else here. It's just doors are more work. I'll just slam a door in there and there, and then no one has to know. Watching a bit more than I'd like, but. Minus 13, they are cushy and warm in those hats and parkas. Nancy is not, but as I said, Nancy barely spends any time outside. So, yeah, she's not a concern. That said, she could still wear that other cap. Hmm, gives quite a lot of warmth, really. Thanks for telling me about the tail caps. I would have just been sat around going, why can't I have my toque for ages? But now I know so much better. All right, let's get this walled up, and then we're going to expand our base by tearing down the old walls. Oh, and please stop it, Nancy. I can't afford a pregnancy on this colony. There we go. It's all roofed up. Well, except for this wee bit. We're going to fix that, oh, aren't we? Anders. It's good, and then it's time to just break down the walls of Jericho. Yeah, that's a fast way to do this. Order, deconstruct, boom. And I'm confident none of the uh, roofs are going to fall down on me, courtesy of this steel column in the middle. And even if that steel column weren't there, eh, it might actually be a problem if it weren't there, but it is. Pandy and Trebliard exchanged ideas about life goals whilst Trebliard is railing Nancy Drew. Well, I'm making assumptions about how they're doing things over there. Pandy's getting the, the full scoop on it, though. Getting more scoops than Bess in the ice cream parlor. Did I get... They're just insatiable. Good for keeping the mood up, though. I, I did not expect to have such great moods here. I thought there'd be uh, constant bickering over coupling up. Didn't think they'd couple up as quickly as they did. Are you guys going to deconstruct this, or...? Yeah, deconstruction's a bit lower than most other... most other jobs for them, sadly. Four 
force them enter just yet, but come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now, let's also make sure that there are no floors here. Floors are bad. And this uh, lovely load of a load of flowers. I just want you to centralize them so that everyone can see them, even if they're working around. If I group them in the corner, people working over here aren't going to see them. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to shunt Pandy into the corner here. I'm going to shove this research bench over here. I'm going to have this table and this butchery thing work double duty. And then there. That should be relatively efficient. But people actually get moved around and stuff. That should give me a nice center to work with. To be fair, Pandy's still beckering about. Yeah, Pandy's just not happy with his lot in life. It's okay. We'll get you a lover someday. That's the thing. Uh, having your having your people couple up is really, really good for happiness. Of course, it comes with potential downsides. If there's an affair, if there's a breakup, if there's a divorce, if there's a death, all those things just annihilate the great mood bonuses you otherwise get. Is it warming up in here, or am I just going to have to deal with 9 degrees? Surely two campfires is enough to be, keep a place like this warm enough. Right, this zone is going to be like so. Yeah, that should do us. Oh, but now you aren't working with both of them. Hmm. All right, Pandy. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. You're going over there now. I want to get the the bonus out of this thing. I would really like the place cleaned up because all this mess has made it into a dull barracks, and people don't like dull barrackses. So, Tribbliard, if you could be so kind as to clean. Come on, look at all this rock rubble. And that is dirt floor. We know that. Oh, does no one want to clean this stuff? I'm pretty sure I expanded the cleaning zone to incorporate that. I most assuredly did. We are set to clean on cleaning zone, right? Yeah, there we go. Now I know you're having a uh, time of your life out there, Pandy, but the time has come for cleaning. Is she working in the dark? Yeah, she is, actually. Good point. In that case... It seems to be warm enough in here. But what I should certainly do is... Build the campfire there instead. Do not refuel that one automatically. And same with that, I will just uh, change their layouts when I can. And do you keep that clean? And I know you want to go to bed, but I want a functional campfire, please. Just put up a torch now, I don't want to. <laughs> I want my I want my fireplaces working triple duty as light, cooking, and heating. Nicely done. Now let's copy these orders over to here. And then get rid of these orders. Bang, bang. Relatively warm. It should be quite beautiful in the center there. We've got still have a slightly impressive barracks. Just even a place that can hold that steel. Kind of running out of space for this. Should chop the plants that are taking up this space. Yeah, this is. Oh, 
Oh, it doesn't even take steel. Whoops. Well, I certainly want the steel out there. Stuff is making the place too ugly, so drop it out. Oh, there we go. Lovely, somewhat impressive barracks. And scary looking grizzly bear prowling around, probably wanting my goods. There. Happy days. Sure, it doesn't look like the rips, but it'll do. And from most positions inside here, you're looking at our lovely load of daylilies. I swear there was a way to make these... See this pop-up? It's telling me about the barracks and the wooden stool. I was quite certain there was a way to make that transparent, but I couldn't find it in the options, and I did look. Anybody able to uh, help me out with that one? Just make sure the corpses are closer over to here. How does it feel to be back in the saddle? Nervous for Miss Nancy Drew? Nonsense. Me and nerves. I'm happy to be back in the saddle. I've missed playing RimWorld. Especially since I had my weekend away in Budapest. And of course people had to bring up Nancy. Well, I suppose I was thinking about it, wasn't I? It made me keen to get back to it. It's kind of such a nice feeling. You know, you sit down and you play RimWorld. The whole day is gone and you're like, well, I should feel bad about having wasted a day. But it didn't feel wasted. I had great fun. I made memories. Start to wonder if this is really the right use of Nancy Drew's time. Researching something I can't even plant. Well, I aspire to plant it, and I do think that getting a lot of uh, Devil Strand is going to be of great use to us. Because one of the best things you can invest your wealth in is your clothing. And Devil Strand is very good. Although it's primary thing is that it handles heat very well and it's not very flammable. Uh, it is also just all round an exceptional piece of stuff to make clothes out of. It's got great protection. If you make a duster out of it, it's not unheard of for it to deflect bullets. I'm not even exaggerating with that. You can plant it with openings in the roof. I do not want to grow my crops in here. We're not that far away from our growing season and much better soil out there. We have no real need for planting crops right now. We already have uh, plenty of work to do. But yes, I'm well aware of indoor planting. And there will probably be a time when we do set up a greenhouse. But where specifically we do it... I don't like using one single greenhouse, but it could be done here. I always think they're better back to back. Do I have the sun lamp? Hey, you know what? I think I could actually have two sun lamps fully functional here. Then I might turn this into my greenhouse down the line and then use, say, this for other stuff. Why is that? Oh, it's mud. Ugh. Mud can be turned into regular soil, but you need a quite a while with a... Uh, with a what? I don't know, with something. A moisture pump, that's it. So this is nice now, Nancy can actually work while sitting on a chair and then eat while sitting on a chair. It's a good setup. I'm looking forward to setting up some things that I can actually uh, have a decent amount of consolidation of my goods. For example, a pallet to store all of my wood on and some bins to start storing my meat on. The grizzly bear is going to get hungry eventually. There's a reasonable chance it might start hunting one of us. Especially if it doesn't start seeing other tempting targets. Like hares, squirrels. Uh, I've never seen a warg fight a bear, naturally, but it's the first time for anything. Devil Strand is great if your growing period is long enough to allow it. Yeah, and this one is longer than the one we had before. Uh, not to mention it's on rich soil, and, uh, well, the last time I tried to grow Devil Strand, we were interrupted by a cold snap, as I recall. And then before that, interrupted by toxic fallout. You never know what Randy has in store for you. Uh, I'm thinking about this. What I'm thinking is this. Space these out a bit. 
I'll space them out, it's not, not phrasing it right, but what I think I will do is do my usual pattern with them. It's cool that you can even see their breath when it's cold out like that. Well, I did say it was likely to happen, and here it is. I don't know if a man-hunting bear actually falls for traps. I think they might avoid it. Hmm, I'm unsure. Oh, you can already check off uh, Pandy. Pandy, Nancy, and Tribliard are fine to check off on your murder bingo card. That's the way I see it. They are already recruited. Is he going to dodge those traps? He is going to dodge those traps. All right, get inside. Nancy, open the door for him. Right, now, please, we're going to stick everybody indoors right now. We have to do stuff inside, not out. Are you going to go for the warg? Please go for the warg. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Wargs and grizzly bears are incredibly samey. Hmm, but this is an opportunity to take both. Andy? It did try to kill you. Surely the right thing to do is to kill it back. Oh man, that uh, that warg is going down. Did you hit the bear there? Yeah, I think you did. The um, that initial slash almost put the warg into pain shock, and that manipulation means it's very unlikely to actually land a hit. What's it doing? It's kind of like running around. I'm not going to die from that tiny cut, but the uh, the warg certainly will. Do we just take out the warg here and now? I mean, look at the thing. It's not going to be able to kill us. Now oh, it's almost in pain shock. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird though, wasn't it? it? It actually ended up running from the, the bow. I'm unsure what to do about the warg. I could actually just hit it right now and bring it inside. It's a reasonable amount of meat and wolf skin. But I don't think that's worth risking our, risking our socks over. No, 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 no. We should be fine. Get back to doing what you do. Move further away for you, that would be clever, but I think we're fine as we are. That bear is probably going to go and hunt something else, or it's going to come back to the warg. That works too. Oh, bye-bye, warg. Right, I don't want that bear eating that warg. I want that warg. But maybe I should just let the bear have its fill. There we go, it ate its head. Right, well, I will take the rest. Although it is kind of tempting to shoot the bear again. Let's not go down that path. Shoot the bear. Okay, well, how do you think that's going to go? Bear gets shot. Bear goes into hunting mode against Pandy. Then I need to throw all my colonists at defeating a bear with two bits of stick and a stick with a bit of twine. I'm not seeing the winning solution there, personally. But hey, maybe you can see far better than I can. I should probably start prepping this for growing season. All those trees are going to get in the way and slow down the initial batch. You can kite the bear around that base. You have doors. I'm well aware, I just don't want to risk it for not a lot of payoff. What would I get? 57 bear skin. Uh, I guess I could make a pair of pants out of that. Reasonable amount of meat, but I'm not hurting for meat. 
Actually, not right now. No, it doesn't strike me as a good idea. Right, what am I thinking here? I'm thinking I need to cut these plants. I'm not desperate for wood right now. Excuse me. But I'm thinking to the future already. Andy, you're up. Is this supposed to be Nancy Drew? It looks a lot more like the long dark at the moment, says Punk Rockley. The, the long dark will recede eventually. Someday it won't be so cold and then we can use this fertile soil for what it was meant for. There's anything else I can put in production wise. The campfire is fine for making our meals right now, although there is something to be said for a fueled stove. Or an electric stove, or just getting electric going in general. I could build an electric generator in here. The heat would help warm the place actually. Both in short and long term. It uses wood, and we have plenty of that. And then I could get my nutrient paste going at long last. Hmm. But I don't have components. And I don't have any real amount of steel. I should actually think about that. What kind of materials do we have around here? Hey, we got this again. Is this also Forbidden Danger? Nah, I've only, I've only ever seen one pair map. But hey, good amount of steel down there. What about components? I uh, believe it's called Compacted Machinery. Fair amount lying around. None of it really close to the base. I guess it's this. Alright, so we have access components worth keeping in mind. Hidden dangers don't have doors. An excellent point, Fuskosko. They do not. So if it's not a hidden danger, there might be some furniture in there I could take. If nothing else, I could tear apart the steel walls. And you go tear that apart at some point. I want it. Doesn't appear to have a roof, so it should be a freebie for Pandy. Uh, Trebliard, you're the one that's going to be the real plant master, right? So maybe Pandy should lay off the plants. So I'll let Pandy get to level 7, and then I'm going to tear Pandy off the plants. Trebliard will be the, uh, the main person I try to bring up with plants. Getting you up to 10 means Devil Strand. That is kind of what I'm trying to go for. Although I'm slightly regretting doing this. <clears throat> Even if I got this researched by growing season, I don't think Trebliard will be level 10 in time for growing season. It's not unthinkable, I just don't think it'll happen. In that case... Do I know how to even grow hops? Okay, I do. Good, good, good. I can get the hops and then figure out um, brewing, so that's not a big deal. Ah, that's fine though. No sense worrying about pemmican, since I intend on going my beloved haste anyway. Uh, this bear is probably going to wake up hungry and start hunting us, isn't it? Also, having that wood taking up that space seems incredibly dangerous. I think it's high time that I started getting my... Where is it? Storage. Yeah, proper storage. I don't have cloth for you, but I do have wood for you. Hmm, should I palace up the wood indoors or keep it outside? I think I'd rather keep it inside for now. So I'll have both of these in here. Hopefully they're not too ugly, but I don't think we can see them from there. If it's that bad, I can move it later on, but for now, I just want this wood out of the way so the door closes in case the bear comes for us. Inside, especially if you do wood power, yeah. Wood really slowly spoils. It's not something I have to think about much at all, but I just really like having places like this to store my goods in. So you are going to have my wood as an important thing, and this one... You can set it when it's a blueprint, but you can't set it when it's in the middle of building for reasons that go beyond uh, what my mighty mind can handle. But now that it's up, you are going to be an important place for Matthew Steele, who is definitely on some people's murder bingo cards. 
By the way, we had so many submissions for characters in this game, uh, the rate of them showing up, at least at start, is going to be about 5 to 7%. But as the raids get bigger, we're going to have far larger amounts of people come in, and that's going to bump that up further. I'm a little scared of that bear. It did just have a lovely meal of an entire warg head, but you never know where you stand with Lord Barrington. Well, I certainly don't. Right, I will at some point want marble so that I can make lovely marble walls, possibly for the bedrooms, but more likely for around here so that they're stronger than wood, non-flammable, and nice to look at. What I'm getting at is, since I want it eventually, I might as well have it now, stone cutter table. Guess I'll just shove you in the corner here. Wow, wow, I'm in the way of this campfire. Then to hell with a campfire. Nancy, destroy the campfire. A little loath to do this, but the sooner we smack it down, the better. And we're getting to the point where I actually want to use some not terrible shares. There we go. If bears were dangerous, why they'd be shaped like big fuzzy friends? Don't be scared. I would love to kind of play around with a bear, but I'm pretty sure that's a very poor life decision. Yeah, maybe I can find a friendly bear somewhere, somehow. One that wouldn't want to maul me. I would like to get the Exo Rider thing going, but I'm far away from having such niceties as a Mechanator. Uh, Pandy, did you figure out plants yet? He's close, he's really close. But you really don't learn a lot of plants from... It's touch and go, but I'm just happy to amass a bunch of wood, I suppose. Without looking at that, we have a lot more space for wood. Maybe we should have uh, more of these things down for wood. For example, if I copy this and paste it here, and then your job is actually to have the preferred wood and not the important wood, then we can stock the excess there. And if there's still overflow after that, then shame on me. I'm almost figured out which way around you should shove them into the ground. Splintery pits at the bottom? Seems to be the golden rule! Yeah, they, who, what are people going to grow into being anyway? So Pandy's probably going to be our prime constructor unless we find someone with a double passion. So you'll be our artisan constructor. You'll be making those uh, human leather bedrolls before you know it. But you're also our miner. Those two I don't find go together very well. At least shooting means you're unlikely to take a lot of damage in a fight. We can still have you do construction. Otherwise, you're going to be our backup planter during grow and harvest season. Trebly Art is definitely our go-to plant person and also our doctor. Uh, also our frontline melee fighter. Those two do not go well together. The moment you get injured the, on the front line, and you will because you don't have anything fancy for fi uh, fighting a melee, then bang goes our doctor. That's a shame. As for Nancy... She is going to be our cook, and our warden, and our intellectual. Basically, you're all kind of rubbish, and I want better people on my team. Andy and Nancy gabbing out drunkenness. Well, it is on the short list to figure out how to make beer. Oof, it's only 10 degrees inside now. Mm. And I most assuredly should keep this around here. Get it then. This is a bit chilly for us. It takes a lot longer to make one of these fancy chairs. And considerably more wood, 45 as opposed to 25. If the Doctor survives until miniguns, there are advantages of bad shooting skill with a minigun. <laughs> no. No, I like trigger happy with miniguns. Otherwise, I don't bother with miniguns. And, and well, if I have one and I have a spare hand and no better gun, sure, but I would only specifically let a colonist use a minigun if they were trigger happy. It's incredibly heavy, so it impacts their ability to carry around other goods when they're hauling. And it's just so inaccurate. Great against a big crowd of tribals, but that's about it. And that does sound like a war crime. Alright, there are yet more plants to be cut, my friend. 
clear that zone, pretty please. I don't really know what I'm going to be growing. I don't think I'm going to beeline for drugs, but my need for food isn't that dire, so I don't need to plant this full of corn. A bit of cotton is always nice. Cloth is very utilitarian. How is it still only somewhat impressive? We need more wealth and impressiveness in here. Could go and steal some more urns. I think we saw some urns around here. That's a lot of work for not a lot of gain. How heavy are urns? How heavy are sandstone urns? Five kilos. Hmm. Yeah, I bet. I bet someone like Trebly Hard could go over and ransack those urns, but I'm not sure it's really worth it. It's not worth that much money. Also, did Pandy ever tear apart these walls and things? No. I guess he's more focused on plant work right now. I usually keep that quite high. Yeah, harvesting, growing, cutting, it's all top dog for them. But the moment Pandy is at level 7 on plants, I'm going to bring him down. Oh, that sounds harsh. Uh, where are all the meals? Ah, there they are. Pandy's keeping a close eye on them. Also, notice now he's sleeping looking directly at Nancy and Tribbliard. Pillow first. Make billards early if you can. Why would I do that? Billards is a slightly better version of Horseshoe Pin. Surely it's better to get something like... A chess table. He's looking for recreation. There it is. Yeah, getting a wooden chess table there is going to give us another source of things to be happy about. The expectations are still extremely low, which is great. Two recreation types is fine, and we have three, but with this we'll get four. Nice that, uh, it's nice that Nancy can haul. Cleaning is one thing, but hauling is more important in my opinion. Builders train shooting, so does the horseshoe pin, and both do it so incredibly slowly it's not even worth thinking about. I mean, every visit to the pool table is going to give you like, I don't know, 10 or 15 uh, points in it, not something I'm going to be caring much about. Nancy's spent way too long hauling, uh, I need to take her off of haul when research can be done. There we go. <laughs> Just turn around to eat, but then turn around again for some researching. I like that. I like double downing with my chairs. Although Nancy is not finding that particularly comfortable, it's also not particularly uncomfortable. So when comfort gets down below 10%, they start complaining about their aching back and whatnot. Or whatever Nancy Drews of the world complain about. Still complaining that Nancy isn't warm enough, but as I said, she spends most of her time inside, so that's okay. So even though Pandy is on top of a stool, he's not getting the bonus from the comfort of it. Well, insofar as a poor wooden stool gives comfort. You can tell that by looking over at his comfort needs. It's going all the way down to rock bottom. People only use a stool if they're uh, if they're interacting with something with uh, with something that can use a seat. It used to be that wasn't the case. So a nice thing you could do is that you could put down a sleeping spot next to something that they were doing, and they would get the sleeping spot's comfort bonus, which wasn't a lot, but it was it would at least keep them from being uncomfortable. I prefer the chess table because you can place chairs in the wrong and make people have, a, have to look at it. Like putting a table in a corner. This table's pretty good because uh, all the seats that can be used to eat it also double down. So this this seat for research, this seat for cooking and for chess, this seat for eating chess and tailoring, and this seat for eating and butchering. Wonderful cycle of life. Kind of want cleaning to be a bigger priority for somebody. Trebliard, you keep this place spick and span, please. Starting with right now, that war is too bloody. The love of God, man, get to level 7 and plants. I don't think just cutting down these crappy tree, uh, crappy plants are doing it. It needs to be an actual tree, doesn't it? Well! 
Yitkin. Three of them. And they're wearing clothes! I like clothes. They have weapons. I like weapons. They bring 15 whole silver. Well, nice. Okay, now one-on-one, -on -one, these Yitkin would destroy me. No questions asked. This is why I have traps to even the playing field. That said, Pansy, do you really think you're going to beat them up with a bow? Because I do not. I didn't put um, concrete on these, did I? This could be a marginal problem. Nice of them to attack immediately, though. Right. Movement speeds. And this is full of uh, rubbish information. I don't want. I don't want patient. I'm not sure I care that much about mood. I like the kills. That's nice. Inspiration could be good. Operations, blah. Equipment is nice. Stats. I like move speed. And I like. There's other stuff, but I keep forgetting what it is. Basically, Pandy is slow for some reason. Actually, why is Pandy so slow? It's probably because he's out in the snow and stuff. <sighs> well, the club is very scary because one bad clubbing is just can be game over for you. All right, no time for messing around here, Pandy. Get back, you guys. Get over here and hope to God they go for the traps. Nancy's nimble, so she can take the front, no problem, but I'm starting to really wish I'd built more traps. At least only one or two of them going down will cause a rout, but I'm a little scared. So who are these three guys? I need to make a habit of checking that. We can always check to see if an enemy is a custom guy, but so we check ideology, it will show our um, burden of sin. It's only three. And none of them are custom characters. Might actually be worth checking if any of them are worth capturing, truth be told. But no, I, even if there was an amazing guy here, I don't think I really have the excessive labor or excessive anything to be doing dealing with that. Nice of him to completely miss my traps. Oh, well, you didn't. Nancy, go and uh, screen with your nimbleness. Well, yeah, kind of failed at that, but taken down anyway. There we go, and what happened to you, Nance? Your head got struck. If your head gets struck again, you could die. Um, your hand got struck. Either way, I'm kinda, they haven't routed yet. Nancy, take a step back, it is too dangerous. Is this actually a Yitkin thing? No, he's just a base liner, and he is severe. All right, finish him off, for the love of God, Nancy, do not get hit in the head again. See, clubs. Clubs are clubs are scary. Hefty damage, although otherwise crappy weapons. Okay, how's this guy still going? He's nimble, so of course he's dodging plenty of times. Come on. There we go. Right. Uh, no bleeding, which is nice. But uh, injuries, which is not nice. That shouldn't hurt your manipulation too bad. Good. Nancy, Tribbly Yard, get back. Handy, go and strip these buggers, and let's go and enjoy the fruits of our labor, shall we? Actually, one thing worth keeping in here are the dead bodies. We will be amassing them, and I would like to put them to use at some point. So one thing for us to consider putting down is a meat hook storage. Do we even have meat hook available right now? Or is that under some kind of fancy research? Hmm. Yeah, meat hook is under smithing. Okay. Well, for now, we could just store human corpses in here. Although, it's going to thaw out soon. Maybe that's not a great idea. Maybe we should just leave them. Yeah, I take it back. I take it back. We'll let the uh, the hungry hungry bears deal with that. Treble yard. Don't tend to yourself in the dark, because it's not good for you. Tend to yourself there, of course. And whilst I may have six medicine, I'm not wasting that medicine on slight bruises. 
Although Nancy's head was hurt, the head isn't actually used in anything particularly important. So, yeah, no medicine. We're saving that for a particularly rainy day. And this is also a nice uh, way of reminding me that I would quite like a clothing rack. Maybe two clothing racks. These can always be moved, but I certainly want these goodies. Thank you for th thank you, traps, though. Without those traps, I would have been in a grim situation. The one intellectual smashed in the skull with a club. Yeah, that was scary, though. Again, another follow-up hit that struck her in the head would have killed her. No ifs, ands, and certainly no buts. So, Nancy, once you've had your head tended to by your lover... Right. Candy, you shot well. Go and grab yourself a... Do we really want you wearing crap clothes? Some of these are pretty crap. That was not crap. Go and wear that. And Trebly Yard, once you're done tending to Nancy, go and wear some tribal wear clothy stuff. And these clubs should be better than our sticks. 482. Five. Wow. They're actually worse than sticks. Okay, well, uh, maybe that was just that one. Oh, yeah, there we go. The steel club is better. Think about it. I don't want to store all kinds of junk in here. I'm going to end up cluttering it with clo uh, well, with apparel and stuff. This stuff can hold anything. Anything that is not tainted is fine. Uh, obviously, no bio-coded either. You can't get bio-coded recon and whatnot. What did I say you were going to do? Probably wear that shirt. And probably already you can equip that club for all that you did. What archetypes are those? Light leather and plain leather and their jackets. And they're pretty low quality as well. As in, they're, they're worn out. That poor cloth jacket might actually be well up Nancy's street. Of course, none of them were wearing trousers. And the rest of that stuff's just largely junk, though. Yeah, you could have your bloodluster finish off the down ponds for mood. Oh, for mood! Yeah, that's an excellent point. How could I forget? Club, club, club. Be very happy, Tribbliard. Don't let Frostbite do what you could enjoy. Stop playing with your food. There we go. It'd be funny if you could use corpses as fertilizer in this game. Like uh, transforming soil into rich soil. It would just become temporary rich soil that needs fed. Mm -mm, wouldn't that be something? Right. I forgot to tell these traps to auto rearm, but I gotta say that was helpful. I may want more of them down the line. One of the problems is they approach from this angle, so they, you know, I got kind of lucky that they passed onto them, I suppose. What's the best use for steel I have right now? There we go. Alright, good job, Triple Yard. Now do what comes naturally. Three no-name raiders, nothing to worry about. The early game is very unlikely to have custom characters, although it could happen. It's the larger late game raids. Oh boy. Well, that's uh, awkward. With inspired recruitment, I could have gone any of these guys. Actually, Inspired Recruitment is one of the best ones to get early on. But, you're crubbish. You are... Yeah. And... Hirara. I mean, I like Passion and Plants. 
I don't mind incapable of social and artistic, and I like that intellect. Actually, you would have been nice, but that's all in the past now. Can't be done. You should wear the sashes for the temperature boost. Eh, one and a half degrees, and they're in awful condition, so we'd actually get a moot penalty for wearing ratty clothes, so no thank you. I will pass on that opportunity. Jeez, that was so close for Nancy. <laughs> ah, bruises don't leave permanent uh, issues, at least not that I've ever seen. But losing her head would have been pretty terrible. Come on, Bandit, it's just about time for bed. Right. Ambush Dame. Teresa is being called because she's being followed by a man hunting cat. Right, this is a really easy way to get friendly with the Imperials, or rather get their honor. Oh, that reminds me. No, 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 and no, but yes to honor. Right, she can pretty much deal with this herself, but yeah, I'm absolutely going to take you in. The question is, who will be our noble? That's a difficult question, because whilst Nancy is definitely the titular leader of the crew, there are three leadership positions available, because there is uh, obviously the nobility, and I do always love going down a noble path, but we're also due a leader and a moral guide. And I can't help but feel that Nancy is someone who guides us morally more than anything else. Not to mention, she's got all the socials. I am thinking it might be more prudent for Trebliard to be our noble. I mean, look at that hair. On top of that, with bloodlust, he's a lot easier to keep happy, so those noble expectations shouldn't be too hard to deal with. Yeah, Trebliard's getting it. Alright, welcome. Ooh, what's your story? Also, can I strip you? Because you got gear. <laughs> it's locked. I could still strip you, though, but it would make me very unpopular. Although, just imagine that. These are some excellent clothes I could strip off of you. Anyway, that manhunting cat is on its way, and you're unarmed. Ah, oh, incapable of violence. Well, that's not good. You do, however, have stun. You can have him equip other stuff, no, because it would replace locked apparel, so it's disallowed. That said, that gear is so good. Synth thread is pretty great. Formal shirt, corset, cape. Corset, is that only for women? Probably. Probably. Steel crown, and it's mostly the synth thread cape I'm looking at with envious eyes, but I think we'll be alright. And there's that man hunting cat. If I really wanted a pet cat, we could down it, cure it of Scaria, and keep it. That isn't going to happen. But I do need Ooh to get away from it. Wildlife back, especially these boars, but I'm not in a horrific need for their stuff anymore, thankfully. You need industrial meds to cure Scaria, really? I thought you could make do with just uh, regular old meds, but that's me told. Really want to get to paste. I'm not looking forward to food poisoning from Nancy Drew's sandwiches. Come on, that man hunting cat is hot in your tail, ooh. Imagine it scratching Nancy's head off. Could happen. Wouldn't be unthinkable. For God's sakes, get up, Trebliard. It's eight in the morning. Cut some trees or something. Uh, that said, we do have to deal with this cat, but I have an idea. Where is it? God, you're willing to snap already? Uh, yes, where is this man-hunting cat? There it is. Oh, don't get. Oh, I thought it was going to give me um, dangerous music at this point. Uh, even if it is just a cat. Trebliard, Pandy, ooh. 
Let's be ready for it. I'd even get Nancy involved if... Oh! Well, I think Nancy had to stop cooking because the light went out? Maybe. Anyway, that cat's going down. Come get some mittens. Andy, take your best shot. Triple yard. Now don't worry, because this cat ain't hurting nobody. It's getting stunned. And we're still unable to hit the damn thing. Stun it again, and I'm just going to clobber the damn thing. That was pathetic. There we go. Very sad. I can't believe you got injured. I get away from that thing, the rock stink is real. Well, it's hardly painful. And it didn't get downed at all, you destroyed its liver. Pandy actually shot it to death. Right, ooh. Oh, nice, you actually do work. Anyway, get us that fire and get the hell out of here. Although, uh, look at that medical. This, uh, this list actually stops this from working. Hmm. I would never want you incapable of dumb labor and... Wait, is that because of your title? Mm, yes and no. Anyway, word of love is kind of cool. How about... Let's just, let's just put this one out here. Let's accentuate their love. There we go. Psychically suggest that Nancy should feel a new romantic desire. That's a chance that Nancy might ask Trebliard to marry her. Although I think men are far more likely to propose than women in this game. I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, we've got that. We could make a yeoman out of you. I think I'll keep that one up my, up my sleevey. We don't need the Silink just yet. Word of love to Nancy and Pandy. Make a love triangle so everyone's ha uh, I know one person who'd be very unhappy with that. But if we look here, there we go. Psychic love. Cannot romance already Nancy's lover, of course. But perhaps you could accentuate the existing love. Oh, nice of Pandy to go and take a break. I suppose it's coming up to the end of his... End of his work day. I don't like having night owls. I don't like balancing different work schedules, but sometimes it can be good to get that work done. Yeah, can we call you Trebly Hard Nickerson? Oh, sweet, hit level 8. Mm, not liking the lack of traps, if we could kindly get those back. Yeah, so if the enemy comes up from the top, either here or here, we can bait them around and get, eat them through the tra traps. If they're from the south, it's a little awkward with the angle of approach to these traps. Which is why I'd like to have another row of traps along here. Then we should be good for at least a wee while. Thank goodness traps can be moved, because I do still intend on expanding out the base at some point. Especially to the south. If I, if I had the main area actually this, I'd probably set up this to be a load of bedrooms. About so maybe around here for bedrooms. Anyway, thinking for the future, right? We still need to survive where we are right now. Are you feeling Nance? Feeling psychically in love for eight days. Wow. It's a lot of love. That slate club is so bad. I can't believe a piece of wood is better than that club. Maybe cut down the tree in front of the I could have sworn there was no tree there. I strongly recall it being a um, a bush. Yeah, I remember there being a bush there. But I guess these things happen. They're talking about crazy lobsters. Uh-huh. Is that how they get in the mood? Thinking about crustaceans? Is the lobster a crustacean? Surely. Anyway, I want you to make a load of blocks. Do it forever, but only do it with things that are nearby-ish. Anyone can do it. 
In fact, I think everybody can do it, so there should never be a time when truly there's nothing for people to do. There we go, stone cut. It's really low on the priority list, but I hate having my people sit around not doing anything. Tempted to reduce the size of boxes for the bingo grid, but I won't do so without your approval. Um, 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 Nick said something about adding something so that it remembers your choices, so that people come back, they don't need to keep filling it out again. I don't know what his solution for that is, he's probably got it DM'd to me right now. I figured it out, but I'm a bit too late, I'll be ready next time. If you want to hit up Nyx for a solution there, Acro, go for it. You've got my carte blanche to uh, to edit the bingo card as long as the as long as the way that the bingo card is generated isn't touched, because I I don't want people to re-roll their cards until oh hey I win with just eight people killed. Anyway, it's not my forte, so uh, forgive me for taking a step back on the matter. This one can go away. The two fires are keeping a very comfortable 19 degrees in here. And now our growing zone is largely clear. Excellent. Well, that's nice. Well, what about second growing zone? Also, is that mud? Yeah, of course it's mud. I would like those bodies thrown away. Um... Just so we can be rid of them sooner rather than later. What if I make a dumping zone? Oh, 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 oh. By terrain, please. If I make this dumping zone and it's an important place, uh, maybe just a preferred place, for all human corpses. Then we can get these corpses off of here. Not that we mind the corpses, but visitors might and just. They will eventually spoil, and the spoil will create rot stink, and rot stink is bad. You breathe in rot stink, you get a lung infection, which is easy to cure, but still bothersome, and I believe painful. I think you could pull these guys first. Just get them out of my face. And I would like my traps back, but I think Pandy's on the case. Oh god, I had to go to a meeting, refresh, suddenly there's blood everywhere. Don't worry, it's not our blood. Really isn't. They didn't break. They didn't break skin. Really thinking about electricity, though. Really thinking about it. Electricity, paste. Mm, I do love paste. Main downside is paste doesn't work well with keeping stuff fresh. I could have paste go into the free uh, the freezer, the paste dispenser, keep my meat cold. But I generally like doing paste with props, then you don't have to worry about them going off or being kept cold, because even rice keeps for 30 days, corn for 60. But we're not there yet, are we? I think I'll just make do with the simple meals for now. At least working with the simple meals, I don't need to care about stockpiling loads of food, because stockpiling causes lots of wealth. Yeah, see, look at the increase in wealth we got. I'm pretty sure that's from the raiders as well. So the sooner the raiders just spoil to death out there, the happier I'll be. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Nancy's skull got fractured by that, but it's healing up nicely. And all the things that happened to her in the various games, I'm sure this isn't the worst. Who's our miner again? Is it Pandy? Pandy's the miner. Pandy still hasn't disassembled all of this. I think I'm going to tell Pandy that he needs to get on with that. Deconstruction. Actually, deconstruction is one of your biggest jobs. Why in the world is he not deconstruct? Ah, I didn't claim it. I didn't actually think that you needed to claim things to deconstruct them, but watch this. If I claim all this to be my own, and Pandy finishes that trap, and uh, finishes that as well, why are you doing this to me? I want that steel. <laughs> I want that steel bridge for free. He'll deconstruct a campfire before he deconstructs that delicious steel wall. There we go. Now he knows what he's about. Hi. 
at you at. It's not even a roof. There are still columns though. 20 steel in the column, probably got 10 for destroying it. Claim, deconstruct, claim, deconstruct. Mmm, delicious steel. And because Pandy's not a fussy bugger, he's not going to say, oh, I don't want to hold this back with me. He will be grateful for the opportunity. I don't even have to tell him. Oh, man, Pandy, you're great. It's especially great because I'm a little rough on the steel situation. I'm a little off about keeping those clothes, though. They're all terrible, but let's say I got some um, some people joining me, then then at least I'd have clothes for them. Just love it when your characters can take care of things of their own accord, although he's largely hauling. Bodies and items deteriorate the water three times faster than leaving them on the ground, even the temperature is below freezing. If it rains, it's tiny spot. Yeah. That's why I moved them over there. It's not just to get it out of the way, it's just for that. Shallow water doesn't do a whole lot. And sometimes I wonder if marsh is even better. But hey, that's taken care of it. Alright, things are nice and calm here. I'm going to make a wee save. Sassy Detectives stream. I'll still say 01. I need to take a short break because I actually have some stuff I need to take care of, but it shouldn't take very long. I should be back in about 5 to 10 minutes. So I'll just keep the stream on and I'll put on a BRB.
There we go. What was that? 10 minutes? More? Less? Who knows? I've got an ongoing issue with some uh, customs clearance here in Hungary. I don't think it's a Hungarian specific thing. I think it's EU specific, but uh, you know that situation? Yeah, we need this paperwork. No, no, that, not that paperwork. This paperwork. No, oh, no, no. Not emailed. We need it sent physically. The original one. No, not from you. From the shipper. Uh, <laughs> oh, by the way, we charge you every day for storage. Minimum amount per package, per weight per package. Yeah, it's uh, hopefully going to get resolved. We'll see. <laughs> uh, at least we can all laugh about it. Well, I can laugh about it. But yeah, it uh, turns out that these days... If you bring chocolate into the EU, or really any good that has animal products in it, not a minimum amount, just any, you need it signed off by a vet. A freaking vet. So, uh, that's been something. Anyway, since I might be entering the steel era sooner rather than later, Pandy's going to spend a bit of time mining this out. So let's not bother with that. It's a lot of work. What kind of animal products are in your chocolate? Well, milk, of course. Good, rich Cadbury's chocolate. And this is because I was cheaping out, right? It costs something like four or five quid to get a... Uh, uh, I think it's like a 120 gram bar of Cadbury chocolate here. And I do miss the taste of Cadbury's because much of the chocolate that I can get over here is all kind of terrible. If you don't like Milka, and I'm not Milka's biggest fan, then you're kind of out of luck. So I thought, hey, I know, I'll, I'll just uh, I'll make an order for a batch of chocolate from the from a bunch of guys that I know that do bulk orders, and that way I'll never have to worry about chocolate for a while. Recreate my little candy den that I had back in Sweden, but nope. Uh, Customs was having none of that. Hadn't been a problem before, but apparently it's something that was introduced in 2021. And of course, wouldn't be a problem if this were being brought in from the EU. But that's my cross to bear. I'm bearing it. Cadbury's has nostalgia fact. Yeah, Cadbury's is great, especially in December. Then it somehow tastes like uh, like Christmas. I want to clear these pa uh, plants as well, that way I can have another strip to do more traps in. Do not neglect the traps, as we saw, they can be the difference between life and death. There is a reasonable chance that those clubbers could have killed us. Worth noting that they did not route until all three of them were dead. I really thought they would route after one or two downs, but nope. All three. As an Aussie, Cadbury's quality has dramatically gone downhill. I know the size of their bars has certainly gone downhill. Can't really say I've noticed any difference on the quality. But then I, I don't have the advanced tongue of our Aussie brethren down there. Remember when you had a colony going, what happened? To last colony time I let... I'm, I'm having a stroke reading that, Igars. Are you just saying what happened because Don Paolo can show us what happened? Actually, that doesn't give a good overview of what did happen. Anyway, Professor Layton went off the walls and started punching a horse to death. But the horse bit back and Layton died bleeding and frozen out in the ground. Was it really hubris? I don't know, a lot of things went very wrong for that to happen. Mechs landing right inside my base, our doomsday rocket launcher missing and blowing up our barn. Well, our pen. The failure to extract our colonists, and I've fixed that by the way. See this around here? You can move your colonists at any point to get off the map. You don't have to have them suicidally run back into the colony to prepare to caravan anymore. The mod is called... Well, I forget what the mod is called, but it's basically just get out of there now. It has a picture of Gordon Ramsay yelling. Could we please go and rescue me? We don't know what you're up to or where you are. What I will do uh, after the session, however, is post up the save file 
and maybe someone cleverer than me can figure out a way to automate extracting which faction each character is in. Because I would actually like to fill that out so we could actually have a good idea of where they are. So right now it's a fair bit of resource gathering. And me checking my emails again. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, okay. I gotta hand it to uh, to these guys, Hancocks. They are really good at what they do. They've been very fast to get back to me and get me the right documents and help me out. They're even sending over the paperwork without, uh, well, without any of the normal kerfuffle. And even a fun follow-up tip. A little tip for next time. It's better to say that you're exporting jellies than chocolate. Yeah, rookie mistake. Well, actually, it was fine until they changed the rules. Thank you, Hancocks. Great. If, if, you, uh, if you like to do a bulk order and you love some chocolates from the UK, Hancocks are so good. They got so much at a great price. And uh, normally, it's not a problem shipping it around. I wonder if that's enough steel for us for now. Steel is one of those things that once you need it, you need every drop of it you can get. But Trebelard's cleared the place out rather nicely, and on top of that, since we have so much wood, we are weaponizing our wealth. I always think that's a very important thing to do. Then again, I, I talked about all this stuff last time we ran, but hey, maybe people weren't around for it. Or maybe people much like me are managing to successfully bend reality enough to accept that none of that happened. Tony's chocolate's incredible, you just have to put up with the obnoxious branding. It does look really obnoxious, kind of like even worse than Ben and Jerry's obnoxious. I think I want this to be a bit nicer. Could I do something like that and that and that? I won't do that last part, might need this bottom part yet. Let's get ourselves some concrete floor. I talked about it before, but the reason I concrete floor under my traps is so that from the raider's point of view, the raiders cannot see the traps unless they are uh, smart raiders. You do get those specifically. But because concrete is much faster than walking over uh, mud or soil or that, they will generally path into it to go, ha, I'll take this faster route. And that just takes them right through the traps. You can do a similar thing for something like this. We have a lot of water here. So raiders, they'll go through the water if it's faster, but often they'll go around it. So what you can do is you can put a bridge over this and then litter the bridge with traps. And then, well, it's just another way to get your raiders. Unfortunately, I have no real natural defenses around here. I can be attacked from any direction. It's a really smart idea. I'm a really smart guy, Wetter Doctor. I think I gave myself four or maybe even five on intelligence when I created my character. To be fair, I am university educated. To a degree. <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a good pun, actually. Ah, see, I'm so clever I could come up with that. Weather's getting better, it's only minus eight. I'll be growing period before we know it. You were told that by chat, and I listened, right? What information do you have, Marvin, that you didn't get from the world? By all means, let us know. Right, you're not the best at construction, but you're not going to get any better if you don't try. And at least making traps takes quite a bit of time, so it's a good way to learn. And wasting wood isn't so bad, because I should have quite a lot of wood. Did you just fail again? No, I think you got that done. Right, how much power do you get out of one wood-fired generator? It's so about a thousand or so. Ooh, that poor rat's having a bad time. Yep, rat hunting fox. That's what they do. When you are in severe biomes, do you ever plant mushrooms? Are they too much trouble to be worth it? Uh, I don't bother with mushrooms. I don't see the point of bothering with mushrooms. Even if you're in an extreme desert, there is still soil that you can plant crops on. And potatoes are available from the very start. 
and potatoes have very low f soil sensitivity, so they don't give a damn that they're planted on crappy soil. And if you're on ice sheet, well, you, you're not going to be able to plant anything, let alone mushrooms, I believe. Zynga said he missed the pun. No, it's not often I'm cracking puns around here. I like my humour to be a bit more highbrow. Okay, it's all well and good. What more do I really... Yeah, I, I should really start thinking about going... Ele uh, getting electricity flowing, fired by wood, and building fancy bedrooms. Because this main area is doing alright for us for now. I say fancy bedrooms, but I wonder about that. They're probably going to be awful. Until I start flooring them, and then they're going to be dirty and I have to start caring about cleaning. Ooh, I'm not sure about that. Although it's not a big job to do. But no, no, there's no point worrying about that. We should worry about more immediate concerns. It would be nice to start getting stone going properly so I can marble up my walls here. I do not like having a base this flammable. It just takes one nasty thunder strike and all this stuff burning around me, and then, oh god. One of the things about biomes, especially the likes of Cold Bog, is that, see all, see all the... I suppose we didn't see it being lovely when we spawned here. If you spawn in here at the start of the game, during spring or summer or autumn, or just not winter, uh, the place looks very vibrant, full of trees and stuff, and it will never look that way again. Because the game loves to have flash fires that burn everything down, and it takes so long for it to grow back up that you're going to have another fire before then. It's kind of crazy how fire-hungry the game is. I wonder if I'll get any traders around here. It'd be nice to shift out the... Uh the cloth that we have here. Still getting it on. Well, this is why they're so unbelievably happy. I am grateful for the inspired recruitment, but now I kind of want a raid to send somebody that I want to take with me. Although one thing I should also consider is building a... Uh, a little unhappiness area to shove prisoners into. There's something to be said for expanding you out in this direction, but I could just shove a little bit over here. Actually, how much light is going on, on over there? Because I could extend this out just a little touch and have a little prisoner area here. Although I'd do that a lot happier if I had more marble to, to work with. I want to build marble walls. Marble walls inherently have a little bit of beauty to them, in addition to being so-so in strength. Certainly better than wooden, but not being burnable either. Marble is just great. You could also make a corpse locker. I'd need to keep it cold, and the weather's getting warmer. Depend just flinging horseshoes to take out his frustrations at seeing the... The happiness between Nancy and Tribliard. Should also consider my woods. Ooh, muffalos! They drop blue fur. They can't be milked anymore. I think they drop. Uh, they drop wool instead of uh, milk. I will consider getting a milking animal, but it would probably be yaks. And if boom lopes or boom mul boom rats or boom lopes, which do you think are better to have? See, boom rats, you can zone. So maybe boom rats if they become available. But again, I don't have anybody good with animals. That's a little off the uh, the options at the moment. So yeah, depressive. That's my plans when it comes to... Uh, oh, hello. Dying wolf, not to... Not a wolf, a fox. Fox fur might be good, but I don't think your meat is worth the effort right now. things are going just fine. We don't have a lot of people, so there's not a whole lot we can be doing, but if we're making traps, then we're certainly making ourselves stronger. And you know what? Nothing wrong with having more traps. If I get attacked at an angle like this or that, it might not be the worst thing to have more traps out here. And it might not be the worst thing further to make myself just generally a wall around all of this. 
also, also, I'm kind of tempted just to clear this away because it's so in the way, but at the moment it's my cold storage. And goodness, Nancy and Treb are insatiable. It's because of their age. In this game, the amount that your characters make love is partially based on their age. Pain gets in the way, and I think hadiths in general do. But uh, the younger they are, the more they go at it like rabbits. Or maybe rats would be a more apt description. Go at it, they do. Should hauling really be a bigger thing for you than stone cutting? Trebs? If there's not a lot of trees to cut down, and I've already got plenty of wood. Oh, I don't know, I never feel like you truly have plenty of wood. Also, steamy geezer. That's suspiciously close to somewhere that I could grow crops in. I wonder if you could keep this warm enough for a year round. Um. Indoor growing area. Ah, oh, I'd need a sun lamp, of course, that would be a problem. I never mind that. So it's a little beyond what I could be enjoying right now, anyway. Right, tell you what, slate, slate, not really needed right now. What is really wanted is marble. Let's finish that off and get this marble going. Also, if somebody could bring this marble over, that would be cool. Oh, wait, what are we doing with this trap sitting around in here? Let's get you out to a loving home. Yeah, that is actually what I was thinking about. Uh, if I had loads of boom rats just lying around, imagine what could be done if I just zoned them over to the enemy. They couldn't kill all of them, and they're rats. They're going to breed like rats. Hmm, I rather like that idea, actually. All right, we'll see if we can get ourselves some rats and yaks and wargs. Those would be my three animals that I'd like. Boom rats, of course, although I don't know what biome you find boom rats in. Also, boom rats could be a problem for keeping. Well, no, they're rats. They eat anything, right? They'll eat corpses. They'll eat each other. Yeah, that'd be fine. Just maybe keep them in a largely uh, non-flammable area. Not exactly going to put wood or hay flooring wherever I'm keeping them. It's also good to see Treblard continue up with the planting in here. Like I say, I want him at level 10 so I can plant Devil's Strand. But I don't think he's going to get that inside the next 10 days. Possible, though. No? It would be nice. The thing is, you might do a lot of initial planting. Uh, where I'll plant... What will I do? I'll do some... I'll do some hops for brewing. I'll do some... Uh, some corn. I was like planting corn. Some cotton. Maybe some rice so I immediately have some food to play around with. Yeah, and then after all that, maybe he'll be leveled up enough to do some Devil Strand. Would be sweet. Do I want smokes or psychoids? Smokes aren't too shabby because I think you can always make smokes. Uh, maybe I'm wrong? Psychite Refining, Flake Yeo, Wake Up, Go Juice. Could have sworn you can make smokes no matter what. I still swear that you can make smokes no matter what. But I thought you could make them at a campfire. Now oh, you make them at a drug lab or a crafting spot, right? Crafting spot, bang. There's our smokies. All right. I will make some smokes then. They're great for dealing with mood. They have a lot of downsides. They're nowhere near as good as beer, but unlike beer, I can just make them. I don't need fancy uh, barrels to keep my brew and such. You also got to be te uh, careful with the temperature. Actually, the temperature alone is a good reason to strongly consider going for electricity. The temperature in this place is not looking great. But yeah, I think I'll slam down a couple of generators over here and have that power the base until we find alternatives. That wolf is so cute. Don't really want to keep a load of wolves though, I get too attached to them and then when they die I'll feel bad. And if you'll believe that, you'll believe anything. Is that actually a wolf? Yeah it is, the fox is over here and dying horribly. A pandy. 
Yeah, you're right. You've done plenty of steel stuffing right now. Why don't you haul all that steel? Give up on that one as well. And then once you're done that, go and hunt that arctic fox before these boars have their way with it. Oh, speaking of the boars having their way with them, uh, I didn't even need to worry about the water killing off these people. The head has been chewed clean off, the arm is bitten off, the left foot, the right foot, the right hand, little more than the torso and uh, a right stubbed leg. Oh, oh, crumbs. I might be coming between a warg and its dinner here. Andy. Now he's just hauling it, isn't he? What's the warg gonna eat? Probably the head. Feels like they always like to start with the head. Yeah, there we go. One missing head. You're no longer really worth that 32 meat. Get yeah, on the good parts, gone. If you had to eat a person, what part would you start with? Man, this is a lot of moving around for stone cutting. I'm never a biggest fan of that. But the stones are not in a great position to just move the whole thing with. These stones, however, really rather are. So I think once you grab all those stones, I'll just leave you doing that, because at least you're doing it in a nice, warm, pretty area. I'll migrate the stone cutting table over to here, and I will do the marble and the granite. That bear, no, the bear would surely eat the rats and things before it ate me. Any muscular tissue? I'd probably start with the calves, thighs, and arms, says Zingus. Covering up his real motivations, no doubt. Clunk, clunk. Bloody hauling to be done. Man, in a surprisingly great situation. I know it looked grim with uh, how incredibly cold it was at the start, but we handled it greatly. I, I handled it greatly. So yeah, once I have a decent amount of marble blocks, this wall is getting redone in marble instead of wood. And maybe with a little bit of an extension over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have this jut out a fair bit, and then I could... I could maybe even set up multiple prison cells just in case it comes to it. I could have you jut out like so. Yeah, what in the world's going to stop me? We should get started with that sooner rather than later. Marble wall. Da -da 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 -da. How in the world do we. Okay, I thought that was telling me we had a break risk. I was just thinking. Seldom have I had a colony with this many happy people, even into the late game. Let's just remove these plants. Don't want to infringe on my glorious, uh, rich soil. But the buttocks are mostly just fat. Uh, has pointed out some rump steak. And as I say, no fat, no flavor. Right, two people have gathered 306 wood nearby, but we are definitely not in a position to start doing caravanning. I suppose it, if it was if there was something amazing there, let's say it was 300 gold. You know how much I love gold. <laughs> Quick, Pandy's gone. Get in the bed, Nance. Got a new thing for you to puzzle out right here. Look at that. Plus one beauty from the wall itself. Might not seem like a lot, because it's not a lot, but depending on where you are, you might be standing looking at a lot of wall. Nice thing about a constructor that can also do plants is that they don't stop for ages when you have to cut down a tree like that. It can be very frustrating. Even someone incapable of plant work can do the plants if they are constructing over one. So we have an eclipse and a solar flare, and fortunately, we're not affected by the solar flare. That only affects you if you have electricity, which we do not. 
And bye bye Eclipse. Come on, Nancy, I got a dialogue tree for you to exist. Ah, that's low. This isn't enough space, is it? Maybe I'll have the rooms arranged differently. There, there. With a door there. I only need one, right? How often am I going to be capturing more than one prisoner? So I'll just shunt them into the corner like that. Oh, well, uh, thank god the bear is taking care of the small fries and not me, then. Hope that bear isn't... No, no, no hard feelings about being shot earlier. Shot by Pandy's short bow arrow and it actually ran away in fright. Almost unbelievable. Yo, Pandy, at some point I'm going to want more comfortable furniture. Point might be sooner rather than later. Speaking of nice comforts, let's get some end tables so that we can bump up the comfort even higher on the sleepers. Oh, right, no, it, it's Pandy's end of work day. So, of course, he's recreating, and then he himself is going to sleep. But, hold that thought, Pandy. Imagine how great a sleep you would have if your wooden bed had an additional 0 0.05 comfort from an end table. He is imagining it, and he's got the quality of the end table is practically meaningless, so we'll just leave it like that. And we will have Devil Strand researched in time. Sweet. Is there a mod that adds a research queue? Because it's ever so bothersome that you can't set up a research queue. I do not know why Korax in Factorio thought that the default should be no research queue in that game, but just goes to show, even if you make a great game, you might have some terrible ideas. Right, cut that down, Panders, first. And there. Yep, get rid of all of that. Make that wall. Wall yourself inside for the lols. And... <laughs> That's good. That's real good. Gives up and collapses. Right, come on, take care of that. I don't want any slept on the floor nonsense here. Well, that's certainly going to decrease the uh, temperature around here. There we go, the solar flare never really lasts for that long. Kinda makes me wonder why it's really in the game if it's not gonna last for terribly long. I mean, Toxic Fallout can last for, I think, maximum one quadrum, although I do wish it also could last longer, that would be cool. Trevor, where in the world is my roof? It's kind of a very important thing to build. We're freezing in here. And for the heck of it, just get rid of this. Ooh, I should have checked this is all regular soil, but it is. Good. And while we're also at it, for some reason you can't clean that. All that wood as well, please. What would Ned... Ned's very, very used to it by now, let's be honest. I do worry about that bear just skulking around outside, though. We're going to hear that bwank. And we're going to hear bear is hunting, da da da. And it's going to be so close I won't be able to react. Yeah, <laughs> it's put me on the edge, really. Oh god, it's pretty cold inside. We need more heating. Oh, that's quite the problem. He is actually cleaning up the place now. If you could really kindly clean this up, 
Oh, we'd rather work on the wooden wall. And if we could also just shove a not truly very functional doorway there as well, please. And this will be where we keep some very unhappy prisoner down the line. But the prisoner can actually have a bed. An awful bed? I don't think I want to give them an awful bed. That awful bed is better just deconstructed. I think I have a poor bed for now. It's that surgery success factor I'm kind of interested in. It's better than sleeping, uh, better than doing surgery on the floor. And who knows, sometimes you do just want to do some surgery on people that come in. Hey! Now get me my booze. Booze will be much faster than doing Devil's Strand. And there we go! We can actually accommodate prisoners now, not very happily. But that was not part of what I was tasked with doing. Might actually just keep the uh, generators over here kind of out of sight, because they are ugly. But they will still warm the place up. A generator, one, two. Oh, right, they need components. And of course, we have still got zero of those. Yeah, being unhappy helps the conversions, and that's what I'm after. And hey, you know, this fox is actually helping. Uh, this big fox is helping us out. I don't really want rats ratting their way around here. No ratty wins again for us. This place is not making it easy to source some easy components. Because these two are kind of easy. Get those in so I can actually start building things. Each square gives two components. Moaning about my lack of food. And I have to hunt at some point, but that's Pandy's job. Kind of a shame that the people that arrived didn't bring us any good guns, or any guns at all. Right, if this is done. If anyone is idle, that tells me that there is not enough cutting of stones being done. Oh, that's dangerous, Pandy. Real dangerous. Sir. Ah, a desperate refugee named Sir is approaching. Sir claims to have woken up in cry of sleep alone and friendless. Please let me stay at Castle Malloy for 12 days. I'll rest, regroup, and he might turn on me. But what we do is we're always true gentlemen and accept them. Uh, however, I won't accept them until daybreak. Because, I mean, what use are they going to be during the night? That's just going to just gonna throw off all of our cycles. You know what? I could clear out these. I could really clear out these and I could use the nobles to help. Because I am scared of that bear. The sooner that bear is gone, the happier I am. Like a lot happier. Maybe even the same with that ward. Candy is now really the time. Oh ho ho ho! Triple the art posed lifelong commitment to Nancy. Nancy agreed. And now an item. Well, if that's the case, we're going to need a wee marriage spot around here, aren't we? Uh, Pandy, I, I, didn't, I didn't see you could stop. So Glorious plan is that I'm going to invite the nobles in. I'm going to ar anger the bear and let the nobles deal with it. Yeah, there's a chance the nobles might... Uh, get caught in the crossfire and hate me for it, but uh, the bear could just be a complete ooh, ender of life for one of these people. What are you doing pulling that over, Chevaliard? Get a move on. Nancy agreed. Yeah, we used our visitor to cast Word of Love on Nancy. So what could they do? Nothing, nothing but accept it. By the way, I'm really feeling like an extra door here would be advantageous. 
Right, Pandy, I know you ate without table, the unthinkable war crime that it is, but now please grab those and come on back. And yeah, let's let's get this going then. Where are they arriving at? Exactly where I didn't want them to arrive. I'll still see what I can do with regards to uh, stirring the bear. Fast as that bear gonna be? Let's try and hit it at a, uh, a reasonable distance. Oh, uh, I have to hit it for it to go manhunter. I don't want it to just run away. Come back, my bear friend! And run, Pandy, run! What the heck? Oh, this is the most cowardly bear I've ever seen! It's the second time we've sh third time we've shot it and it's not manhuntered. It's a cowardly bear right here. We won't even kill the bear ourselves. In fact, that bear is gonna die! Okay, gonna have some bear soon then. That is a great temptation to rob these people blind. And you can get so much out of it. They don't even biocode all their stuff. Charge Lance, Recon, LMG, Fine Meals, Parkas, Stylish Black as well, and this guy. Two Silinx, Hyperweave, and Eltec Staff. <laughs> this was the only. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, Tribliard is melee as well, so I can actually give him the Eltex staff, and that would work for him. It's a crap weapon. A piece of wood is better, but it's still a melee weapon, and it does wonders. Right, get over here. Everyone's gonna come and see what's going on. The bear is trying to heal its bleeding wounds, but I think it's bleeding much too much. That's right, look deep into the eyes of the... You're not a Stellar, are you? No, certainly not. Wait, you're... You're you're like a nobody. You're just some dude. You're, uh... You're escort or higher rank than you are. Trebliard is going to be higher rank than you are. Anyway, this is a very exploitable bunch. And, uh... It is very likely that I will be exploiting them down the line, but now is not a great time for it. It's more for when you already have good Psycast and you just want to milk the Empire for new reformers. Because these items are really rare to come by. A very, very rare thing to get from a quest. Tribals have their own way of getting them. They can do it through phrasing the Anima Tree. It's, it's hippie nonsense. But this guy right here... Mm. Oh man, it's it's just ring the doorbell and he brings you your silent neuroformers. And really whatever else you can grab out of the situation. Unimpressive! <laughs> uh, not that great, was it? Well, at least it wasn't terrible. Um, but yeah, there you go. Huzzah! That's a very happy day for you, isn't it, right? Opinion... Did you not... Oh god, you... This really stacks more than I thought. We're happy we helped a noble, we've still got our initial hope, and now that you're a Psycaster, you've learned Burden! Which is really terrible, but at least we have it. I forget what Burden actually does, it's nowhere near as good as Stun, but... Actually, what does it do? I think it just makes your enemy slower, so it's good if you're trying to outrun, say, an angry bear. But how often is that a thing? Anyway, everybody get to work. How do you exploit it? Um, just kill them all, basically. They arrive, and you kill them. You can do that in a number of ways. You could melt them in a kill box fire room, but my preferred way is to berserk them so they fight each other. A more expensive way is to shock lance them into submission, but just basically down them all. Downing them rather than killing them is even better, because then their stuff won't get tainted. But of course that comes with downsides, the Empire will hate you. But I, I, I ask you this, 
Why is that a problem when you can simply send them back the human value of everyone that you just took out? You can send them their armors, even if they are tainted, recon armor still has a value to it. Weapons don't get tainted, and they're expensive weapons. Um, and if they are dead, you can carve them up for their meat and their skin, which you can process and send back. And because the Empire hates you so much, your gifts have an increased effect on how much they like you. So generally, if you melt down, in a pretty literal sense, the, uh, the people that come and give you that goods and then send them back after robbing them blind, you shouldn't have any real problem in getting their relationship back up to neutral, at which point you can uh, be eligible once again for a ceremony. Because you didn't complete the ceremony, you melted them down. So they'll send a brand new guy. And one of the nice things is that the bestower very frequently has high-level body modifications. I believe you can even have architect stuff. So, you just keep melting them down and sending them back until you have as many silent neuroformers as you want. And I do. Send them some fine leather human art chairs and make it fair and square. Yeah, I prefer to send bedrolls, faster to make. Is that idea on the t Oh yeah, absolutely, and it's not even the worst exploit I have in mind for this run. Hmm. Being on the edge of the map in a situation like this is incredibly risky, so Panda, you get those four components and get out of here. Eight components should do us fine for quite some time. Burden is my favorite level one side cast. It slows enemies and lasts for 20 seconds. Stun is good, but only lasts one attack cycle. I kite a lot, so Burden works better for my playstyle. Yeah, not really sure with 500% st size raids that kiting is so reasonable. I guess it would be good against a mech or two. If I got sent like three scythers right now, yeah, I'd probably be more interested in burdening them down. How much gold are you going to get? Oh, we're going to right some wrongs when it came to the gold last time. You see, Mr. Bam, I love gold. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it. Alright, I keep hesitating on going electrical, and I really shouldn't. I have no good reason to. I suppose one thing that always makes me hesitate is the fact that the... Hold that thought. Okay, that shape should be fine. The generators that you put down cannot be moved. If I change my mind about where I position these generators, I have to destroy them and move them, which means in total I'm going to lose about 50 steel and one component per generator. Shouldn't need to, actually. One should do for a wee while. And then let's run some power conduits up this way, because this wall is a lot more permanent. Uh, I don't really want it there now, do I? I like my conduits to be in the walls whenever possible. Should do fine. I'll rig up some heat over here, I think. Or heaters. Got a lot more control over heaters than I do campfires. Why block the door? Block what door? I don't think I have any doors blocked. Unless you mean this, that's just lying around. There's nothing special about it. Should really get around to building up our proper walls around here. Oh, right, yeah, I did not even notice that. Yeah, you're right. Whoops, whoopsie doodle. Okay, well, good thing that wasn't built. I just completely neglected that door being there. Uh, but fortunately, we didn't build anything there, so nothing was lost, right? Yeah, all eight of them are still there. Oh, good lord. I don't know where my head was at for that. Power the fire generator. Still kind of ugly being around there, but I will probably pull it, throw it down there then. Still going to kind of be in view for a bunch of people, but all of this is subject to change. Paddy, what in the world are you doing? Okay, chess, it is your recreation time. Sleepy time for you soon. Hmm. Kind of low on food. Oh no, I <laughs> botched! One of my very precious components wasted just like that. Uh, perhaps that is a hint that. Treblard should not be the one building this thing. You're only construction 5, Pandy is construction 8. 
it. I'm looking at much better candies than you. Right, you, wait, you work on that, Trebliard. You work on replacing our walls with better walls. Kills me to waste that, so I won't. Stun is great, we need to interrupt a raider with a Doomsday or Diabolus. I'm pretty sure Stun doesn't actually work on Diabolus, he still gets his shot off. What does work on Diabolus is Berserk. In fact, it's great because he, uh, since he becomes hostile to the other mechs, they just start shooting him and it interrupts his attack. And it's the interrupting that attack that's the big one. Especially since in the late game my strategy is to hunker down behind a low shield and let her rip. Mm. Good times. I don't know if this thing connects to... No, I probably need to physically connect it with these conduits. It's fine then. There we go. Our home is looking good. Our home is looking relatively defended. I just hope they don't come through this way and just go through my walls, because that would be terrible. At some point I'm going to have to work on some kind of outer rim. Yeah, bearing in mind that I can't build on this nasty looking stuff. So walling this off becomes a bit of a no, unless I moisture pump it all away. Yeah, it's good to have a nice outer shell, but that's what swamp lands are really bad for. So much mud, so much marshiness. You're doing God's work, Treblard. Whilst Nancy is doing Nancy's work. I am out of food, though. That's well worth considering. Where do we get ourselves some sweet new chow? The boars are actually quite nearby, so maybe when Pandy wakes up, I'll get him to go hunting for us. Oh, I forgot to put my mod list in the title there, Tommy Chat. But maybe someone is kind enough to actually have the mod list for you. I do have it as a collection on Steam. In fact, if you probably just Google DDR Jake Steam Mod Collection, you'll find... Oh, Christ, I was meant to bring in the visitor. Sir the Hopeless. Sir. Excuse me, sir. No, I need to bring him in the morning so I can actually make good use of him. Very few people are here, though. Quite a few of them. With silver and food. Quite a bit of food. Would be really bad if the... Oh, where's the bear I killed? He will die. He's going to pass out very soon from extreme blood loss. But I do want that bear. That's a good amount of meat. It's a shame I can't provoke some other animal into killing these people for me. You know, charity. Hey, you know, I bet they wouldn't handle a muffalo herd very well, but I also would not handle a muffalo herd very well. I could just, just do that around Pandy, you won't mind. He's used to it. He's been ill-treated since he got here. I think he made the first move on Nancy as well, only to be utterly denied. So there we go. This thing does emit heat. I do not know how much. The game is not very good at uh, explaining such things to us. There we go. The bear should be downed now, wherever it is. Anyone spotted downed bear? They didn't waddle away too far. I'd say follow the blood, but there's a lot of blood to follow. There's our grizzly friend. Pandy, you know what needs to be done. So do not shy away from your duties and get it done. Mmm, 160 meat on that thing. Lowered for butcher efficiency, but what can you do? Now this thing will eat 75 fuel every three and a half days, no matter what. So if I'm not drawing that power, I am actively wasting that power. So I'm currently actively wasting that. Bit of a shame. 
love to have my paste operational, but paste also cannot be moved once put down. So I don't think I'll put down paste just yet. I uh, will do something like... I wasn't aware electric crematorium even existed there. I just overlook it because fire is such a cheaper idea. Right, well, if nothing else, let's get our temperature in order. Some heaters. I'll just slam a couple here. Because unlike, uh, unlike a bunch of other things, the heaters can actually be moved. And there's our bear. Thank you, Pandy. Nancy, you know what needs to be done. I want that bear. Stun works in Diabolos and other boss mechs. In the case of Diablo, it forces them to restart the health. I am certain I interrupted them only for them to continue their shot. But I've been wrong about things before, and there's a good chance I'm wrong about this. I don't want to turn on these guys, there's no point making an enemy where I where I did not previously have an enemy. I do intend on walling this further north. Ah, League of Eten is bringing a second batch of people over here. Now I would really love to uh, turn on these people. Cataphrac Helmet, triple, lock, tro uh, triple Rocket Launcher, 15 meds. Guns, a silver mage, oh my god, marine helmet, a Zeus hammer. I've got it. I've absolutely got it. Right. Who's my fastest and most expendable member of my team here? Mm, the Ancient Danger. It's risky, but if I open up the Ancient Danger, they can come and deal with these people, not me. Triple yard? No, I don't. I'll send Pandy, right? Pandy is uh, alone in this world. I'll just let these guys get a bit closer. I don't think the weather is going to. I don't think the temperature is going to be so dangerous they have to flee. Suck. So... Oh, even better, it'll be nighttime. Oh, no, no, even better idea. Perhaps the best idea. We are due a visitor, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, unless they're amazing and I would want to spare their life. But they said they would work for me for free. So let's put that to the test, shall we? Said I didn't want to bring them at night time, but to hell with it. Come, sir the hopeless. Oh, he's not in a great place here. He's also cold immediately. And he's got some locked silver. Are you... Holy moly, I want you! I mean, you're, you've got the wrong ideas in life. Now check that out. Masochist, so pain is good. Artisan crafter, artisan artist. Brilliant intellect. I like the look of you, sir. Please don't betray me. <laughs> Maybe consider joining me. Oh, that... Oh, damn, I got rid of my bed, didn't I? Um, Pandy, are you busy? Because at this point I'm going to start wanting my barracks load of beds. Yeah, I forgot about that slight matter, didn't I? There we go, we should be ready. Ready for friends with our beds. Excuse me, sir. Ah, uh, excuse me, sir. I'm looking for the president's daughter. Right, I'm gonna do it right in the corner so I've got the best opportunity to run either way. We don't know what's gonna be coming out of here. I am disliked Xenotype. I'm a baseliner. Not one of the good types. Tons of disliked Xenotypes. I'm surrounded by people that don't belong here. I'm wielding the noble weapon, the 
awful steel knife. These people are off their rockers, so they are. Right. Are you set to deconstruction? I don't know why that's not an absolute must, but go and deconstruct that wall and then be prepared to run like hell. Don't know what's in the ancient danger, but it's usually bugs or mechs. In fact, I think it's always bugs or mechs. Also, how are our beds? Good, 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 normal, and something else. It's sandstone, I'll take a bit of extra time. Huh, yeah, some pretty good beds, Pandy. Nicely done. Alright, the best thing these uh, bugs or mechs can do is kill those muffalo. They probably won't, but I'm taking a chance on this. If nothing else, I can... Ooh, I just had a thought. Nance. There's usually rich stuff in there. I could sell it quite quickly to you. And Nancy's an amazing negotiator. But having Nancy out in the danger zone is dangerous. I'd probably be better off just keeping it and selling it to someone else. Also, beautiful Aurora. It's still dark for some reason, but... Alright, let's see what we got. I remember you, Tesseron. There's only two of them, though. Huh. But there are cry of sleep caskets. You never know who's in there. Alright, maybe if I get lucky, they'll uh, just do nothing. Huh. They not know I'm here or something? I don't really want to stick Sir's face in. He's going to immediately have it set on fire. Please, please come out and play before uh, before these people leave. I don't, I don't want to deal with you. Do I need to like build around them so they start thinking I'm in their face? Anyway, uh, assuming that Sir is going to live, let's actually put him to work. I want you to do really basic things like our refueling and such. What's Sir's strengths again? Artisan crafter, artisan artist, intellect. Unfortunately for me, I don't really want to boost his intellect, because Nancy is my go-to intellectual. I think for now... Wait, why is there an immediate insult? Pandy hurled an invective about Sir's personal hygiene. He just got here. I think I'll leave him with a knife. It's not the worst thing he could be using in a fight, so... Maybe it's better he has that rather than gla uh, grabbing a club, for example. But he is not a happy guy, is he? Let's make him happy. Although it's the middle of the night. Uh, sir, here's your bed. Although you're not really tired, are you? Duh -huh. Are any of the traders chatters? Excellent question. And the answer is no. I find they don't often appear as traders, but it does happen. Right. This is worrisome. I really wanted these uh, scythers to come out and play. Scythers? One scyther, one tesseract. I might still send Sir, though. Just uh, coax it out. Normally, in a situation like this, they just beeline out. Do I need, to, I need to start shooting them or something? Or do they need to get line of sight on me? Or do you need to fully enter the place? Scythers are spindly and scary. Why are they not coming for me? That's it. There we go. He saw us. He definitely saw us. He took aim. But now he's not coming for me. I don't get it. And it's troubling me. Right, tell you what. Claim and deconstruct both of these. Uh, that'll give him what's for. Or maybe I just need to claim all of this. 
So it's all mine, right? I've taken your stuff. Oh god, Pandy. No, no, no. <laughs> no, you don't want to do that. Oh yeah, what's in there? Psychic animal, psychic animal, pain stopper, crate. I don't know who's in here though. Is the vase blocking their pathfinding? It'd be unthinkable, would it? Pandy, you are too valuable to be bringing around here. Can I just like, send you home or something? We'll zone home to include more of this so that you can stay around in there and do whatever, but I don't want the rest of you guys coming in here to die. Oh, well, he's trying to break down what I've claimed to be my door now, which is something. Oh no, no, don't leave! Not when I've got these dangers here. I think it's just the traders that are leaving, and I really wanted those traders. Sir, you might need to bail real fast. Oh, he does. Oh, bye, sir. Goodbye, sir. Sir. Okay, great. Go, sir, go. Be gone. Be absolutely gone. This is one hefty scyther. Waltz here is doing a good job as well. Yeah, maybe the maybe the steel urn did get in the way. I could not tell you. Well, your toes are gone. I could save you, but there's no benefit to doing that. It uh, bothers me that they removed there being a, a relationship bonus for saving people. You know, strikes me as something that you'd want to do. To maintain a good relationship. Oh yeah, I saved your colonists from dying to mechs. No, they don't, they don't care at all. This is such a hardy scyther. How in the world is it not dead? And why are you guys not helping? All those wonderful traders are gone. That'll be a cool shot to the death. I wonder if I could sneak in and open up the cryo sleep caskets. Might be some good folk in there. Are these guys even going to be able to kill each other? Oh, yeah, you're right. That's a free shotgun. Who's my... Handy. It's a good one as well. And if I can get that... Uh... Oh, whoa! What happened there? I don't know, but these guys are hostile. And that's a problem because... All of my backup is running away. Ah, but these guys can kill each other. What do you have? Ooh. Ooh. Huh? Who biocodes a revolver? Anyway, flat, component, steel, gold. Yeah, I guess a stray shot. Yeah, look at that. Stray shot opened up the casket. Thank you for dealing with my ancient alien problems here. Handy, get that shotgun. Never know when that's going to be handy. You know, it might be handy very soon. Thank God Miriam is sitting here not taking any... Uh, not taking any flack for this. Unfort Whoa. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Is that considered harvesting someone to death? Probably, right? Okay, this has become a problem. Not necessarily actually, I got traps for a situation like this. Bandy get away. Oh god, Pandy, get away. Are they gonna come for me now? Or are they just gonna vomit for a while? Keep an eye on them. Well, you guys have no problem coming out. Hey, maybe you could fight the other, uh, the other guys. Or you could just break my sandstone table, that's also an option. 
on that LMG. Please stop breaking my stuff. Right, gotta gotta be wary about that LMG. Also, while you're there, Candy, just that's the stuff. Everybody else, I mean, stay inside the cleaning zone now. And you can, uh... Eat. Oh, no, 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 they're gonna eat the food! I wanted that food. Bet these guys are warm enough, they don't care about the cold, right? Well, you certainly do. You're already shivering from hypothermia. Oh, maybe these guys can hypothermia out rather than anything else, but they might try and steal goods and run away. Your sandstone table, I claimed it, it's mine. Please, I shouldn't have claimed all of this now. I'm just gonna want to break it. What I worry about is it goes, oh, they're just gonna steal stuff and run away, and then they're gonna steal the pain stopper and the animal pulser. Scorpions, oh no, Sophian school, very old religion for them. Great with plants, great at shooting. Incapable intellectual isn't too bad. You'd be a nice catch. You would not. Pessimist is bad, though. Still, that's great plants. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, if I had the opportunity, I might actually go for Alexius. Rick them in till they die of exhaustion. I don't think so. Right, time to get inside and maybe do some work. Tribbly hard isn't. Are they bleeding at least? No, that's a shame. If there was a shot off to make them bleed, that'd be better. Hey, Pandy, you think you could bring him down here? Oh, man. Oh, double man. Please don't do that. That's a good shot. Oh, that was a great shot. Right in the spine, he can barely move. Now run away before that LMG hits you, Pandy! Right in the leg. At least they're busy vomiting their everything right now. Pandy, let Tribbly Ard take care of that. And I will actually use some proper medicine on it. Glad they're just throwing up all over the place, but Neil, Neil's dead. He, he ain't coming back from that. But Neil's not the one I want, is he? No. Although... <laughs> Open the door behind the traps. Oh, now there's a good thought. Candy, could you please just rest until you're better? Sir? Yeah, they might come in from this. Ah, well, Alexios is taking the bait. Pudliard, um, please tend to poor old Pandy. Oi. Just because I shot you through the spine doesn't give you the right to set fire to my stone cutter table. Does it? Right, Pandy, might need you here. Trebly Arden, your big clubby club might also need you here. Uh, nothing else. I want to... Well, Alexios is probably going to die. He's not nimble, is he? Nope. He is very tempting. Pessimist is a pain. But just look at that. Mm -mm. Great planter. Great artist. Well, he might be a great dead guy right now. Well, that can't have felt good. Definitely not bringing him down. So, oh, crikey, he's... Uh... There we go. Get your ass down. Trebliard, please take care of that. Andy, shoot Neil in the back. Actually, do I want Neil down? I like bionic hearts, but that would... Nah, just take a shot and see what happens, Andy. <laughs> yeah, pump that out. Okay, there we go. Nothing to worry about. We took care of the ancient danger. We got ourselves some good guns, uh, sir. You're not great with melee, but you're not good at shooting either. Given the choice, I'd probably rather have you wield an assault rifle. That thing's pretty good. Alright. 
Do I want Alexius? He'd be a pain in the bum to convert, and... Hang on! Nancy still has inspired recruitment. For how much longer? 2.8 days. Hmm... I could recruit Alexius, but then it would be a real pain to bring them over to our side. But they took a lot of low-level damage, so they would actually heal up pretty quick. If I take Nelly, I get his bionic heart, but again, I don't particularly want anything out of him. Alexius' is shooting skill, though. Mmm. And I'm, I generally always have something to do with plants, and he can be my artist as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to take Alexius and immediately convert them using Nancy. It's the right thing to do. If you keep him miserable, he'll convert faster. That's true, however... Time is not on my side. Nancy's inspired recruitment goes away in three days. Could I really crush that in three days? I don't think I'll harvest the heart. I think it's going to make my people very unhappy if I do that. Right, so... Strip Neil, and then don't care about Neil, and then just capture Alexius. Only get shot once by an LMG is a good, good outcome. Certainly want that. And these things can't be used again; they're single use, right? So they're just there for deconstructing. And then let's figure out what's in the crate. And is there a roof here? There is a roof here. Uh, He could kill Treb for the mood, but he's happy anyway. Yeah, it doesn't seem worth it. Besides, what if I suddenly come around on this and I go, No, I want this guy. I want his bionic heart. Bionic hearts are great, but I don't think it's worth going out of our way for it this time. Oh, oh, he's up. He's up and he's off. Good for you, I guess. Maybe I could take your trousers off, a, off for Pandy, since he's the one that's probably feeling the burn from getting shot in the legs. Tribliard, we need you here. You know, someone, someone needs your help. A lot of blood going on in there. I don't want him to bleed out on me. Yeah, I figured he wasn't getting anywhere. There feels like he has absolutely nothing to do. What could he be doing? What's he good for again? I keep, I keep forgetting this. Bionic head is useful, huh? Bionic heart is great. Artisan crafting. Hmm. But there's not a lot I need crafted right now, nor do I have a lot with which to craft. I suppose I've got bear skin, right? I can make some bear skin trousers for people. It's not unthinkable, actually. Let's make ourselves some good bear skin trousers. I keep forgetting they're bleeding pants. I'll do it, sir. Hopefully crafting is already here in your to-do list. Smithing, tailoring, it's tailoring? Yeah, tailoring's apparel. Get to it. Oh, no, don't open the head. Work on those trousers for me, please. And uh, did I say that this guy was allowed my incredibly precious... Um, medicine? I don't believe I did. He ain't bleeding out just yet. That's a lot of small cuts, not big ones. Ah, Chilbeard is throwing a party, even though he's busy tending to Alexius. Oh, great, I guess. We've got options now. So we've got normal LMG, good assault rifle, and good shotgun. I think I'll stick with the assault rifle and shotgun. And the problem is, who gets what? Nancy being nimble makes me really just want to have her in melee. But a stick. Maybe I'd be better off just having her get on with the guns. At least there's more utility in a gun. 
yeah, Nancy, go and... You know what, the LMG is crap at uh, aiming anyway. Why don't you have that just for suppressive fire, if nothing else? And then, sir, although I do not want you to have a gun, I will give you the assault rifle. And I need to make sure to take it off you before you leave. Is Ancient Danger considered under the mountain? Yeah, so this is going to spawn problems for me. I really shouldn't have claimed this. Oh well, sometimes you just end up with a bunch of bugs, dangerously close to your base. What about that? What about that party? Guess they're currently enjoying their yeah, attending party, wandering. <laughs> the one that threw the party doesn't get to take part. Sorry, Miriam, I'd help you, but you've got a bad back. And I don't want to. If you keep the temperature below minus 17 in there, no bugs will spawn. Easy during winter, less easy during not winter. But if I keep that generally walled off, at least it'll generally be invaders' problems and not mine. I can hope for that, right? Right, as a prisoner, you will be fed. I don't know what, but maybe I should try to convert you while the going is good. I hope we don't forget about Nancy's inspired recruitment, though. Sounds like something I forget about. Also, who's set to wardening? Hopefully just Nancy. Good, and it's her highest thing to do. Mind-shattering pain. Where's the food again? Ah, here we go. I'll give you simple meals. I don't have anything less simple to give you. Uh, more simple? Something. What do we have here? Jump packs. Bibliard, please deconstruct this stuff as well so we know where we stand. She has no resistance. Could anyone recruit her? Oh, wow. We could actually just get you straight up. I don't even need to use our enhanced uh, stuff. Okay, right. Well, forget using Nancy then. Triple are you hauling stuff? Because you should be. There we go. Uh, maybe just consume that while you're here to hell with eight without table. Nancy's becoming a regular iron chef here, but look at how much time we're wasting with cooking. Feels horrible. But yeah, let's convert before we recruit Alexios. And Neil is uh, eating frostbite. I know that's not fun. Could say we have some experience in that regard. And we've got our bearskin trousers, and they're good quality as well. Who deserves trousers the most? Pandy took a bullet for it, so let's go and have him wear the good trousers. Actually, maybe Pandy should be wearing the flat trousers. Rebliard can have the other ones. Although I think that disposes of the tribal wear. Yeah, it does. I wonder what's better, the tribal wear or the trousers. Probably the trousers. Insulation from the cold, 4.4 degrees. Insulation from the cold, 8 degrees. Well, these ones are crappy, so be happy with what you're wearing now. I'll be off. Any problems with the bingo? Ping me, says Acro. Lovely. Thanks a lot for hosting it. Are we charitable? Of course we're charitable. Why would we not be charitable? Anyway, speaking of that, I'm considering gunning down these animals for their meat, because I'm a little low on it. I know I said I wanted wargs, and I do want wargs. But now we have enough people that we can... Wait! Oh, crumbs, I have kept this open. Well, we'll, we'll deal with that momentarily, shall we? Nancy, Sir, Bandy. Good 
Liard to uh, to help us out a bit. Actually, Burden could help. Oh, great shooting ants. Terrific. Can we like back away from it for a bit? Nice. There we go. Right through the heart and lung. Good job, Pandy. And Nancy gets straight to work. Mixed grill for Dindons tonight. Actually, sir, do you hate using ranged weapons? Noble is Malay piercing, despised is Malay blunt. Okay. As long as we don't give you any blunt, you'll be fine. What's cruel about that? We put out of his misery pretty fast. Besides, it was that or the warg gets it. And I do still want that warg because that's. Uh, they're both wolf skinners. Uh, go and equip that rifle, please. And also, it's soon going to be time to get some more things to store stuff in. I like hampers, but... Oh, I really like hampers, but I need cloth, which I don't have. This only takes apparel, not, uh, not that. Stuff is ugly as well, just throwing it on the ground isn't great. Um, just trying to think about it get rid of a bunch of stuff that's lying around it. I've cloth for hampers, so well, I do have tons of wood for big shelves. I'm not thrilled at using big shelves, but there we go. Get those sent down. Alright. That warg is hanging around and it's a little too scary because the wargs can also go after you. Of course they could go after things like this wild boar that's sitting here. Unconscious and who shot you? A monster took you out, wild poor friend. Don't worry, we'll take better care of you. Eh, second thoughts, let's not. Wargs are still fast and very deadly. That could go very wrong. Uh, sir? I see my problem here. I didn't actually assign you to eat anything. So I'm so unhappy and literally malnourished. No, no notable ponds yet. Quite rare with the very small amounts that come early uh, early on in the game. Ooh, it's Christmas time! We're going to need to have a Christmas tree. And you're going to have to clean this place up, because I lard it. I don't want a crummy barracks. Oh, we'll be eating paste as soon as I can. There's just not a lot of space here for pasting. I will expand the room downwards quite a lot when I can. I'll bring this whole wall down to here. So I'm not replacing this with marble just yet. Maybe not at the expense of the really good soil here, but I reckon I'll bring the wall down here. Yeah, to that. That'll give me a lot more space to work with. I also have to move my traps away, but hey, I'll have extra hands for doing that. Christmas tree! Is that going to get in the way of our growing spot? Probably, but hey, it's fine. How are you feeling, Alexius? I gotta hand it to you, you stepped in three of my traps, and it didn't cause any permanent damage. I suppose wearing double flak helped out a lot, and it also did damage to the flak. Inspired Taming. Treble art, how good are you with animals? You need five for a warg. Ah, uh, ha ha ha, I wanted a warg. Uh, our Muffalo is also level 5. Cribbins, okay. Inspired taming is such a waste on a low-leveled animal person. 
Oh, better get something. Because at the very least I can slaughter it and get all of its food. I bet Cougar is even higher. Isn't there a thing here? Minimum taming skill? Tame, tame chance. I think it would be a stat of sorts. Minimum handling skill, there we go. What's the best we can get at four? A boar. A boar or a rat? Ratty does not win again. Alright, well, let's just grab a boar, I guess. Probably not even worth the food to. the berries to. to coax the thing in. Probably I'd go into. the handling or training. An army of vicious boars can hurt. Yeah, but you can't train boars to attack. There we go. Go and get that thing. And you would use our berries. Any way to pump handling without recruiting a critter, like training or something? Yeah, if I had some animals, we would level up our training just by keeping them trained and milking them and whatnot. But it's a long and thankless thing. I tend just to hope that I... Oh, they think they'll sleep, didn't I? Uh, at least it'll be Christmas soon. There's also skilled trainers, but that's a very expensive alternative. And if it's not your passion, you won't get much out of it either. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Five of them. All of them vanilla characters, but that could be a use for Nancy's inspired recruitment yet. We've got a nervous, slow learner, tough, hard worker, recluse. Oh, they're there. A lot of them are Ooh, Neanderthals. Hypersensitive, jogging, plant crafting. Mm -hmm. No, I'm really not in a position to be recruiting left and right. They will prepare that attempt. Now, hopefully my army of um, traps could take them out. It's not worth blowing a psychic thing on, a, an animal pulser. No way. Is this degrading out there, by the way? No, good. Even though this is out, outdoors because it's no longer walled off. Hmm. Well, they should fall prey to my army of traps here. And I kind of wish I had Alexius to help us out, but that pain would stop them even if they were on my side. Be an amazing time for Sir to turn on me. Get on the outside, Sir. I don't want to count you as the rest of us. And I think if there's anything I could throw at them. There are all these man-hunting muffalos. If I were to trigger the entire crew to to run at us, they would then run at them. But then I'd have, you know, a bunch of man-hunting muffalos causing me grief. And, you know, why solve a problem with more problems? That's what got me into hot water before. How hard could it be to build a Christmas tree, Pandy? Come on. It's apparently quite a lot. Hmm. Very Neolithic weapons. Bison wool parka in good condition is well worth crabbing. Jade is free, uh, free wealth. Mega Sloth wool t-shirt, shame it's been in poor condition. But yeah, we'll need to bring them through our tricks and traps, so to speak. The game will alert us when they're on the rampage. So hopefully we can take one volley of shooting at them. And then when they come ever closer, we get back here. I'll probably screen with Sir and Treble. 
But yeah, hopefully they come along like this and then... That's not really guaranteed, is it? Unless we keep this door open, right? Maybe I should. What if they end up going in? Oh, that'd be a problem. Uh, maybe now's not the time, Pandy. <laughs> maybe now's absolutely not the time. I was inspired by you to fire up the game again. I aggroed a mega sloth to deal with a raid that outnumbered us 8 to 3. The sloth killed 11 people, then went to bed. <laughs> mega sloths are hardcore. They're very much on par with the thrombos in a lot of ways. Thrombo still wins, but still hardcore. It's bothering me that they're not coming at me. That's leaving Pandy feeling a touch awkward here. Tell you what, Pandy, if you've got nothing else to do, just cut down that tree. Rather have you doing something rather than just anxiously wandering around. At least with five of them, they should scatter if three or four of them go down, but that's the kind of assumption that got me into hot water before. How good's that thing in Malay, by the way? Smacking someone with the gun is actually on par with smacking them with a piece of wood. Keep on chopping the stuff down, Pandy. We're going to need to clear this area eventually. And these guys are plenty warm right now. Well, I suppose you were only good at minus 10, but you're only good at minus 7. <laughs> I guess Sloth kills 11 people and goes to bed. That's good, though. But how in the world did you end up getting attacked by eight people if you only had three? That's uh, nasty numbers. Also, you are proving tricky to convert to either that or Nancy's not been trying. Perhaps I should be spending this time like, rebuilding these traps of mine. Maybe that's a better way to spend your time right now, Pandy. I had a two-part raid of four. It gave me two parts, but at once. Ah. So for a mission, then, that sounds like greed. Someone after my own heart, then. All right, they're beginning their assault. The rest of you, get up and get over here. Last one out. Close the door. You know, in case it comes to that. Also getting back a bit. Good job, Pandy. Keep it up. <laughs> Great job, Pandy. Now step away. Don't get shot. Oh, well, hey! Who in the world made that great shot? Certainly wasn't Nance. There we go. Sir, smacking you right in the legs. That's you slowed down. It's a great start. I would like these people to come in a bit one at a time-ish, so I am actually going to use Bird in a fair bit. Oh, that's great. Keep it up. This just kind of burdened a whole lot of them. Are you still burdened? There we go. Getting a bit heated, though. Everybody take a step back. That's good. Hey, Panda, you're, you're still doing right. Splendid. And that's why we have the traps. Oh, the war would be the war getting happy. There we go. They only scattered after four of them went down. Of course, the fifth one didn't fare much better. But, although it cost a fair bit of wood, they went down and we did not get damaged. While we're at it, this war guy really think has to go. I am sorry, my wargy friend, but we, we just can't really have you here. I'm a little worried at the speed at which it's approaching, though. You think we could, you know, take a step back? A few steps back? It's one of the nice things about Burden Plus using the guns here. 
is that, uh, well, I can't show it off now, but uh, yeah, shot in the paw, shot in the paw, plus the pain, it was gradually slowing down anyway. So, not a problem. I just, I know how to handle myself in the rim. I also know when I should be grabbing some good goodies. That might be a poor cloth parka, but it's still a parka. Uh, same with that light leather one. So these three, absolutely. See, without the traps, this would be a real problem for me. All right, that being the case, strip, strip, strip. And do I want any for recruitment? Bearing in mind that I can get them pretty much instantly. You are tempting. Your base liner. You're pregnant. I can work with that. You're also almost dead. I have a funny feeling that that kid ain't gonna make it. 26. I don't like nervous. Nervous is pretty bad. Yeah, maybe I should maybe I should be a bit more picky. Yeah, nah, screw all you guys. You're all you're all just dead already. And yeah, we can celebrate Christmas soon. Isn't that nice? Really need to set these to be auto rearmed if destroyed. So charitable, lol. We charitably are helping out, sir. Here, that's already pretty good. Oh, he doesn't look like he doesn't like looking at all these corpses, though. Wait, what corpses? These people are all alive for now. And it won't be later, but for now they are. God, where did all my wood go? It's all gone. That's a problem. All right. Since I plan on expanding out anyway, I'm giving the the order to cut all of these plants. I could get me a healthy amount of wood. On top of that, chop any wood around there. Get handy and trebly are uh, busy for a wee while. Nancy's got cooking and research to do. I will have my beer yet. As for Sir... No, he doesn't have much to do, does he? But he can always haul. Yeah, I tell you what, you do all the refueling and hauling and cleaning and stuff. Leave the research and... S re leave the researching for Nancy. Oh, I absolutely do not harvest. I don't like the fact that the game defaults anyone who can harvest to harvest. Hauling is a pretty bad job for him because he doesn't use the pick up and haul bonus. Hey, we got the boar. We got the boar. Right. Slaughter that boar. Not assigned to handling. I'll change that. I don't know why I'm making it one here. This is hardly a big job, but please do slaughter that boar. That suddenly got warm enough for a lot of, a lot of leaves to come in, even though it's still freezing. And bring that boar back in. So that's quite nice because if you clean slaughter an animal, you get all of its meat. If it takes any damage other than that, uh, even if it's just like one or one tenth of a bit of damage from a slight burn that it got, uh, that will remove one third of its meat unless you heal that before you uh, kill and slaughter the animal. Just some food for thought. Right, this place I want you to keep not apparel, but textiles. Let's get those textiles out of my way. Actually, keep them over here. You are an important place for textiles. You are an important place for, I don't know, do we have, have like items? Weird items go there. Then that'll give me a good overview of what I do and don't have. Don't forget your boar. Oh, the boar's boar is taken care of. Don't you worry about the boar. Continue to make do with the meat. I'm surprised no one's had food poisoning so far. I'm starting to think that the percentages for food poisoning are messed up in the game right now. We went a long time in a previous run with no food poisoning. Is that happening again, I wonder? Yep, 
It might be that if the game thinks you're doing really poorly, then it spares you a bit on that. I know I don't have the wood for this, but I will someday. Does the bouncing notification not bother you? Uh, no. It's also a good reminder to me exactly what's been going on. People are unhappy with no cleric. Nancy's going to be our... Oh, wait, no. The cleric role is... That is making us all unhappy. Sinners must have a cleric. Is it not even using the name I gave it? Wait, just cleric? I'm pretty sure I gave this a fancy name when I set it up. I forget what it would be. I'll have to check the world. I can always fix it between sessions. I'm feeling a little bad about Sir holding onto that gun. If he betrays me, that gun is turning on me. I don't even really get anything good off of him if he... Uh... Yeah, then again, him joining me would be splendid. Shame about his religion, but we could deal with that. Ooh, a supremacist. I'm surprised he's bothered by corpses if he's a supremacist. Yeah, Nancy will be the moral guide. The Divine Penitent, I suppose, will be Pandy, and Tribliard will be our noble. But of course, all that's open to change. Never know when we just end up dying, and then that's that. Gone. I'm going to ignore these logging sites things. I'm certainly not in a position to caravan around. Give him the crappy knife. He's better at melee anyway. Yeah, but the gun has more utility. As you saw for hunting those animals, for example. And combined with Burden. I know I said Burden was bad, but I'm taking it back now. Slowing people down for that long could actually be pretty good. We should have Sir make us more more goods, especially when we have more of these kinds of skins available. Ah, there we go, trying to convert Sir already. Good sign. Now, is anybody trying to convert our captive here, Nancy? Apparently, oh, we couldn't interact with them because they were already... Uh, shocked into oblivion, but someday. Right, let's store the excessive jade and gold and silver in here. Just to ease up on the amount of goods I'm just leaving lying around like this. Oh, true enough, he also had the mood boost from the knife. Alright, I'm convinced. Take your crummy knife. I do want him happy so that he'll be more likely to offer to join me. Not so much I'm going to give him nice clothes, so that's, that's a step beyond. So much nicer to be able to chop wood without having to balance hypothermia. Oh, it's so much better. Alexis is amazing with plants. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just so drawn to people that are good with plants. It's not too hard, super late game, just have everybody rocking ten plants if they do it often enough, but we are far from the late game here. I think this is actually lit because of the wood fire generator, meaning the generator's very existence is going to allow us to convert Alexius. Once I expand this out, then I'm going to have my paste operational, and then all this incredibly wasteful making of food with campfires is gone. Imagine that. Making a simple meal using ten of these ingredients? You can make a paste meal out of six. And they both take equally nutritious. Get you converted before we bring you over. I'm I'm a little on the fence because you know immediately having you in and shooting would be great, but it's such a pain to convert colonists. It's so much easier to convert prisoners. Uh, flip side, I could let's say there was an amazing person that I wanted, but they were the wrong religion and Nancy's inspired recruitment was going away. I would recruit them, throw them in prison, and then convert them, and then let them out. Sure, their mood would be very angry, but. When's it not? Yeah, piggy paste. 
Gotta squeeze every calorie. I want more of these back. Yoink. I know, I know, I don't have the wood, but we're getting the wood. You know, maybe maybe using the spear would be a better weapon than your crappy knife. Hogs and bugs. The Praetor is having trouble. There's an infestation of two hives that he wants you to drag over here. I'll get two troopers. Word of trust is really good. And it's not wealth. I don't really care about getting gene packs. I really wish I could just remove these from the pool. I don't want to play with genes and they keep clogging up the prize pool for missions. Word of Trust is pretty sweet. I think it's level 1 as well. I think I can check that. It is level 1. It's very expensive, but it's a great way to improve recruitment of people. Plus the the insects. You know what? I'll keep hold of that for a wee bit. It would be very handy if I end up getting attacked. The insects would almost certainly spawn in here as well. Right, sir, once you're done with that, equip a spear. Definitely going to be better than your crummy knife. Uh, speaking of crummy knife, could you just leave that outside to die? Okay, much better. No one needs that awful knife of yours. And you're still happy. Such a noble weapon. Ignore the revolver, it's bio-coded. I know I do. Yeah, the troopers can deal with the hives, but I'm still going to hold on to them. Oh man, sir. I, I do not like having these guys as haulers. They just take one thing at a time. Is there not any better work I could give, sir? That's right. Stone cutting. It's what you were born to do, sir. Oh, okay. Relax instead. Because if you join me, that's great. Well, not great. Your, your religion is just messed up. Perhaps we should start making Nancy our cleric. She's very happy, after all. Alter, alter, alter. I don't think altars can be moved. Screw it, I, I usually just use ritual spots. They're free and easy to slam down. Oh, also, it's Christmas time. What, what are we doing not celebrating Christmas? Come on, let's begin! Yeah, Alexius is not participating. Too bad for you. Nancy is getting politicized as well. She doesn't seem to care much. She's not happy about lack of a cleric. But don't worry, you will be that cleric soon, Nancy. Is it worth seeing what's inside the hidden rooms? Given that the uh, metallic freak just went in and out, didn't even break anything, I'm fairly convinced they're just empty. Maybe they have a pillar in them or some such. So, huzzah! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. No, that's not what we sing at Christmas. We do Mr. Hanky's Christmas carols. Who knows how many Christmases are left in your short life? Nobody knows. That's the point. Enjoy them while you can. So be sure on Christmas Eve when you snuggle into bed that you thank God for your family, because someday they'll be dead. I just realized I'm blocking this way with the table, but that's fine. People can clamber around the table, no problem. Pandy joked about food with Sir. See, Pandy's able to crack jokes that aren't just at people's expense, although Nancy was eating, so maybe it was. There we go, it was a fun Christmas, and on top of that, we've discovered an ancient complex nearby. Well, those are just going to stack up for ages, because it'll be a long time before we're really able to deal with them. But let's also ensure that we have Nancy, our new cleric. It will be successful, I should hope so. Come on, Nance, tell us what you see in our future. Your desire to serve the community? Your interest in making boots? Sorry, sir, outclasses you as an artisan. Thoughts on our new role in the community? We're still getting the same song here. 
the problem is, is we're going to elevate Nancy's uh, requirements. Her mood is going to be brought down, or rather, we're not going to enjoy so much low expectation. I think. I think it goes down by two notches, so we're only going to get a plus 12 bonus to her. But thanks to Trebliard, giving her plenty of puzzles to think about in bed, her mood isn't that much of a problem. If either of them die, though, oh, the other one's just going to snap. Also, I could probably stop fueling this thing. Let's turn that off. Although, it's also my light source. Nah, it's warm enough in here. And I don't really need light over there either. Although well, it's getting kind of bloody in, in here. It's spring! It's still minus 11 out there, but at some point I'll be able to grow crops. Nancy spoke about her shortcoming. I noticed that was a bit short, Nancy. There we go. You met your expectations became moderate because of your new position, but I think you're also happy because of your new position. No, but you're happy about a bunch of other things. Great, and that actually allows you to convert people better, faster, more aggressively. Could you start with our captive, please? Hopefully they snap while they're there. Do they celebrate Christmas where you are in Hungary? <laughs> It's Hungary, not Saudi Arabia. Yeah, strongly Christian country. Of course they do Christmas. That said, I've never spent Christmas here. Guess we'll be fixing that soon. You know, it might not be a great idea leaving Sir with that spear. Spears are still pretty good at armor penetration. I'm surrounded by these xenotypes. They don't belong here. Ah, uh, I see where you're coming from. Now this is not the not the community we're building. All right, we've got plenty of meat to tide us over. We should have hopefully a new uh, recruit and perhaps another new recruit if Sir decides to offer to join us. Although it's always possible Sir is just planning to betray us. Wouldn't be the first time. It will definitely not be the last. Also, Sir, could you please? Like, I, I have an idea. Please clean the place, right? It is filthy in here. I want my barracks to be more impressive than it is currently. How's the new run so far? Pretty good. We cleared out the ancient threat. We've had two raids, I think, and two friendlies, one of which was fed to the ancient danger. But all in all, we've actually protected ourselves pretty well. Nancy with her LMG, Pandy with his shotgun, Trebliard with spamming burden. And I guess Sir was using a, a rifle pretty well, but we're not le we're not letting temp people hold on to the good guns. That is simply asking for trouble. It has low food, but come on, this is loads of food. Even shows it there, 261 meals, that's 26 meals. A lot more when I get my paste operational, and I will. Wouldn't hurt to have a second prison bed for when Sir does turn. If Sir does turn, I don't think I'll put much effort into bringing them over. I mean, yeah, this is pretty good. But it's not immediately that helpful for the colonist. I'm not at the point where I do a lot of my own crafting. I am more steal from those that try to steal from me. And we're not at the point of doing art yet. That's when we start having flooring. Although I could art up people's bedrooms. Yeah, that's an idea. No floors, just uh, proper bedrooms with artwork is not a bad idea. What would we even make art out of? Wood seems the most plausible, but we don't have a lot of wood. And I'm having some severe difficulty getting myself enough wood. Even though there's all this wood everywhere. Come on, get to bleeding work. I suppose I have quite a few wood consumers. You consume wood, you consume wood, you consume wood. And all these traps consume wood, so that's where it's all going to. If Sir can get my stone economy operational, it starts to sound like Stronghold when I say that. And I'll be in a better place. Also, Nance just spending all her time cooking. That's what I don't like. Nancy spending so much time cooking. She could be researching. And all this gets taken away if I just use paste. And I will.
to okay, get to work, Nance. At least Treble Yard's getting better with the plants. Like I said, I want him at level 10 if I can. And he's halfway towards level 9. Yeah, 10 is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a jump. I do not think I'm going to be getting my uh, Devil Strand during this growing season. But what I can quite easily do is turn this into a very makeshift uh, greenhouse. Yeah. Steam Geyser. All this stuff. Steam Geyser keeps it warm enough, albeit not warm warm. Not the world's biggest fan of that for a number of reasons, actually. How would the room be if I didn't give it any roof at all? If it was just the steam geezer? You think it would be warm enough to have plants here? Never tried it with just that, but I would just really like to get myself some Devil Strand going. Perhaps I'm a little too greedy on the Devil Strand. It does say that about the thing itself, doesn't it? There we go. Some say it's called Devil Strand because it's red color. Others think it owes its name to the greed it inspires in people. Yeah, Nancy immediately coupled up with Trebleard. All right, we're making headway. Come on, Alexius, I saved your life out there. Also just about ended your life out there, but let's not look at that. Bandy and Treble are taking care of the woods. Nancy on the research and the cooking. And of course, seeing to Alexius. And Sir is just bumming around, really. Doing far too much hauling. He doesn't even use his inventory for hauling, that's the sad part. But that's because if he did, it would end up locked. Because of the way locked inventories work. Hey, we figured out beer. Right, where to from here? Psychic tea is very good. But perhaps I could benefit from something around here. If I had solar panels somewhere, then I could get... No, we don't, we don't need those where we're going right now, but I might need those when the next winter rolls around. Hydroponics is also a ways away. I do like getting on biofuel. Spiral top fertility procedures. Maybe I should get that. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's figure that out so we don't have to worry about uh, Nancy getting pregnant. It's going to take a lot of work. But hey, at least Nancy can learn a thing or two about herself. And maybe get that intellectual going somewhere. Funny thing is, if Sir does join, I'm pretty much casting Nancy out as our go-to intellectual. Nancy's going to become our cook and our hauler, I think. Not even our cleaner, but our hauler. Although she'll still retain position as our uh, warden. That's quite important. Can't sell if you're saying geezer is a joke or not. It's just a different regional pronunciation. I think both... No, I don't. It's a, it's a geyser. Prisoners, eh? Could you keep two prisoners for 11 days? I cannot. I don't like prisoner quests. Very often, the prisoners just... Uh, they go against you, and there's a really nasty thing where you can't target them for some reason. And then if you, if you kill one of them accidentally, you fail the whole mission. And the rest of the prisoners just bum around. So, they're very thankless. If you get a prisoner quest, best thing you can do is just chop all their legs off. You can't even automate constantly putting them under... Uh, well, putting them under under anesthetic. Another logging site. This game really wants me to grab wood around me, but... Again, I'm not in a position for caravanning. No one ever going to haul this stuff? I believe I know you're relaxing, but maybe you could go and grab all that stuff for me. I like it sitting there where bugs can spawn. Oh, nicely done. I know we should grab those now that I think about it. Same with that medicine. Hmm. 
You can try and have a zero medical pawn, try to install a cheap brain implant in them. Yeah, cheap brain implant. At what point do those ever become cheap? I do love the shotgun, but I love a chain shotgun even more. I'll just deconstruct you now. The temperature is staying at a very mild 21 degrees in here. I think even when summer hits, we're going to need the radiators. I don't think we're ever going to need coolers unless we get a rather unlikely... Uh, what, would you, what would you call it? A heat wave during summer. Sorry, as a Northern European, that took a while to clock into my head. But yeah, that could happen. And even then, I'd probably just tough it out rather than putting in some coolers. So people will get a bit sweaty indoors, so what? They should enjoy it. Ching, since we've arrived here, it's been nothing but snow, frozen bog. Nay pleasant, basically. I will miss that inspired recruitment, but again, you have no, re uh, no resistance. I'll be able to bring you over, no problem. That pessimist is a pain, but I think we can deal with it. Go on, Nancy, get your recruitment drive going. Did that even work? I think they fell asleep before you finished trying to convert them. Oddly enough, they're actually gaining certainty in their own uh, in their own thing due to mood. God, how they're managing that though, I don't know. Their mood's ten. You'd think this would be collapsing. Stick a joywire in there. The problem with joywire is that joywire is permanent. Scary thought. Sir goes all the way out there just to grab one item. Good job. Good job, sir. Do I want more marble? How am I doing on marble? 268. The marble costs set up quickly, but where do we have more marble? marble chunks. Rather than move this, I think I will add granite to the mix, and then I'll chop these all up. It's been above 37 in Houston for the past two weeks. I'd love some of this cold air. Wow. Not sure if I've ever even experienced that before. Uh, no, I've been in Florida at 110, I guess. competition. I'm trying to acclimatize to hotter weather now that I've moved here to Hungary. I can actually sleep in relatively warm weather these days, which is unusual for me. Sleeping in the heat is horrible, but I kind of have to get used to it here. It's, it's too much of a strain on my food. I really want to expand out my my colony here. Ooh, this mud is a problem. Can't go all the way down there. It's alright though, I didn't want to infringe on this anyway, but still. This is going to come down like so. Something like that. 43 times 5. I have enough marble blocks for that, which is rather nice. I prefer to have steel doors on my outside though. feels odd when I put the doors there. Get that fixed up. Still want to keep some of this because I need uh, the column still or else all the, all the roof will fall in on me. And I think what I could actually have is the door there instead. And when I delete that, I'll be away in and out there. It's a very large inner area. I know, I know, he's sticking with the barracks. Give your people bedrooms. Well, we have more pressing issues right now. The safety of my colonists is my top concern, not how nice their bedrooms are. I don't believe in double thick walls, it takes up too much space.
I looked up because I was curious. You can grow crops in an ice sheet with a geezer. Fairly comfortable greenhouse between... Da -da 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 -da. Hmm. It's a shame it's not on the good soil, but yeah, I guess I could grow Devil Strand here. But... I would really want this thing for power, wouldn't I? Yeah, it's a lot of power just sitting there for free for me. Hopefully I'm not getting attacked while I build all this up, because now my traps are not in a good position. Uh, they will be. Also, wow, that really backed us a lot of wood. Excellent. Just what I was hoping for. Even if you put the generator over the geyser, it still heats the room quite well. Yeah, it wasn't doing too much in our previous run. But it was there to take the edge off, I'd say. Stop it getting so cold that the plants freeze, at least. Check that food just disappears, Nance. And yeah, really disappears. We're almost out of it over there as well. What do we even hunt? There are the boars still sitting there with loads of food on them. Has a muffalo detached itself from the group? Or do we feel like fighting all these muffaloes? I'll tell you, I do not. Also, it's pretty useful being there because I could enrage the whole herd if um, if a large attack wave comes in that I really cannot deal with. Could happen. For me, getting an attack wave I can't deal with is almost unthinkable, but. Archive. Again, see? What a waste of a mission. I'm not interested in any of these gene things, but I can't pull them out of the game. If you know of a way to just pull all of that gene crap out of the game, nothing else, just none of the none of the gene items. I don't want them. I don't want to play with them, and I don't want them clogging up my reward queue. Please let me know. Although this game has tons of mods, I actually find it quite mod unfriendly. Maybe I just haven't figured it out properly, but I tried looking into it and... It was, uh, nothing obvious. I like modding a Paradox game. But then again, kind of spoilt when it comes to Paradox modding. Just not use the DLC. Well, there's the problem. That removes a lot of other things. I do want, uh... Truth be told, I don't know what was DLC and what was just with a patch. The old Paradox trick right there. Anyway, I don't want to disable that. I do quite like seeing the different kinds of enemies using those different... Ooh, you can actually build over chopped stuff. That just gets rid of it without needing to chop, and that's cool. Yeah, I like seeing Neanderthals and imps and whatnot come my way. You know, all getting shredded by Pandy's shotgun of justice. Wasn't there an option to tell the factional kind of rewards you prefer? It's just to tell them not to give you honor or... What's the other one? Goodwill. Goodwill is pathetic as a reward. For one, it degrades. For two, it usually gives you a tiny amount. Okay, fortunately we only have one moment. That's Nancy, and she's so happy I doubt she's going to care about one little psychic drill. Oh no, 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 Nancy, now is not the time! Ah. You were meant to be stopping this, Nance. This calls for a termination. Trebliard, you created that spawn. Now you will get rid of that spawn. Nancy, it's too dark over there. Do you think you could migrate over here, please? Do this while she sleeps so she can sleep off the... Do they anesthetic you for an abortion? Seems kind of over the top. If we get a little lucky, Shubiard is going to slip and sever something that shouldn't be severed down there. And then Nancy's multi-pack of eggs turns into just a whole lot of cracked and broken shells. Well, it had to be done, didn't it? Nancy, there's your bed. Tribbliard, go and uh, 
take your unconscious uh, ride to V to bed. Yeah, I'd be surprised if Nancy's thrilled about that. She doesn't care! <laughs> oh, that's good. Hey, that reminds me, one of the people that were invading me were pregnant. How's that working out for them? Well, it's still in there. Well, kind of sitting around out there like a very frozen Kinder Egg surprise. That even gave a bonus of five, what, because she no longer has uh, moody pregnancy problems. Oh, wait, what? I'm relieved! Wow, is that because they're not trying for a baby? Jeez. Who'd want to raise a child in this environment? Too many people. She's even unconscious. She is happy. Happy with that baby being gone. Okay, making progress on you. And I feel pretty good since we've beaten back a few attacks. Maybe not, maybe Randy's just going to take it a bit easy. I'm in five on us pretty early. If I hadn't had my traps up, we would have been in a lot of hot water. Mm, already looking forward to this gratefully expanded uh, place here. I would actually quite like my pillars to be made of marble if possible. Oh, pillar? What would you call it? Um, column, of course. Column, marble column. I just shove that. One there and one there. Just to stop the roof coming down. It's probably more than necessary, but I like stony ones rather than steel ones because steel melts. Boy, does it melt. That might even replace you or you with marble one and then get rid of the steel one. Alright, Nancy. Equip your LMG and then do whatever. You might be wandering around in a daze a bit, having lost your baby. Christ, what kind of offspring would Nancy Drew have? Relieved at how simple this puzzle was to solve. It's okay, it was on Junior Detective. Now the puzzle of where we get more food is a bit more pressing, Nance. I suppose I have a lot of guns these days, don't I? Maybe Pandy and Nancy and maybe even Sir. Could grab their guns and go hunting for us, but I want Pandy to keep building. Alright, tell you what, sir, grab your assault rifle. Nance, yeah, Pandy, your shotgun's really good for this. The two of you just go and hunt us some game. Plus, this thing almost never misses close up. Bang, dead. Bang, missed. Whoa, okay. You hit the tusk. Tusks don't bleed. That's gonna bleed. Oh. Do tusks even have pain? I mean... I guess they're full of blood, aren't they? There's no meat left on you. You're not really worth keeping, are you? Well, there's some. That'll do it. You're just going to bleed inside this place that I need to clean, aren't you? Yeah, this, in my opinion, is so much better than hunting as a job. Hunting has a lot of back and forth. I feel bad that to make that wee noise. Your hoof has been shot off, but not bleeding. Yeah. How do I play murder bingo? I've got a bingo card. Has anyone died yet? You can chalk off anybody who gets recruited or dies. As long as they're one of our custom characters. 
course, none of them have appeared yet, but we're not at the point where we have the big invasions yet. We'll get there. Why will we get there? That's so much faster. Aren't you already dying? No. Well, <laughs> certainly not now. Take out the raccoon as well. What about the bear? It's a shame we don't have our burdening trebliard here, but... You know what, maybe we'll take out the bear, actually. That'll, that'll deal with our food needs for some time. Plus I can lure the bear back to where I want to be. As long as it doesn't just scatter. Come on, bear. Come on, I actually want it to come here. Oh, life, sir. I suppose you aren't a great shot. Actually, it's already dead. Let's go get back to taking care of other things. Numbers, animal corpses. I don't really care about a rat or that old stinky cat or that. You can stay there. But hopefully we can go and grab those and Nancy Drew can carve them up and we'll have more meat for a wee while. Yeah, that, that murder bingo card you have is going to be relevant for a long time in this run, provided the run itself goes on for a long time. That thing isn't even going to die. Come on. Uh, also, don't, don't damage my marble walls. I like those. these things out as well, huh? Can I make much sense? Yes. Ah, no, no it's not. why I have so much problem visualizing where these things are meant to go, but somehow the spacing always throws me. Now that should be there and there, not there. It's still throwing me. Maybe that's a bit better. Hmm. I don't particularly want to concrete that up. This stuff I don't mind so much. I'm gonna want to use this when it's growing season after all. There, so much work to do and only four hands to do it. And to think one of them is temporary and one of them's asleep. Hey, I'm on my own bingo card. Nice, it's a good sign, isn't it? Your death could be very good for you. Go, Nance, get us that food rolling. We're all very hungry all the time for some reason. And you're very slow. You're probably still a bit woozy from the whole pregnancy thing, right? Yeah. It's all right, you'll get there. And also, if you could kindly convert our friend very quickly, I would appreciate that as well. Infestation. Four hives. Oh, no, it's charity. Uh... Ah, they're a filthy freaking pig skin. Um, um, I haven't moved my traps yet. 
But I haven't sealed this off either. Oh, I want you. Four hives is quite a lot. I know one only has a three star quest. I don't want you. Can you start a fire in the ancient danger before you accept and seal it off? Yeah, they would almost certainly spawn here. I don't have a way to start a fire though. I don't have molotovs or a fire launcher. blow something up in there like a generator but that's that's going a bit much mm -hmm. now there's a lot of reasons that I should definitely not take this quest it's quite suicidal and it offers me nothing someone that I don't want yeah no no way no way however if I took pods and bugs I would have two troopers under my control But what if it just overlaps and I end up with six hives? Why, that would be bad. We learned from Suicidal Quest last time what they pay off most of the time. So that's one of the lessons I was getting out of it. What if you recruit him but he accidentally gets locked outside while you prepare defenses? They still, they still come, even if I throw that guy away or kill him or whatever. I might just have to tank the opinion penalty, or the mood penalty, from not helping him. Because helping him is a very bad idea. And the reward's just non-existent. Yay, a pigskin joins me. Such filth. By the way, I couldn't help but notice that we could really do with some lamps. I've got a wall lamp over here. And while we're at it... I don't want to pull power conduit down here, but I guess I will. <laughs> nice good one, Nancy. I've never been under, been under anesthetic, but it strikes me as weird that it would make you vomit. There we go. Good job, Nancy. Triple Yard is getting there. Like I said, at level 10. Devil Strand is back on the menu. The Pulsar would not make bugs and animals fight. You'd need something like Berserk. Yeah, you'd need Berserk for that. I don't have Berserk. Not at all. The bugs just be extra base defense. They're so fickle on how much they like to aggro you. Real fickle. Begins in 18 hours. Does give me a bit of time to prepare. This is only two highs, but if I take care of this, the troopers will bugger off. the highs are going to reproduce and reproduce and no, no, no. It's suicide. Absolutely suicide. There's no point in taking that. This is absolutely worth taking, though. Mm, two troopers for free. You can have them go out and hunt when they're not doing anything else. Oh no, charity refused. Well, at least Alexios and Sir won't care, right? Oh yeah, they, they don't give a hoot. Not the slightest of hoots. The rest of us care a lot, though. Charity is essential. We've deeply violated those beliefs. Well, fortunately, these two can just keep um, plowing away at each other to get rid of the downsides of that. This is lit now, so it shouldn't be a problem in them doing surgery on each other. Although I don't like Pandy's position. I want Pandy in a lit place. Yeah, I can deal with that later. For now, I just want to expand my base. Ooh, do I have marble for this? I have 28 blocks. What's the holder? There's 20 and there's 5. That should be everything. And then I'm out of marble, but that's okay. 
Weird placement of that door. It won't be weird once this wall gets taken care of, and this wall will be removed. Only once I've got my... Uh, my columns in place, though. There we go. Get those out. Those are what I really want out there. Uh, you know what? I could deconstruct some... Oh, no, since that other thing isn't there. Why is this being taking so long to be built? Come on. I need this sealed off. Oh, yeah, this as well. Yeah, once you're done with that, get uh, get converting. There we go, we've almost got them. Not only do we get them, we get them in their pretty nice gear. Flak pants, flak armor, synth thread button-down shirt. But mm mm mm, plus 14 shooting. Probably give them the assault rifle, they'll be excellent with it. Is Sir betraying me? Because Sir hasn't offered to join. I'm not sure if joining and betraying are mutually exclusive, but... No, no, we've been offered to join plenty by people that end up betraying us. Anyway, what's his game is what I'm getting at. Since all this other stuff is in, let's start deleting this. Problem is with building this, look. Then I got the weird free-floating wood-fired generator, but that's just part of the part of the course. The home zone shall be ever extended, and especially the cleaning zone. I don't know if it's worth having your cleaning zone include your walls and your doors, but I'll add it anyway. Andy, stop sleeping. I need you to get this work done. I can pretty happily speed up for a lot of this now. offer to join me, sir. Well, actually, do I really want him? He's got some great stuff going on. But only masochist. It's that crafting intellectual that appeals to me, but having to convert him does not. But conversion can be done through a ritual. And since Nancy's really good at talking, it's a lot more likely to go better than, say, Super Pie's rituals of the past. Why does it just keep wanting to give me more bugs? The garbage crew is facing repeated invasions at sites near Castle Malloy. Please take these high- No! Stop sending me bugs! There's one bug quest I'm somewhat interested in, because at least I get troopers for it. Yeah, Rusty. I specifically went in to edit Rusty Shackleford back in as the garbage crew leader. Fortunately, as with many things, there's a mod for it. See this little FC down here? That can be used to edit all of these, so I was able to get the original names back. So when it regenerated the world, it didn't give me the same things as these. I think it's because maybe the mods changed some of the checks I'm used for, um, for creating them. I don't know, but that's what I assume. Right now I can run Power Conduit along this quite safely. Their base is almost entirely not going to be burned down from the outside. The inside is a very different matter. It's also surprisingly warm inside here. I did not imagine that two uh, heaters would work through this. And I still don't think they will. I'm certain we're missing something, but I'll take it for now. It's very dark in here. I wish we had a better idea of just how much light we get out of these sunlights. 
and a visual indicator, would that be too much to ask? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Hopefully that'll light most of this up. Probably extend this down, move these away. Yeah, it keeps things lit enough. Ugly to look at, but that's alright. A few ugly things here and there won't screw the poop. Oh, I keep my steel inside. I keep the steel outside. It doesn't go off to weather elements or anything of the like. No, Alexius, no! Well, now is not the time to go raging. Oh, and I don't have a way to stop you from raging, do I? Oh man, this would be a bad time for you to... Um... Oh, I should have stripped you, actually. That flat stuff's going to make you harder to deal with. Hey, sir, you want to, like, beat them up? Drop that, drop that spear for one. I'm just going to smack them to death. Nancy, you could also melee them down. Get them shoved into their corner for a bit. Just don't let them break that door, alright? Go here and just smack them. Physically smacking them with guns shouldn't kill them, but it should certainly... Uh... Oh god, sir, is not doing well in this fight. Also, Nancy appears unable to hit you. I mean, we could hold this open and take a step back then. Please do not fire at William. God, sir, is on his way down. Pandy, might need your help here. You know, we have three melee skill. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is becoming a problem, isn't it? I bring him all the way out. No, 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 we're not doing we're not doing it that way, Pandy. We're not doing it that way at all. Alright, everyone, just melee attack them down. Try not to break anything too much. I, I do want them in one piece. Hey, there we go. You crushed their eye. That brought their nasty rage to an end. There we go. I'll have them next time. And I'll get you next time, gadget. Bebliard, that's your cue to call, you know? Wanna you want to tend to them? Don't let Nancy tend to them. Yeah, Nancy with a pocket sand, I did notice that. They had the uh, dirt in their eyes, and we just grabbed it from the ground as well. Now I'll just patch this with my bare hands. We'll get you converted real soon, and then you'll be joining us, and you'll be happy to join us. Sir is probably not very happy about this. Oh yeah, and Sir's not getting the good stuff. Well, it'd be funny if Sir decides to start betraying me now, kind of like that other almost dead group did before. Now, that, that tickled me pink. Ooh, that bio-coded revolver is just going to get in everyone's way. Just chuck it outside, actually. Strip now? No, I'm not going to strip now. I should have stripped long ago, but... They're, all, they're certainly not going to rage against me again, at least not before I get them converted and uh, brought over to my cause. But situations like that can be dangerous because the, the, the prisoner can just die, especially if you have death on down to on, which is on by default, uh, 100%, and it's really stupid. I don't like it. I can see it from a balanced perspective, but I certainly don't like it. So this is now a mediocre barracks? I don't think so. Let's let's have quite a bit more daylilies. They are free and they make this place wonderful. By the way, would you mind pick that up? Pick that up and just drop it outside. I don't want to see it again. Hey, Treble Yards. Choosing a great time to become great at medical. Now, please tend to serve. There we go. 
Yeah, you can smelt down biocode and stuff like that, but I don't have the spare energy to be running a smelting operation. And it takes a lot of time to smelt weapons, a frustratingly long time. Uh, you almost lost your nose through all that. Losing a nose makes somebody very uh, unpleasant to look at. By the way, Jake, I just looked at it. Modding the gene packs out of the reward pool should be pretty simple. Want me to throw it together? I would love that, lols, Bella. But there's also the kind of teach a man to fish thing. I'd love to know how to handle something like that. Is there like a mod a mod pack that has like all these exposed XMLs of the game that are easy to mod? Or at least make more sense to mod? Alright, we've almost got you. A couple of days and Alexius will be ours. And Sir is really happy. God knows what oh masochist. Ouch, I think something's broken. What an exquisite feeling. I can kind of relate. I had dentistry done with no anesthetic. Um, not even local. And it was something... Oh, God, no. Nancy's finally had it with pandies egging on. And they're going at it. And now is not a good time for this. Well, when is ever a good time? I suppose all things considered, this is a good time. Pandy is getting his ass handed to him by the senior detective. Absolutely... Clobbered by Miss Drew. Not even Carson's going to defend you in court from this beatdown, Pandy. But we don't rip her ear off. We like the ears. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'll sort you out. No medicine for either of you, though. Nancy, you should have known better. Triple that's just not getting much of a break today. Ah... Ah, uh, okay, it really was a bad time then. Really was a bad, bad, bad time to be in severe pain, severe pain, severe pain, and have this coming our way. I have a solution to this, I just don't want to use it. I think I'll call them bugs and troopers in for this. There's not that many of them, they could fall to our traps, but we're in just such a bad state for this. But if I call in the Muffalo Brigade, they're gonna trigger all my traps. Got any other uh, animals around here, by the way? We're also going to be stuck indoors for a while if we do that, because those animals are going to be uh, off their trotters. It's a dangerous solution, and I don't like using it. But yeah, we're we're really weak, weakened by this. By the way, who is fighting us here? Tell us about yourselves. All regulars, they're not uh, not members of the community that we've added in. I don't know of a way to increase the odds of that, by the way. Just the more of them, the more likely they are to appear. Are any of you... Well, it's not really worth thinking about whether or not I can have them. I need to think about how we survive this. And I was just thinking, you know, Randy's already sent a couple of raids. Surely he'll take a moment, but no. Every time Jake says generic villain lines, Grandy cracks his knuckles. Yeah, I did test the character inserts, don't you worry, girly. Hmm, well, we're certainly not in a position to fight back against this. That much is a given. But our friends are. A windfall of meat. All right. Well, I don't have much. Don't have many other options. Cancel all doors. Restrict everybody to inside here. And activate that pulsing. 
That's going to make every animal go absolutely ballistic. But they shouldn't know we're in here. So instead they're going to fight our friends. Also, I got no food, so this is kind of a crummy place to be for this. Oh, I would like pretty much anything other than this, because this is overkill. I'm not sure I'd want the bugs, though. <laughs> uh, I don't think the bugs would arrive in good time here, and also they'd spawn there, which is very inconvenient for me. Nope. Mother Nature, do your thing. Now, as long as we stay in here, these animals won't even know we're in here. But this is what I don't like there, triggering my traps. But, keeps us safe from this. On top of that, I believe, yeah, by luck, Nancy still had 40 bits of pork here. So we can actually turn that into a proper meal. Nancy doesn't feel so good, but hey, I'm sure Trebliard will tend to his wife-to-be, and that'll be fine. This is going to waste so many of my traps, but at least it wastes the garbage crew. Not my problem. Yeah, get the hell out of here. Oh, damn. Two of them get to escape. That's not good. Lynx, get it. Get it. No. Damn you, John. Jealous fast walker that you are. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so part of the problem is these mad lads are still going to be wandering around for... About a day or two, and we're stuck inside here. On the plus side, once all's said and done, I'm going to be able to go out and get a lot of meat at the cost of all my traps. So I should keep our people busy, but honestly, are you, have you tended to your wife? This isn't all that bad, because this is quite good in a way. It's too dark over there. Pandy, could you move your bed over there, maybe? Still dark. We don't get the benefit from this, but actually, if I move this over here, and I just said, yes, yeah, screw the rest of you, I'm moving this here. And I just straight up tell Pandy that his bed is now here. And Pandy can still have that. Eh, not ideal, but basically, Pandy, get yourself to bed. So, yeah, this is one of those last-ditch protect-yourself things. Just let the animals do it. Wouldn't have had this option if I hadn't grabbed the Pulsar. Anything that hits a trap is already dead, at least. And it's still cold out there, so the bodies will remain refrigerated. I'm not going to lose them just by leaving them out there for a few days. Nancy's going to have a lot of work to do. And I am going to have to turn this into a proper chiller, rather than... Just a room. Glad I got all this wooden side here already. <laughs> Imagine if Sir turns on us now and opens the door. <laughs> that's not funny, that's terrifying. Yeah, it is a lot of meat and textiles, and I do look forward to grabbing it. Could you please, please look after our crew? With your crummy tending and no medicine. But yeah, everything's after you out there. Some of the animals hit harder than others, but in the end, this is a swarm. And yeah, goodbye my traps. Once we are uh, not quite... Oh boy! Oh, you, you could not have timed this much worse, Bolt Trader. Annoyingly, uh, hostile animals won't take out their pack animals, but there's always the chance that a crossfire occurs and one of these guys shoots their own pack animals dead. A clean shot through the heart or the head could work wonders for me. But this is also actually quite good. They are going to hurt the animals, thereby meaning I have to spend less time curled up here like a coward. I say like a coward, not cowardly. I'm not interested in cows because I can't handle the cold very well. They're only good at minus 10. They're better than yaks, but given temperature situation, I want yaks. Also, 
but let's uh, perhaps get you a meditation spot. Don't know what you're going to meditate to around here. The fire, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Go and meditate to that. Meditate on it, I believe, is one of the songs. All right. Come on. Do me a favor. Kill all these animals around me and maybe kill yourselves in the process. Is it not showing Man Madden or Manhunter? Mental state. There we go. If they're not maddened, it's safe. I need almost all of this to not say maddened. A few errant squirrels and rats aren't going to be a big problem, but that's still a few scratches that I'd rather not have. Actually, these traders might be able to clear the last of them if they fight well enough. I hope none of them brought fire launchers. Yeah, amazingly not. Outlanders are really annoying in that often they join a fight and say, Hey, I brought my Molotovs with me. I'm sure I'll take care of those fireproof robots with it. Damn, every single... Oh, no, no. One, one trap survived. I'd be making spare traps inside here, but everyone's too injured from having beaten each other up. Not even a raid, just... People, not even from anger, just beating each other up. Because they clearly lacked enough sport. This does not look like it's going to cross fire into their own muffalos, and the muffalos look like they're fleeing. Oh, bits of bad news. But I mean, that's very unlikely. How, how often have you seen crossfire hit a trader's animal? Not your own one, of course. Still, gives me a healthy amount of walking fur. Refrigerated, so I'll take a while to spoil. And there goes my last trap. The muffalos are the big threat. Those are similarly threatening. There goes the last of our food. I made a mistake with turkeys on the cold map. They sit inside for three quarters of the year. Yeah, if I'm playing on a hot or a cold map, I do pay attention to what kind of animals I bring with me. Whoa, nice! I don't think I don't think the squirrel was toting that auto pistol there, Pam. By the way, who are these people? Ah, they're all vanillas. <laughs> Poor freaking Pam! Oh no 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 no! Don't open the door, you idiots! Right, well, you know what, while they're there, at least you could, uh... At least you could go and trade with them. What do you mean, no path? They're standing right there. Oh, trade. It's that weird thing with someone standing in a door. Anyway, with all these folks around, I'm pretty sure that the animal threat is largely taken care of. But we're not about to just wander around. Nancy, God's sake, go and trade with him. What the? What kind of speed was that? Are you a Janissary? You're a Hussar. You are incredibly fast and scary. Still gonna trade with you if I can, though. Right, Nancy gets a 17% negotiation bonus. That, in a way, makes Nancy worth having regardless of most other things, because that's 17% extra wealth she's giving us. And it's not even wealth that counts against us like most bad things. Right, I do want Neutramane. I'm aware that I don't have much wealth to spend here, but I could give you light leather and pig skin. And I'm, I'm about to get a lot of textiles, so there's no problem selling off this stuff. Even the bear skin. Um... I don't really want to sell this thing. Wait, item price sell multiplier? I guess I'll just apply this thing rather than sell it then. Keeping that pulsar. That's a get out of jail free card right there. I can sell all these crummy clothes I never wanted. The sashes, the crap tribal wear. Even that poor plain leather jacket. That cloth park is not too bad, but I'll still get rid of it. On that neutral main. Normal tribal wear, sheep tribal wear. 
Light Leather Park is quite good, but hey, I want stuff. I have gold? Oh yeah, one of the Cryo Sleep people dropped gold. Also, I wanted that Barco on someone. Still, that's quite nice. I'll take your silver, I'll take your Nutrimen. <laughs> They're not willing to buy uh, our prisoner. Could buy a rooster and a hen, but no thank you. I'll get rid of that war with meat, it's just taking up space. Hmm, is going Mechanator early an option, perhaps, since it scales with wealth, as you saw in the last run? Uh, oh yeah, grabbing that thing early so it's not a death sentence might be an idea. Because it'll spawn the quest, won't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's spawn that quest before the before everything gets out of hand for it. All right, give me that Nutramane. I love Nutramane. I love being able to make medicine. I'll grow my own cloth. Thank you very much. Job well, Nancy, now get back inside. <laughs> Sorry, Tron, but I'm glad you guys are dead. And with all that, uh, because most of the wildlife is dead. Oh, sweet. Right, they're not even manhunting anymore. All right, everyone, we're unrestricted now. All doors are a-okay. I still want this to be a cooler, though. Can I... I think the best way about this. I guess I'll drag just a simple conduit over to it. And then shove in temperature over wall, cooler. Wait, how wide does it go? Ah, for double walls. Cool, but not what I do. Over wall, cooler, making this place cold as ice. There we go. Now we're still horribly maimed, but at least we'll get less maimed as time goes on. And we've got all these delectable animals. So we can go numbers, animal corpses, and say as long as they are nearby, they are not forbidden. If they die inside my home area, they won't be forbidden. Oh god, I want that grizzly bear. Even though he's relatively far. I'm not sure I care about these poor suckers. They got some nice parkas and stuff. I could actually strip them and sell them pretty quickly. Hey, Trebolar, that's your job. Strip, strip, and strip. Amazingly, these guys are hanging around despite all that, but if some of them start dropping from their injuries, then they are probably going to bail. I don't even want this stuff. I'm just going to sell it, although... Nah, it's pigskin pants and it's poor. Not even sure I want that poor machine pistol. Uh, drop it. I oh, said you could have that, Treble Ard. Actually, Treble Ard, how about for a bit of a mood boost you go and club scald to death? It'll make you feel like the big man. Yeah, yeah, destroy his legs and work your way up. Whatever makes you happy. There we go, good lad. Nancy, are you still close to our trader friends? Who was the really quick one that just jumped around. There there they are. Once you're done with that, please trade with sale. And I will zone this as home so that he thinks these are my goodies and will uh, give me a fair price for them. The wealth is going up way too high. Not liking it. Not liking it at all. However, it's time to get sowing. Uh, our seeds, that is. Bring in these bugs. I mean, we're already in a pretty grim, beaten up situation. Doubler got back to sleep already. I would like those fine meals indoors, please. I don't want people grabbing those away from me. Right, so what did we grab? Shirt, pants, other stuff. Just liquidating it down. Yeah, some of it's worth some reasonable money as well. Still want to keep that nice parka though. I'll take your silver. Who knows, maybe someone will get captured and I'll be really wishing that I had. Um, 
really going to be wishing that I had the silver to buy them back with. Alright, there you go. And perhaps also we could apply the tech print while we're here. I do want my traps back, that's actually a pretty big priority, even though Pandy is not in a great position to be manipulating. How are you feeling, Nancy? Because I need you to chop up the bodies. Okay, good. You didn't really get hurt much. Not in the bits that matter, at least, so you can go and deal with that. And we got rid of that tech print, which should lower our wealth considerably, at least items-wise, I think. And I want a lot of these animals butchered, Nancy. They're sitting around just asking to be killed. No, Tony is not an animal. Trigger happy, nimble, not too bad. I suppose there is something to be said for bringing in the bugs while these people are here, isn't there? Ah, screw it. What's the worst thing that can happen with this infestation? We all die. We're not going to die at two hives. However, I don't know when these things come. <laughs> I am thinking about it. Alright, who's our noble again? It's Tribliard, right? Yeah. Yeah, on you come, Tribliard. Here come our super troopers, squashing on waters. These guys don't work, right? Well, I'll be, they do work. Oh, well, you guys are, unlike all of my other team, not half dead. And, uh, bio-coded guns, not bio-coded flak, though. It's alright. Rebuilding, uh, refueling campfire. Well, that's pretty cool. They'll come and do Minal work for me. So, yeah, I absolutely don't mind you capping out on those, but do you have any particular skills that I can put to use? Mm, not really. All the more reason that I would want you guys to just kind of haul and clean, even though you're not great for hauling. Actually, hauling is pretty good, because right now I've got a lot of corpses that I need hauling, so yeah, I do want them to do that. Oh god, everyone's coming here! We've got Ergos coming along as well. Who are our, who are our friends here? All vanillas from Ergo, and the, um, the Empire guys are always vanilla. But yeah, as expected, the hives are pretty much always going to spawn here. I could wall it off, or I could just accept that there be hives in there. It's actually not too bad. They're immediately going to start um, mining this out for me. <laughs> Recruitment on Nancy again. She's always so happy. I don't know why I was scared. Look at that tiny bunch. Oh boy. Oh, they're going straight in. Yes. Yes. Don't shoot sail. It was never a problem. It's just timing. The whole game is just timing. You are always presented the solutions to your own problems. Nancy, why can't you learn this? You know, all things considered, I think I want you guys on hunting. Not that it matters that much. This mission's going to be over in no time. Actually, I think it's only going to be over when I destroy the hives, so I think I can keep pajamas and Tiberios for as long as I want. As long as we periodically take care of whatever pops out of here. And I think I'll actually hold on to them. Very useful, uh, until they start dying due to lack of... Uh, lack of their drugs, right? One's a Hussar, so he's got a dependency on Gojuice, and I obviously don't have any. 
Oh, no, no, these guys are now taking them out. Oh, don't do that. Oh, they can't see this other one, so it should be fine. Sweet. Well, I got myself a couple of well-armed, good-at-fighting um, cleaners and haulers. Nance, I'm seeing a lot of you not carving up these dead things. And I know you're fine, so get up and get butchering, please. Good lord, I'm glad I expanded the base. Imagine being stuck in our tiny initial arrangement with all this going on. Eight two. I do, on the other hand, really want this thing patched up. Pandy, do you think you could work on the cooler instead? I will disable these and these so you don't work on them, and instead get to work on the important stuff. Ah, this is nice. Just so good to see some actual work getting done. Three components for a cooler? Jesus. I'm glad I have components, but I don't have that many. I'm down to four. And I'll be down to one when that's gone. allowed us a lot of corpses to drag here and a lot of hauling to be done my friends. Again, these guys are pretty crap at hauling. Treebeard, you go and deal with it. Clean this place up otherwise it's just gonna mess up a lot of other people's work. And let's set this down to freezing cold, but only barely so we don't waste too much power. And good, I think that does count. Yeah, it counts as connected. You can see the wire there. I've got to hand it to these traders, they're doing a great job for me. Maybe I can sell them more of this fur and stuff, get some silver instead. And there's our ship to the stars. We're going to build our own one, we're not going to go to the one that's on the map. Still very worried about Sir. He's not offered to join me, but he hasn't betrayed me either. I suppose if he does betray me, he's got two very angry troopers who can tear him a new one. Also some ABC. Wait, did these guys even have components? I can mine more out, but yeah, maybe getting some trading done while the going is good is a better idea. ABC stands for always buy components. It's not a universal truth, but it's frequent enough to... Wow, they have a lot of them. Alright, I would, I would like, you know, most of those. Maybe I can settle for 20 if I can give you my light leather, plain leather, blue fur... I want to give you the wolf skin. Maybe the muffalo wool if you want. Oh, I can give you it all, but I'm... Now we're getting a bit more textiles. Why don't I just do that? Well worth it for 20 components. Furs for components. A good trade. And yeah, look at, look at all this other stuff I've still got to get. Actually, didn't I grab way too much meat? It's kind of filling up everything. How about we also give you the odds and ends? I don't like having little errant amounts of meat. It just causes a lot of back and forth work. So I'm going to... Ditch that, for example. I need some things in here to collect the meat in, but I don't want them to burn. Well, I don't want them to be burnable is what I'm getting at. We have granite. Granite doesn't burn. And that's about it. So, the uh, problem with granite ones is they take an Aeon to make. No, I'm going to stick with wood for now. Storage, food basket, wood basket... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two. Yeah, I suppose I didn't lay this out very well, did I? Not at all. Well, whatever. One, two, three will do us fine for now. And your contents are for me. All raw meat. 
I don't think I care about anything else. The crops are fine to keep at room temperature. Insect jelly doesn't go off. I don't get milk. Yeah, meat. Ew. Yeah, it is quite interesting that those hussars work. Normally when you get armed, uh, armed company, they do not work at all. Chemical interest, misogynist. Chemical interest is going to get in the way of your religion, but I suppose that's your problem, not mine. I think I also want to store my good. Oh, crumbs, I didn't mean to do that. Well, that's okay. The only thing that was on was meat, I think, but I specifically wanted to store any... Fine meals, lavish meals, and other sorts. Yeah, store the fine meals in there, otherwise they're just going to go off sitting here. I like to keep fine meals as a backup for people who are unhappy. They eat because they're unhappy, and they're unhappy because they eat. Alright, you guys are on uh, nothing, right? Maybe I should stop having nothing as my default. But I'd like paste to be my default. Anyway, uh, for you nothing guys... Packaged meals. I know you guys only have, well, you have packaged meals on you. So eat the meals that you have on you. Hopefully they actually do that. I don't know if they will or won't. Namby Pamby Drew, could we... Okay, no, we can't get them yet, but we will. <laughs> Describing Hussar as chemically interested is like referring to a diabetic as insulin interested. Oh no, in this case, this particular Hussar wants to take everything they can get. Come on, Nancy, there's so much more cooking to be done. Not that kind of cooking. Uh, I'd rather you just butchered all this stuff for now. But I'd also rather that Pandy got on with fixing this stuff. And I guess we'll have to get rid of this campfire now. It's only 16 degrees inside, but I think that's warm enough. Besides, it's going to get warmer outside. Oh, it's got... It's hard snow, actually. That's not good news. At least I didn't start sowing the uh, seeds yet. Treblard, how's it looking for Devil Strand this season? Not good. Oh, yeah, they're absolutely addicted to Devil Strand. Right, this, this caravan did so much for me. An unreasonable amount for me. I'm actually going to harvest these bugs, because I will want their bug meat as well. Bug meat can be used to make mystery meals. Uh, tell me, do either of my friends here actually do cooking? Level 3 and not level 3. Okay. I should definitely give these people some recreation to- Whoa! Oh no! No! They're gone already! How could it be? You were meant to help me. Deliver me from myself. Did the hive just kill its- Oh, these guys went and killed the hive. Ah. Dare they. Oh, that's why it's so cold near. This door's been kept open. Nancy, could you kindly take care of that? I don't want pestilence coming in and eating my extremely expensive jelly. Yeah, I can't believe how much these people have done for me. And they... They paid for it. There's half of Chefron right there. <laughs> Rolling his way out. Cholaki here, if they weren't such a wimp, they'd get back up. Wimps have very low pain threshold, but I think you're going to get up shortly. You're not going to bleed out from that. It takes so long to cook. It would take less time if I had a proper cooking setup, though. So what I could do is put an electric stove down, although I do lack the steel for it. Where did my steel go? Hmm. Divine boggles. Anyway, what I could do is set you up there. 
don't particularly want to, considering I want to move over to paste pretty soon. I can actually set up my pasty uh, dispenser out here. But again, that needs a lot of steel, which I don't have. So someone's going to be forced to go out there and mine me out some steel. It's Pandy who's already got his hands full. Oh man. As soon as you enter the electric era, there's always so much to be done. I have to think everyone's beaten up from beating each other up. Come on, lads. Nancy shared views on religion with Sir. Yeah, they don't bother saving their own people. What about those pods, by the way? Oh, that's just a crappy gene pack. That gene pack's going to degrade, by the way. Yeah, not in a gene bank. It'll be gone in 20 days. But I should get a trader between now and then. And it's nice and cold in there, so at least we can keep our meat from spoiling, he says, as it's currently outside and spoiling. Trebliard, I want you to take care of that, please. Slightly more important than whatever else you're doing. And Sir, it's actually a good use of time for Sir to bring me all those bugs. Nancy's going to have her hand full dealing with that. Nancy, if you could also please haul while we're at it. Stop this stuff from going off out there. So in a way, that was a pretty big windfall. That was a lot of animals we were able to carve up. The skins that we got off them, we were able to use to buy components. Uh, it took care of a mission, it got some extra honor. All in all, really good. And, and, and it looked pretty bad, right? If you don't tap into that old thinker in your noggin, you are gonna succumb to these situations, but not the Nancy Drew crew. Andy, if you please. And once you're done with that, there's a bunch of hauling to be done. Now if we get this cleaned up, we should be A-OK. -okay. Our goods are going to be kept good. Nobody has to die. Not worried for even a second, says Young, correctly. There's nothing to worry about, you know? This is just wealth coming to you. We've just got to put it to good use. <laughs> wealth go off. Do I feel stronger for this 33,000 wealth? We started at 6,000. And that's why we had nothing. But it counts everything on the map when it looks at wealth. That is eyeing up its potential meal, Chalaki. Chalaki's getting malnourished, but malnourishment isn't pain. We need your pain to go away, and then you're going to get up and move. They'll be fine. And even if they're not fine... Too bad. Oh, hey, you know, Treblard, it's a bit more of a fitting weapon for you to have a steel axe, wouldn't it? Unless we found even a more cool weapon. Let's go to put that steel axe. I think it's pretty cool for you. Get rid of the deck, get rid of these crummy weapons. I don't want to throw them outside. I like to keep my weapons thing outside. And I will. I thought it was called Triple Beard. It kind of is Triple Beard. It all lines up, don't you see? Convert Alexius as well, please, and then we'll be able to draw them over to our side. The one true faith. Those bugs will still be good for a wee bit. There we go! And now you shall be recruited, which will be easy because you have no resistance at all. And just like that, you may be incapable of actually a few things that I do like. But with that, we're going to have someone good with plants, just in time for growing season, and a great gunner. Which is good because we have some nice guns now. Assault rifle, LMG, shotgun. I'd be happier with an auto shotty and a laser rifle, but... Honestly, those are some pretty late-game weapons, so let's not get fussy. And Sir has still not betrayed me yet. I should really not let him wield that spear. I'm just asking for trouble. Because we don't have many good Malay people. And if he just pierces someone through the head with that spear, down they go. 
I can't believe Pandy got his arse kicked so thoroughly by Nancy Drew. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, maybe you'll shut your trap this time. How do you feel about all that? Oh, <laughs> Nancy's your rival. Nancy is disfigured, harmed me. We had an angering fight. Nancy feels much the same way. Nancy also hates Chalaki for some reason. Why is that? Because he breathes creepily. Poor kid, and he is just a kid. Out there dying of hunger. But hey, wimp, right? Oh god, wimp and delicate. I never, ever, ever bring wimps onto my team unless they have some other amazingly mitigating thing. And I wouldn't use them for combat. Wimps are awful. A kid you're leaving? I'm leaving him with his own devices. You'll get up and go, just you watch. These injuries are going away. Just a bruise man in the arm as well. Is he even cheating? It must be because it was in blue, right? Yeah. Blech. Disgusting genies. These day lilies are starting to be a bit of a time sink. Yeah, you used to get a bonus for patching them up and letting them go, but that, that went away. I don't know if it's a bug or some bizarre design choice, but it is gone now. Okay, I've got a lot of traps to repair, but I have the wood for it. I have a paste maker to make. I don't have steel for it, but I'll get it. Did I say wood when I meant steel, or steel when I meant wood? I, I don't know. Lots of things in the head go all sorts of fuzzy when playing this game. At least Nancy's almost healed up. <laughs> a whole lot better than Pandy. How do you feel about that? Nancy slammed Pandy in the left shoulder horribly. Nancy struck Pandy in the torso, leaving the area visibly deformed. Right in the spine. Nancy hits that hard. Alright, Alex. Oh, oh crap, I don't want to waste my... Um... My inspired recruitment on this. Anybody could recruit you. I bet Sir could recruit. Oh no, maybe not with that much social. Trebleard. Trebleard, you're a warden now. Whatever the heck you're doing, chat there instead. Nancy, we got a we got a bunch of butchering to be done. I think it could still fail, even though it's zero. But hopefully, it doesn't. Hey chat, this is your opportunity. There we go. Are you... Ah, get out of there. If you didn't submit a character and you want to be part of this, then make yourself be known because you're going to be our latest, potentially greatest pawn. You are good at shooting, great at plants, great at artist. And that's probably going to be your job from now on. Spangler, you were in the last run and it went tits up, so no. Forceware... Forceware, Forceware, and let's get you a much needed name. Right, your name is going to be Spurdo, of Alex Spurdo. Bang, in you go. Title is Logger, really? Cult child turned Logger, that pessimism is a pain, but we'll deal with that. And your jobs will include, certainly not childcare. Uh, screw the wardening and the handling. Although you do have passion for animals. But Pandy's the better animal trainer. It'll be my gunner, so I will want you to hunt if it comes to that. Anyway, plants. Plants are usually top priority if you're good with plants. Otherwise, I want you to do art. And if none of that's happening, please haul and clean. Seems pretty good. There'll always be a lot of plant work to do, especially now. Because I need to zone this thing. I really need to zone this thing. Um, I have already forgotten my amazing technique for zoning these really well. Is it something like that? No, it's not. In that case, what I need to do is create a crappy stockpile zone here. And then do this. And then figure out what we're growing here. Need some... Cotton. And... What else do I need here? Uh, 
What else do I need to grow in here? I need my smokes, I need my hops. I also kind of want some rice pretty quickly. Do you like me some rice? Maybe that's too much rice and too quickly. That would certainly be too many hop plants. Tell you what, right here is where we're going to have our hops. So, coffin, hops, get some rice going. I use all this land? What the heck? What's it, what's it doing to me? I want some smokes. So, I will also grow some cycoid. Even though cycoid doesn't benefit much from the nice growing area, might still be worth it. Oh, wait, no, no, smoke leaf that I want. And smoke leaf does care about sensitivity. Right, then give me the smokes. And then I will still want some psychoid, and I'll probably put the psychoid down here. I don't need much of it. And then once that is done, uh, I haven't planted any corn, and I would certainly like some corn. Corn could be done quite far away. I yeah, can make this stuff corn. It's corn then. Make use of the land while we have it around us. And then if I get that done and someone gets to level 10, we're planting some Devil Strand. A lot of plant work to be done. Thank goodness we just brought on someone who's really good at plant work. Spur to and finish means sprint. Suddenly, memes are making sense to someone. Scary thought. Oh yeah, Spurdo, you need a gun. And you're heading over towards a gun. Please equip that assault rifle. That is now part of you. I hope we're not making simple meals out of... Oh god, we are. Um... Bug meat? Insect meat. Please do not make insect meat meals. Let's get rid of that. Uh, am I out of meals right now in total, actually? Nancy, please see to that. Uh, Pandy, please... Get me that much needed steel. It is much needed. I want to get paste going. No heal root? Ah, I thought I was missing something, wasn't I? Yeah, I should make some heal root. I'll do that later. We've got plenty enough things that we have to plant as it is. Cotton, rice, smokes, hops. Maybe that's too many hops. Let's get ourselves some heal root down here. Don't need a ton of them. There we go. <laughs> it's funny because there's heal root right there, but it's ready to be harvested. Also, dead corpse ready to be harvested. Any more dead corpses sitting around waiting for me to harvest them? That lynx should be mine. Blood loss. Well, its blood has stopped, but it would probably starve to death before it gets up. Why is it still lying there? Oh, right, blood lo Oh, it could still recover. I think that lynx could miraculously recover, which is all the more reason I should hunt it to death. Spurdo, are you a hunter? I should make hunting a higher priority, because if I ever set it, then I want it done, obviously. What biome is this? Looks swampy. This is cold bog. It's pretty rare. I mean, look at the size of this map, and look how very little of it is cold bog. Stuff that might look like cold bog is actually tundra. But I find cold bog quite an interesting biome. It's rich with nature, whilst also being bog and cold. 
And I do like maps rich with nature. Hey, Nancy's really getting somewhere on the cooking. That's great. And that, <laughs> that lynx, which could have miraculously covered, uh, recovered, did not recover. I also don't think Chalaki is going to recover. They are too malnourished to get up. Although, if that pain ever went away, there's just, just, just no benefit to bringing them in. I would, I want the benefit. I don't know why it isn't working. Maybe if someone could expose the mod stuff, maybe there's something just broken there. I don't know. Don't know how to mod this game. But it's annoying that treating people gives no bonus like that anymore. On some rare occasions it does, but I think it's just like crash pod survivors. Now, animal corpses. I want those muffalos if they're close, and they are close. That arctic wolf is far from close. And squirrels and turkeys, they're not worth it. Out of that distance. Cold is so much easier to deal with than heat. I disagree. With heat, you can grow year-round. Uh, and the stuff that you can grow can be turned into fuel, which can be used even for uh, for generators. In the cold, though, I feel like you're far more at the uh, behest of, of steel when it's cold. Steel and wood. Sir, very, very slowly hauling things away like that. You're going to be at that all day if you're always cutting down the trees. I want the stuff sewn into the ground. Lickety spit. Well, I suppose it'll all get done in the end. And having four hands instead of. Uh, having eight hands instead of. Well, we have ten, don't we? Sir doesn't plant, though, do you? No, absolutely not. Hauling is a poor job for someone who's a temporary faction member, but they got to do something. And actually, if they clean as well, that's also quite good. Trebly yard, you know what you need to do. Let's haul all that stuff away. There we go, go. Uh, is anyone going to haul that bleeding meal away before that goes off, though? I see the problem. I see the problem now. No, you should be preferred. And that way you will be able to, hopefully, tell you what, how about we just don't have fine meals here? Any sort of fine lavish meal, because it's just going to go off. And the long sewing begins. I've been at work and not watching. How many chatters have you seen? None yet. Oh, we haven't had particularly large spawns, which I'm sure surprises nobody. Yeah, I really need these, need these traps back, even though it is uh, sewing season. No traps, no defense, no defense, no hope. Give you something to do. Have the Urgos are back again. Who do we have this time? Sierra Dog and Dolphin. Again, both vanillas. Yeah, so units that are sleeping on the ground, they do heal themselves. But unless he gets that pain below 30%, I don't know what level it has to be. He's not getting back up. I really don't think Cholaki is getting back up. Hey, is he Urgo? No, you're E10. E10 and Ergo. Oh, well, we've got other ones here as well. But none of them are customs, I can tell, because they would have my ideal religion if they were customs. I'm done with the mod that removes gene packs. Want me to remove death capacity serums as rewards, or keep those? Oh, yeah, crikey, getting rid of the death capacity... Um... Yeah, that, that's also gene stuff related. But yes, remove the vampire crap. I don't want it. I won't be taking on vampires. And if I miraculously have one, he's going to be a frontliner to die. Hostile shuttle with a... Oh, speak of the devil! He can fight them and his minions. Oh, I'd rather not. <laughs> really rather not. 
And I know, I know, I need to open this thing up so we have the Mechanator uh, quest spawned as well, but we're busy, aren't we? We're making traps, we're sowing seeds, and besides, that thing takes a while to destroy without grenades. What annoying thing is we've got all these uh, little beasties that are going to nibble on my crops, don't we? I feel like you're not doing enough out there to help with the planting, Triple Beard. There we go, he's too too worried about his noble title, all his soft hands. Kind of a shame that Nancy can't help out with plants, but she's completely incapable of it. Sanguifages are cool, but Hemogen is a pain to keep. It generally have two to three unwavering prisoners who accidentally lost their legs. Yeah, what I did is I just set up a very heavy Hemogen farm one time. But I get hemorrhage not even for the sanguophages. It can be useful for a an emergency blood transfusion. Randy, what are you sending me? Jade! Oh, that's quite valuable, actually. We'll take it. Good for weapons and that, but better just for trading or making... Uh, actually, it's really good for making columns out of its beautiful stuff. Base beauty of... 10. Plus 10, so very nice to look at. So we can statues out of. Still somewhat impressive barracks. I feel like we had a much better barracks going for us in our previous run, and I struggle to tell you exactly why. Anyway, planting these crops is the biggest deal. I really hope I don't have to worry about them being set on fire. But it can happen. And I don't have a good way to just pen them off how I wish I could. Because, yeah, see these does and that, they'll go and eat them, but hopefully they eat all the grasses instead, there are plenty of those. So there he goes again, just spending his time... You know what, now is not the time for side focusing. Right, now is the time for planting. Quit disappointing me like this. Zone as well, I've got too much junk here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How many are we talking? It looks like it's just two. It's not a big deal. Took out two last time, like it wasn't even there. Now I did just repair a bunch of my traps, but we got Spurdo this time. Plus, I can still send Sir front and center. Especially since he departs in 2.2 days and he still hasn't offered to join me. Even so. Uh, even so. Perhaps we can draw them out this way. Well, actually, we can draw them out either way if things go a little grim. Point is, everybody needs to be front line and center for this. Bugs can get real dangerous real fast. It really looks like it's just two hives, and let's just pray that it was exactly two hives. Uh, Pandy, if you wouldn't mind taking care of that bleeding rat. Don't like rats. Okay, well, never mind that then. There's a few of them there, isn't there? You got it? I think you got it. Yeah, he shot its body. I think I'll be dead soon. Right, then over here, and they are after us. Don't, don't, don't focus on the freaking rat. We've got problems here, real problems. Freebeard. Burden, those buggers. This is going to be a problem, isn't it? Perhaps we should step back already. The burden is really helping us out since they're so slow, but they're also slowed by the bullets they're taking, so I'm taking that. And it's fine if it does a bit of damage to Sir, no one cares about Sir. 
Oh, that Mega Scarab's still going. Oh, no, no. I do care about my medic taking injuries here, though. That's not on. Why are you not killing the thing? That's more like it. Step back. And engage. Very dead. Very good. Although I don't like that, but Sir and... Oh, Pandy? Oh yeah, Pandy's still beaten up by Nancy. <laughs> that will not stop being funny to me. More damage than I'd like. Did any of them live and run off? It doesn't look like it. In that case, Sir, since you're barely injured at all, go and destroy these things, please. And everybody else, just get back to doing what you do. Trebliard is going to want to catch himself up out there, aren't you? Oh, crikey. I can see you. No way, Pandy. There we go. Look at the good shot. Take it. I should have checked numbers and enemies. That's when the Mega Spiders are very dead. I doubt they're going to get back up since they're bleeding to death. Alright, you know what? I will just let them bleed out for a while. It's not a big deal to me. Uh, sir? I believe I had a job for you. And it's actually, that was actually very handy. Tribliard was chased indoors where I wanted him, because I wanted him to patch himself up in a lit area. Not an unlit area. Shame about your manipulation getting ganked like that, but... Well, you had the axe. Yeah, the medic getting injured is sad, but there was no major no major injuries there. Again, that was just two hives. I wasn't looking forward to the four hives they were offering us elsewhere. And Burden really is helping. I take it back. Burden's a useful useful tool. Mmm, all that all that insect jelly. Well then well no, no, we kept all of our gunners safe, so the the Malay people did exactly what the Malay people should do. There we go. And if you could kindly haul all this stuff back as well. You should be able to haul about 75 of those without too much bother. Uh, close enough. Still making the traps, which is good. The rice is in the ground, which is good. Smoke leaf's coming. Someday we're going to have our Hops, psychoids, horn. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, 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 I am seeing the use of burden, and it's going to be even better when Triple Beard is able to cast it more often, thanks to having more neural heat. Of course, maybe by the time you get some more neural heat, you'll have more useful abilities, but it's all just tools, right? Tools we can make use of. worth running around filling these things up for very little. It's a famous out of Solar Flare though. I really like getting that one. It has a lot of utility outside of combat. Lighting places up. Like Pandy would be able to work in the light here. Which would be useful. I don't know if Night Owl gives you some bonus when working in the dark, but I sincerely doubt it. I do, however, if you are going to take care of these bloody rats. All these tools we have and we can't make a bleeding rat trap. Oh my god, one last chance. Failure. Rats will eat entire meals, they're a pest. Did they have burden because they named the ideology? No, it's just a happy coincidence. Uh, all right, this is the sandwich. Oh, I'm not taking that though. I don't care about sandwich pages, so they can they can go and do one. Sir leaves in 1.7 days. I do want to strip him of everything before I cast him on his way, but it would be very nice if he offered to join. Kind of saddened by that. We kept him really happy, and his stats are quite nice as an artisan and a researcher. Better than better than Drew. 
but still they don't want to join. Sia, uh, Sir flirted with Nancy by jokingly poking at her ideas. Uh, she's a she's a to be wed woman. Perhaps that's not a good thing to do, sir. Arrest given to the dark side. We have organ harvesting. No, we're meant to be charitable. Ignore that other charity event. I sure did, but I didn't want those four hives. Yeah, prison quests are horrible. Fifteen. Oh, wait, I told him for fifteen hours. I could just leave him on the ground. But that's a lot to deal with. God, what was with the game sending me some pretty damn hard challenges early on here? Well, not charitable. So into the bun, uh, into the bin it goes. We're not equipped to take out that amount. Not during our uh, growing season, least of all. Spurred up, man. I'm so happy to have someone around here who can plant well. Another party, James. We're having a good time, aren't we? Oh, that's a very dead rat. No need to worry. Didn't Treb Treble Beard throw the last party as well? Quite the lifestyle he, li he, he leads. Bit of a waste of time, but keeping people happy is always good. Even if they're not in any troubles, keeping them happy gives them inspirations. Also, finally healed up. There we go. Nice party. Didn't look like much of a party, but there you go. Why is Pandy awake during the daytime? In fact, why you, why do you have... Oh, maybe be rested up after stuff? But bed rest is... Maybe it's too high a priority. Let's lower it even further. Here goes the corn. Wait, is this the corn? Yeah, this is where I do corn. Sweet! With that, almost everything is planted. We're even getting going on those hawks. Oh, this is splendid. Time to make Nancy infertile. Actually, can you just do that without fertility procedures? Could I just get in there and rip out the... Uh... <laughs> well, this is one way to make her incapable of bearing, but that's probably not what we're looking for. I need to set up a proper kitchen area. Might do it down here. Move the butchering and the... Well, I don't need to move the campfire. I'll just get rid of the campfire. But I can move the butchering and have a proper... Okay, good. This is running down here. Yeah. Have a proper electric kitchen thing down here. Of course, I still need that steel. And, of course, Pandy hasn't gotten around to it because it's growing season. But once he has... It's not like we can't get by with our crummy meals right now. What's up with one room architecture? Uh, it's just very, very efficient to have a lot of things happen in one room, especially early in the game. So you get a bonus from having a nice recreation room and a nice dining room. And I swear there's another one that you get here. But there's also the one for where you sleep. And although it's downside having a barracks, having a good barracks doesn't make it quite so bad. Whereas if I wanted separate rooms for everybody, that's going to be a lot of wealth on the map, and the challenge scales with wealth. But we will have bedrooms for people when we can afford it. <laughs> Spread of us sir, right next to each other. Bit of a sausage fest here, though. Nancy's the only chick. And she's desperately trying to research how to make herself infertile. Can't believe she got a mood boost for aborting. Well, maybe I can. This is Nancy. She has no sense of right or wrong. Two hours till we lose, sir. It's going to be sad. But they were never any good with plants, so it's no big deal. Uh, no devil strand for us, it seems. Although Spurdo was kind of close to getting us devil strand. If Spurdo does most of the rest of the planting, then we could yet get devil strand. And I do want devil strand. My question is does it care about soil fertility? Uh, there it is. Mm, yes, 100% yes. Where would I plant it then? Over here, perhaps? 
takes quite a while to grow, does Devil Strand. Maybe over here. Maybe over here. I can do it far away, it's not something that needs tended too much, but I still need level 10 to get there. Look at him go. And there we go, everybody is fully healed and nobody has any permanent injuries. None, 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 and you don't matter, but none. The great theft, taking someone else's chance at life, Nancy revels in it. She's always looking for bigger and better thefts to commit, it's true. Okay, I can't forget, Spurdo, you are also my artiste. I do really want you to get to level 10 and get me that Devil Strand. I'm greedy for it, but Devil Strand is so good. We're just wearing pretty crappy clothes altogether, barring Spurdo's flak jacket. Gotta remember to rip the clothes off of you. Actually, I actually don't want those crappy clothes, but I might want that steer, uh, spear back. And your silver. What are you doing with that silver? It should be my silver. It's part of our religion, wearing the Daniel Boone fur hats. Uh, that was done out of necessity, because toques require cloth and wool, whereas these can be made out of leathers. I had leathers, I did not have wools at the time. Come on, Spurdo, you're so freakishly close! Oh yeah, making, um... Yeah, pl pl oh, this'll get you here, planting heel root teaches so much. Please, 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 Yes! Excellent, okay, okay. Devil Strand here, we freaking come. Where? I mean, sure, there's here. Maybe I will... Uh, maybe I'll do both of these with Devil Strand. Just in case there's a nasty fire or a fight or something that gets rid of it. And then once you're done with that, I'm moving you over to art. Also, Pandy, I might take you off of plants now. Not that there's any real planting to be done, but... I think I'll take you off so that you focus more on the mining that needs done. Yeah, there you go. So when Pandy wakes up, he'll finally go down and mine this stuff out for the steel I need. Then I can get my kitchen set up properly. I can get my paste operational. I'm going to finish off my wall not to be a horrible, potentially burning mess. All right, sweet. If we get this harvest, we're in a great place. Unless Pandy looks too hard at our wealth and thinks, hmm, I'll send in those 60 uh, Neolithics at him anyway. Oh, I think it properly. That's cute. Oh man. I got married to Nancy. It's so wonderful to start a new life together. Well, Nancy and Triple Beard are going to be happy for a long time. You know, unless the unthinkable happens. And the others are going to be happy from just being at the wedding. I got to say, Triple Beard and Nancy getting together has been amazing for just keeping moods high. Moods high isn't everything, but when moods are low, it's everything. Yeah, yeah, don't answer your phone. Ned Nickerson's on the other line. You know, it might be the year 5500, but he's still clinging on to life, hoping that Nancy will someday return his feelings. I mean, a bunch of psychopaths around here, but I imagine the little girls attached to the Nancy Drew stories playing that... Uh, it was set in Iceland, right? I forget the name of it. I definitely forget the name of it, but the Icelandic 32nd Nancy Drew game, I think it was. You know, the last good one. Having having Ned get crushed on his conf uh, confession on the phone. Oh, that must have stung some people. Alright, come on, you're, you're eating into my valuable growing time. I want that Devil Strand in the ground. Wildlife here, man. It's a thankless task taking care of all of these. 
At least that Mega Sloth out there means that if I do activate the Animal Pulsar, uh, some some people are going to get hurt badly by it, and I may want that. I hope we can get some traders over, though. Getting, getting some of this good sold would be amazing. It's giving me too much wealth and very little to show for it. Did you get the components so they're not dragging around on the ground, please? And there he goes. Pandy's bringing in the steely bacon. And sir, you should... Oh, man, he, he departs momentarily. Right, it was nice seeing you with that spear, but please drop it and uh, eat your own bleeding meal. And I wish you could have given me that silver. I don't particularly want any of his other stuff. He can keep it. It's tattered anyway. And at this point, none of my colonists... Hmm? Oh, there we go. Yeah, I suppose he was my... He was my guy for making stuff. Maybe I should have done more of that before he left. Actually, come to think of it, now I don't have a good crafter at all. I really thought he'd offer to join me. Sia thanks you. He's now moving on. He won't forget what you've done. There's a chance he's going to send me something nice in the future. Of course, I might get nothing, and it was all for all for naught, but that's part of the risk of being charitable, I'm afraid. By the way, could you pick up this garbage and just leave it outside? Takes a wee bit to just pick things up, but... Go out here, maybe somewhere like here, and just... Eh, 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 away it goes. Did you pick one of them up? I said no to those. Ah, so one of the problems of living in a cold bog is it's quite endemic with disease. Sensory mechanites have appeared Nancy. That's actually good, I think. Her hearing and manipulation are up. Certainly better than getting muscle parasites. Ah, it's going to take a while to heal, Treebeard. Do you want to start now? There we go. 20% treated. You need uh, how much to, to heal it all away? I don't know if they go away in time, but surely you can keep those. So, first of many thunderstorms around here, and like I said, lightning is just going to annihilate a lot of the uh, a lot of the plant life around here, and it's kind of sad because it'll never go back to being quite how it was when it started. Something this is quite gorgeous. It'll look even better once we've had a, a wee bit of sunshine and not freezing cold weather, so the grasses can grow. But Sadly, these uh, thunderstorms and fires and whatnot will eradicate a lot of the life. What happened was, sir, he was a temporary colonist. Uh, it was a charity case of mine to bring them in here. Huh, this wooden spike trap's on a wooden bridge. Makes sense, since it's mud there. I get it now. Red means you need a... Wait, no, blue also means you need a bridge. Okay, I still don't think I understand the color coding here. Basically, if it's colored, it's bad, so we want to avoid those. Right, Pandy, I need that steel because I want you people eating nothing but paste for the rest of your miserable, godforsaken lives. There we go. Freebeard, are you grabbing the rest? Oh, you're harvesting a stump over there. Not really what I'm after, but sure. You cannot put Devil Strand in, but you're almost there. If you keep doing this, you will. Andy, back to... No, he's not back to mining, because I told him to stop for some reason. Go. Eating without table out here, how dare you also fire on my crops. I actually think that wiped out some of these crops. Maybe, maybe not. Oh wait, this isn't a raining thunderstorm, it's a dry thunderstorm. Why did I think it was raining? It will start raining soon, but hopefully this fire won't spread to me. I don't mind if fire is going to happen out there. When there's enough fire on the map, the game will... Oh, I am a little worried about that. Andy will put that out, but this one I want gone. Alright, Treebeard, change your plan. Drop that crap, put that fire out. Spurdo, help with that fire. 
managing fires on really green areas like this can be a royal pain in the bum. Especially when we don't have water skip the side cast that really helps put them out. Can't burden fires, sadly. There you go, go. Now, please haul that steel back up where it belongs. And that heel root's almost dead, but it will live. Yeah, unless something else comes and treads on it. Mm. Not thrilled about that fire. I should not let that get out of control. Nancy, were you not eating or something? Apparently not. Honestly, these kinds of storms are just a drain on your manpower or your labor time. But they are absolutely a pain. Oh yeah. Go away. I prefer flash storms to be honest. At least flash storms are localized. There was a time when I did not know that forced weather overwrites the emergency rain and those were bad times. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. And it does. That's why you need to think hard about taking a forced weather thing that does not include rain or snow. Forced fog, for example, is just that. Only fog. God, I got a lot of wood. It's kind of cool because not having wood is a royal pain. I was considering doing an extreme desert start, but I just didn't want to do it. Oh, I don't like that either, Nancy. Beat, beat, beat. He's too busy playing chess with himself. I don't know how that can be fun. It's always easier to take out the little fires first. Certainly what the AI targets. Yeah, that cannot be easy to do. But there we go, that's over. Now these fires are not over, but what will likely happen is they'll get really big and then the game will go, oh, there's a lot of fire, trigger, uh, trigger rain. And then rain will happen and put it out. And whilst it will be sad to lose all this wood and stuff, it's not where I am. Kind of makes you wonder how stuff actually lasts on the map before you get there when the world is this volatile. But yeah, dry thunderstorms are fierce. Burn down all you hold dear. Which is why having the fire foam packs are nice, but we are not at that level of technology yet. Nancy is still sticking various things up her trying to figure out which one of them terminates pregnancy. We're good. Come to think of it, with our incredible lack of medical tools, how in the world did... You know what? I don't really want to think about it. Nancy was pregnant earlier, now she's not. Let's leave it at that. How do you think research works, Clucky? Because uh, evidently we need some alternate ideas here. Right, once Pandy is up, do I want more mining done? I do, I want a touch more steel. And after that, paste lots of chairs out of wood and just generally build this up to be a more manufacturing-like hub. I also want these things dead before they eat all my stuff. It's eat or be eaten. It's like Dungeon Meishi. What a good manga, by the way. Holy moly. I don't like drawing these kind of conclusions, but man, women women make the best manga. Silver Spoon. I forget the lassie's name, but uh, that was drawn by a lassie. Is it Koyo or Kui or... I swear there's a K in there somewhere. Uh, the Dungeon Meishi one. And it's not done yet, but man, it's been going on for a fair while. Nancy, are you just resting entirely because of your problem there? Come to think of it, why are you in- Oh right, the sensory mechanites really uh, wreak havoc with your sleep factor as well. Do not like hearing that fire nearby. I do hope that stuff goes out. 
These also spoil in 18 hours. Nancy, would you mind hauling that, then hauling that, and then chop them for their meat? I do want to make mystery meat packages soon. A lot of wealth, which I don't always want, but... Come on, Treebeard, you're so close to plants. Ten, just freaking get it and help out with the Devil Strand. Here, whatever the heck you're doing, stop doing it and sow this area instead. Ugh. So, 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 get yourself over there to level 10. Actually, you'll get more if you sow these uh, heal roots. There, that doesn't get you to level 10. God knows what will. Hey! Nice thing about level 10 is it's the maximum that you can reach without skill degradation. Once you hit level 10, you will never go down. I don't know if there are events or breakdowns that make you forget certain skills, but you should never go down from that point. Andy, would you, would you mind? We shouldn't need that. We shouldn't need this thing refueled anymore, so I can turn off auto refuel. Once Pandy actually brings the steel back, we'll be able to set up our proper kitchen area. You should look at the Research Reinvented mod. doesn't involve shoving things up somewhere, but you have, for example, a minified light. Your colonists can reverse engineer it to learn... Nah, I'm really all interested in quality of life mods. Room world just fine as it is. Sometimes there's such thing as too much. I suppose if I ever got really tired of room world, I would consider going that way, but I am certainly not. Imps. Oh, man. Two groups of imps. Now, I don't like dealing with imps. I get one elite merc to help out with that, but the problem with imps is they spew fire. I might forego this generous opportunity, thanks. That's the thing, you do not have to take any missions. Some of them have downsides to ignoring, but those are mostly charity missions. I think it's just charity missions, actually. A little worried about our recreational needs. Five are needed, and I don't let people eat jelly. So what's another kind of recreation I can give? I don't really want to give them drugs, either. Cerebral, dexterity, social, solitary. I wish I had the telescope, but I do not. And I don't want to let them eat that in jelly. You can still hear that? Uh, that... Ah, there we go, there we go. The fire reaches a critical point, and the game brings on the rain to put it out. Kind of a self-balancing feature. Unsightly, mediocre bar- what, what's so mediocre about your barracks? Barracks is fine. Oh, right, all the, uh, all the dailies are dead, making this place pretty mediocre. It's alright, I will set up art soon enough, and then we'll be able to enjoy some nice jade and wooden sculptures. And after that, I still don't know if I'm going to turn this into not wood on the floor, uh, not dirt on the floor. Again, dirt can't get dirty, so it, it gets rid of a lot of cleaning time. I might still just keep it full of dirt and statues. Andy, once you dig that out, that should probably be enough steel. How are we doing on steel? Yeah, not great, actually. But still, haul that back and don't bother with the rest of this for now. We'll get more steel as and when we... Oi! We'll get more steel as and when we need it. It's going well, Kevin. Had some unpleasant encounters, but overall we're doing okay. Now, Pandy, I believe I mentioned that I would like an electric stove. And I would like the butchering move down here. Although... Uh, I think I really want them connected like that. Maybe like that would be better. Yeah, just right next to each other, nothing wrong with that. But I'm also going to want an artist's bench. It's lit enough down here. there. And whilst we're at it, I finally want some chairs that don't suck. And while we're at it, why don't you just make me a bunch of chairs? There 
Maybe that's too many chairs. I don't mind crappy stools being used for eating meals, but for any lengthy job, good, um, good chairs should be used. At least good quality would be nice, but I don't think I'm going to worry about things that are normal or worse. Eh, 0.78 is fine. Balances out with our beds enough. A eh, good quality bed is fine enough. The real bonus comes from the rest rate being better, but we're not about to we're not about to start dipping in for that. I started a bestowing ceremony. My game had 50 manhunting squirrels spawn right next to the bestower as he landed. Well. Uh, I'm quite curious, what happened to your relations from that? Because the game does warn you not to let any harm befall those people. Not a calling going on around here. Hey, we know how to make Nancy Drew uh, infertile. Great. Where do we go from there? I am in the growing phase. I don't need to worry too much about a lot of this stuff. I do want packaged survival meals so I can turn all this meat into money, so I'll get on that. Oh, Sir was a temporary colonist, so out they went. They did not betray me, although I don't know if they're going to give me anything. Yeah, I am not interested in fighting the Broken Empire. He's a ship cracker, although I don't know what Xenotype he is. Oh, he's Baseliner. I mean, in a sense, screw the Broken Empire, but in another more accurate sense, I really rather like the Empire, so I'll stick with them. I love playing the Empire game. That's comfortable enough to bear around for Nancy to work on. We shall cease using this campfire. Not getting automatic fuel, we're not going to do meals on it anymore. Now the meals are done over by this electric stove, and this electric stove would really like... Oh man, I do not want to make these things out of wood, but wood's, wood's what I'm made of, so... Basket, 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 and basket. Do I really want baskets over here next to the butcher table? I think what I'd really like is for corpses to be kept over here. It's not too hard to make the Empire love you a second time. They give you goodwill quests, quite often still. Yeah, but I just like working my way up through it. Besides, my time for betraying them will come. Just not right now. Oh, that's right. What about my paste? Nutrient paste dispenser a go-go. I'll just have you squeeze right out here. I'll have some hoppers. Honestly, you seldom need more than two. And I'll be relocating my table down here. Yeah, that way everyone can enjoy the lilies around here whilst working generally around here. Yeah, that works. I'll probably migrate a lot of this lily zone down south. Still working with lilies for a while. Someday I won't. All the lilies. Uh, okay. Crappy stools are fine here. Like I said, we we really don't uh, we don't sit at the table for very long. Let's see what's going on this. Although Andy, you're the one who's going to have to get on it. What are you doing, just relaxing socially? There's work to be done. You don't want to work. Okay, well, I want food, so please at least make that uh, paste dispenser. Yay, paste get. And now we need poppers. And now I am going to eat meat for a little bit. I'm going to work through some of our small amounts of meat. Turkey meat, for example. You are a critical place for turkey meat. Tree bleared. Go and refill that hopper. It's a cooking job. It's very strange, but... No, oh, no, no, Pandy! Don't go in for the second round! Nancy called Pandy a bison, driving Pandy into a rage, and he began a fight. The last time this happened, 
we ended up with most of our crew injured in a five or six man raid, so... Oh, man. Alright, well, who's getting the beat down? Actually, if Nancy gets hurt a fair bit, she might go down due to pain. But also, Nancy should be a better fighter thanks to the improvements due to the sensory mechanites. Stuff to, okay, wow, they called it off quite early. I suppose that's good. Okay, now I can finally do my favorite, which is moving everybody over to paste. Blip. And on top of that, I'm actually going to set paste as the default. So delete nothing, and then add a new one called nothing. Have it have nothing. And now all new people are going to default to paste because it's the first one. Yeah, great. Barring for Pandy to level up. It's meant to be my shot, although melee is always useful. Shooting is absolutely useless for someone that just melees, but melee is useful for someone that shoots, because if your enemy uh, runs up to you and you need to smack them with your butt of your gun, it's better to know how to do that than not. Yeah, who do you think Triple Beard's gonna look after first, Pandy? You or his wife? God, they even bled a bit. Nancy bled. Maybe she got a little too into her research. Anyway, if she's sleeping, this is a great opportunity to go and sterilize her. Let us uh, implant an IUD. I'm not gonna do tubule... what's it? Because it's permanent, right? There might be a day where Nancy is just overcome with a desire to procreate, so for now let's just shove an IUD up her. And that's for you, Triple Beard. You're an excellent medic. I wonder if that means that the submitter of Triple Yard is actually a, a good medic in real life. I mean, they consider themselves to be a very skilled professional at it. I don't know if they started at level 11, though. I feel like they did not. Anyway... Go and go and implant your wife. Maybe you should use something a little better than dock leaves. Maybe, maybe, given the importance of the operation, use some better medicine. Frankly, we don't want the egg factory out of commission forever, do we? Oh God! <laughs> oh, Jesus, no. You started up the leg until you got to the spine. Oh, dear. Okay, right. Doc, leave your wife for that. Oh, she is sterilized permanently. <laughs> Nancy will never, ever, ever have children. Oh boy, I hope that doesn't put a dent in the marriage too much. Minus 20 botched my surgery. Well, they have a lot of deep talks, so I'm sure they'll see the funny side. Yeah, there goes the family line for sure. However, now they can just go at it like crazy, so we don't have to say, oh well, not possible, infertile. He did this on purpose, didn't he? He knew what he wanted. Delightfully devilish, Treble. Nancy thought she might want kids in the future, but Treble had other plans. <laughs> oh man, the alimony on the rim is fierce. He was having none of that. Kind of burned my way through my medicine, though. How do you crack a spine implanting an IUD? Yeah, oh, Jesus. Considering how eager he abort aborted that one, I'd say he just doesn't want to become a dad. He took care of it permanently. Well, good on him, right? Knew what he wanted and set out to get it. At least he's going to feed the new paste to his uh, sterile wife. Oh, 
once I'm done with the turkey meat, what's next? I guess I can eat my way through the lynx meat as well. Alright, these should be critical, not important. I mean, where else is more critical than shoving it into the hopper? Perhaps he misheard you and used an IED. We don't even have research on what an IED is. Even so, Squirdo and Treble, you, uh, well, when you're not eating, you can go out and, yeah, there we go, get that Devil Strand down. Hopefully I'll be able to get something out of it. Nancy's able to walk. Sort of. Boy, she's going for a walk. Spine. Tra oh, that wasn't. Oh, God, look at the mesh you're making, Nancy. She doesn't even clean up. What a beast. Uh, whilst you're at it, would you mind bringing over all this stuff? Oh, my God, what a charity case this woman is. The I in IED stands for improvised. What does it stand for? I don't actually know what IED stands um, IUD stands for. Oh yeah, I suppose IED is improvised explosive device, but I don't think the IUD is meant to be that similar. Ah, 24 man hunting rats. I don't think I want that, but it does give some nice bonus. Well, two honor isn't a huge amount. But it's something. Uh, at least you're enjoying your walk, right, Nance? See, look at all the fun you're having. You're also hauling wood for some reason. Just get to your research bench, right? Cripples should not be gathering. And uh, right now you are crippled, Drew. What would Katie Drew say? Trevor, you'd go and take care of that disgusting bomb bomb out of the Drew. Whole place is getting quite impressive. Very impressive barracks. It's actually going to make people happy to sleep here. I can also expand this zone. Although this is just a reflection on the goods that I have too many of. There we go. Get to work, Candy. Let's weaponize that wood. Yeah, this blinking mech thing is actually quite important for me to destroy. Actually, maybe Spurdo, how busy are you right now? I know you're tired, but what if you just went and shot this thing to shreds? Oh, it does make a giant fire. Maybe I should wait until it's, um, until it's raining. Yeah, I think I will. Let's put a little bit of damage into it right now, though. It's going to take a lot of volleys to take down. Alright, we'll, we'll deal with this uh, at another point. So, you're you're going to do a little bit of work. Go to bed. Good, excellent, good. Uh, I should probably bring the research bench down here as well. I mean, I could shove it there with very few problems. Yeah. And give Nancy something nice to sit on for a while. As long as I can look at beauty. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty good actually. What about the tailor bench? That's going to need certain stuff around it. I shall move it around. There. there. Actually, there's a good place. But that means I probably wouldn't want a stool there. I would want a good chair. And we have good chairs. Working it there takes a while, so I don't need to keep my leathers that close to it. Even there is close enough. Alright. I'll probably just tear apart these crummy wooden stools then, although eh, they're not doing any harm just sitting over by the... by the actual eating table. There we go. Good job, Pandy. Celebratory meal and off to... Wait, did you just eat some proper real food? No, no, the, the paste just looks red because it's made of meat. 
worry not. Although I like how industrious Pansy is. I think he gets too much of a bad rep just because he keeps getting beaten up by Nancy Drew. Blended. Right. Now. How much jade do I have? Enough. Right. Great. Large sculpture made of jade. Let's see exactly what you're making. Actually, maybe I should keep the jade for when you're even better. Because I believe you have a passion in art, but you're not amazing at it. Employably professional. Tell you what then, I would like you to make me a grand sculpture out of wood, please. Just wood, we have plenty of it. Don't go looking everywhere for that wood, mind you. And I want three of them. And of course, it should only be done by Spurdo. That way, once there's no planting left to be done, although there is still planting left to be done, you can go and deal with that. When is the growing season over, by the way? Growing season ends on 6th of April, May. Uh, 6th of September. Uh, what comes after April, May? Jugust! Oh, we have all of Jugust! Well, that's handy. Not a ton of time, but it's something. I'm trying to think, though, that... We're taking way too long on planting this devil strand. I might not get my not get my devilly goods. Anyway, once you get on it, at least we're ready to go with it. I wonder if the rats went and just ate my goods here. Because they will eat my plants, and it's very annoying. Hey, right, that's quite good. Let's bring the rice in here. Mm, yes. I think I want all the vegetarian food in there. I'll keep this for meats. Although, what if I end up with more rice? That's 140-something rice plants. Also, do I want more rice here? I don't think I do. What do I want more of, though? What do I want more of? Hard to say no to more smokes. It's great for leveling up cooking as well. Yeah, why don't we why don't we get more smokes? Who's gonna stop us? We'll have plenty of beer out of this stuff, I hope. But the smokes are decent for selling and for leveling up cooking. More cotton is always nice. I don't know, this should be plenty of cotton, right? A hundred a hundred times... what's the yield? Eight. Eight hundred cotton. That should be good for a while. I'm not going to be making cotton clothes. Cotton is more there for utility, like making medicine and uh, being on the board of our billards table. Struggle to think of anything better than putting down more smoke leaf. So more smoke leaf it is. I might regret this low amount of medicine, actually. Forty-two. It would be nice to actually have some real medicine. It would be very nice to have some real medicine. Heal root takes forever to plant. But I'd really feel the burn from lack of medicine. There we go, get, get the heal root planted instead then. I'm never going to get my devil strand at this rate. I haven't even started planting it here. I've got 59 over there. Let a man have his devil stranding dream. Uh, it takes a fair whack to uh, to plant. As long as we're given freedom to get this stuff done, why are you even cutting that? We don't even grow there. Why are you cutting around the uh, the growing zone? Should have had you kill the sleeping rat. Yeah, these are pretty good guns, and we stole them all. Well, not stole, right? People came to us and just decided to generously donate them. I wasn't going to turn them away. Yeah, Nancy's really getting somewhere with the intellect. I think she started on five, now she's ten. See, when you're not being burdened by the 
ability to procreate, look at what you can achieve. Permanently shut down, it just sounds so grim. I suppose it is grim, but jings, come on. Pardon me? Mechanoid cluster with one, two, three, four, five enemies, a bunch of other cool stuff. But hey, Barash the Yitkin could join me. Yeah, no way. No way. Thank god these are... Alright, neat. Thank god these are optional. Could you imagine if we had to take these missions all the time? Nancy, go and stuff that with raccoon meat, please. Perhaps I should get rid of the really crumpy stools. This one's poor. That was normal. They can both go, and then these can take their place. Spurdo's really going places with planting. And Nancy's really going there with her research. Excellent. Looking forward to making mystery meat meals soon. Why are you off? That's bad. Why are you off? You need more power than I'm able to provide, don't you? Bummer. I guess that's going in, and it's going in fast, Pandy. Otherwise, my meat goes off really, really soon. Oh, dear. Right. Whatever you're doing there, Panders, get this done instead. Oh, crap. I just killed all the power, okay. Thought I could build on top of that. Please, please, please get that built. There we go. And uh, maybe fuel it while we're at it. There we go. And we'll save the meat. Nancy's supposedly fully healed, but she's still got the mechanites, which is... It's making her look superhuman, but she's not enjoying the experience, sadly. See the funny side. Let's haul this rice before all the animals start eating it. There we go. Oh man, that's a good amount of rice. Um, I think we're going to move the insect meat over here. And Nancy, who is surely a good enough cook to do this now, right on the freaking money. You need to be level 8 to make package survival meals. Do these forever, as long as there are ingredients very close by. And I want you to make it out of... Actually, make it out of everything. And James, we don't care as long as it's close but Oh well, let's never risk making it out of insect jelly. Stuff is way too valuable to making these out of. But you know, everything else is there to be used. Nancy Pansy, get on it. Who's not enjoying the experience serves her right for having so many painful games. Yeah, but those painful games brought me lots of joy. Try and, try and think about my needs here. Nancy's just comparing some... Wow, what's with the insults around here? Why does everyone hate each other so much? Uh, I don't think I set this to critical, so let's make it so. And please haul the insect meat, Nance. And brick and uh, yeah, you kind of gave up halfway, but there we go. This is going to make Nancy a great cook and make me a fat stack of cash. Except she goes straight to sleep, doesn't she? Yeah, because of the mechanites making her really to actually no. It's not really the mechanites this time. It's um, it's because of sleeping time. That said, though, once you do wake up, please deal with that before the insect meat all goes off. Oh, that's right, we had simple meals here, and now they, now they go off. I still loathe making a lot of things out of wood, but for now it's going to have to do. Keep 
the meals over there. Don't want anyone eating them, but they never go off, so we'll just keep them in a counter indoors. Worming our way through that that insect meat to the point where I think I could comfortably have this on a much larger refuel thing. Andy, please make sure that good old Drew can keep working. Did you just give up? There you go. Just please stop giving up. Please actually do your. Oh my god. There we go. Yeah, the, the speed at which Nancy gets so tired that she needs to sleep is disheartening in a bit, uh, in a way. Right, I'm starting to think the next thing that I really want to go for is getting to macro, uh, microelectronics so I can transport pod and get allies going. If nothing else, I absolutely want my, uh, my comms console. But all this other stuff doesn't seem necessary to me. We're pretty good. We have so much wood that we can go on wood power for a good long time. I don't need this drug production, although, oh, crumbs, medicine, I keep forgetting medicine requires a bunch of stuff. Right, drug production first, and then we'll work our way down medicine. On top of that, could we get rid of the rat meat that we have? Ratty will not win again. Lots of feel of insect meat in your pockets. That is disgusting to think about. But potentially accurate. Tell you what, I'm not going to sow this. I have a very strong belief that this isn't actually going to sow in time. And Devil Strand takes an Aeon to plant. Look at Spurdo take forever, even though he's a messiah at planting. Things getting eaten by my uh, by the insects around here. Not insects, but you probably know what I'm trying to say. The rats, the pestilence. Hard to get rid of. Hard to shake. I think I'm going to turn off sewing around here. It's just an endless, thankless job. reasonably be done about rats sneaking in and eating your crops. You can't set up rat traps, although that seems like a very sensible thing to have. The only reasonable thing you can do is completely wall it off and never even let them through the doors, but even then they just they manage it. Maybe that's the point of rats, they're there to be extremely annoying. You'd think they have plenty of other things to eat. Of course it isn't just rats. Well, I'm sure enough of my stuff will survive. Right, your job is to hold the package survival meals. You are an important place for them. Maybe not critical. I don't know where I'd ever find is more critical than this, but... All I want are package survival meals here. Any other meal would just go off. Nah, rats can get through fences. A lot of animals can get through fences. Fences are mostly there to keep your own animals in, rather than other particular animals out. Right, uh, I thought we were bringing squirrel meat over here. Next thing you create. Well, you're not a crafter, really, so that's pretty useless inspiration for us. Oh, we finally noticed the ancient mech. I do want to crack that thing open, make no mistake about it, but now is not the time. What I do want, however, is that place where you turn this stuff into wart. What is that? Early production, right? I will need fermenting barrels, but beyond that you need brewery. Yeah, that's it. Brewery here, and we'll just add a few fermenting barrels, don't know how many you'll need. Even that feels like overkill. That's not a particularly draining job. Let's shove a half decent chair over there regardless. The 
problem is if you don't keep your temperature good, things spoil in here. So if it goes above 32, spoilt. And that could easily happen with a heat wave around here. The, the temperature has to get really low, but again, if you break open the wall accidentally or something comes and breaks down a bit of a wall, inside and outside temperature immediately become the same and that can immediately spoil all of your beer. So be wary about that. Now you need to make wart, do it forever. Do it with stuff that is absolutely close by. And, 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 and. And I struggle to think of a better thing to do than to just set up a stockpile zone here. And all it is is the critical place for hops. Not hops, hops. That's a different, never went down the hops path before, but uh, we got done in really badly by mood last time. And I'm not just talking about the uh, the professor going off the deep end later on. No, it was it was bigger than that. We got a psychic drone that caused some really nasty stuff. So what I'm looking to do here is to make sure that we have a contingency plan. And that contingency plan is just making sure that we have drugs to keep people happy. Beers, smokes, and tea. Those three are safe drugs to take in moderation. And they can really rescue a pawn from being down in the dumps. The critical thing I was missing was beer. Beer almost has no downsides. One beer. Keeps you good for plus 12, I think it is. 12 mood. That's pretty damn good. Summer has begun, but winter is coming. Your food crops won't be... I'm, I'm well aware. Why are you telling me that? What am I looking for? Medicine cabinet. I'm loath to make it out of wood, but I'm struggling to think of a better idea. So I'll just ship you there and there. Probably one for actual medicine, so it's quick to go and treat people here, and then the other one for drugs. Works until they break and take 12 in as many hours and end up with an addiction. Yeah, but addictions can be dealt with. Right, like I said, you are the one for proper drugs, so all drugs go here. Except not Ambrosia, because it goes off. I don't really think I want Penocycline here either. I don't tend to use that, I just sell it. But Ambrosia is better kept over here. The Ambrosia needs to be kept chilled. Then again, doesn't Ambrosia take forever to go off? Hmm. I'll still keep it over there. As for here, just drugs in here and in here, medicine of all kinds. It's actually dark around here. To have a wall light over here, just illuminate the area a touch. Well, I did think things were going a little too smoothly. The game has decided to actually give me the triple slap here. So we got four in the four in the northeast, two in the west northwest, and a little loner here in the down down the southeast. I don't think any of these are. Named chatter, let's have a quick look. Nah, nah, they're all vanilla. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't like having uncovered growing out there. Neanderthal. See, I don't mind Neanderthal that bad. Sure, they're slow of mind, but I do... I have a soft spot for big, lumbering, but tough individuals. So it's not unthinkable to grab one of these. Well, depends who gets here and what's left of them. You, for example. Mm -mm. Are they attacking immediately? They are attacking immediately. Honestly, even though there's only four of us, this should be no big deal. I think one of the problems is they are counted as three separate parties, so we have to make them split individually. Oh, right, no, Neanderthal's a problem, of course. Of course, they might be slow, but they're strong, aggressive, and they take 25% less incoming damage. Also, they don't go down easy because of that pain. Hmm. Neanderthal are really good early game with their toughness. Their learning penalty is really painful late game. 
I guess for becoming true artisans, yeah, but they could become jack of all trades even with slow study. It's not like they forget what they what they learn. Alright, shouldn't be too tough to take care of you, but I will do that next session, because we've been at this all 